I've, I said that in front of Wayne and now they were doing it every day. I know, yeah, uh, he's probably didn't get down too well. But yeah. uh, right, so our sort of plans for today have gone a little bit out the window because we're just going to go rogue and we're just going to raid the vault, carry on with amazing salmon picks. Um, we want to get the best prices and I know that okay. you've been doing some seriously good deals this morning. Yeah, there is, there, there is a, I mean, the caveat for this is I, I didn't know about this. Okay. So I have absolutely no idea what's coming. Um, We've filled it mainly with sterling silver, which is exciting. Have you done many sterling silver deals at, at this morning? Only couple, the, the problem with sterling silver is, like, we get it at such a good price anyway. To do anything on a deal, you, you look at the, sort of the weight of it versus right. what you're... So these are going to be good prices. That's all I can guarantee. I can definitely guarantee that. Oh, so excited, take excited. Uh, also, just to let you know, at one o'clock we've got Katie Parker joining us. She's uh, well, she's joining us from home. She's uh, she's got an amazing masterclass coming up. A thirty-nine minute uninterrupted demonstration from Katie. So you're going to see that later on at one o'clock. First, though, we need to take a bit of a deep breath because are you going to be involved in the price on this one as well? Well, you are now, and you've got to be, because this is something that I've just been sitting, yeah. watching, and talking to Elle about, um, uh, and watching back her old shows of the most incredible Burmese jadeite yeah. strand. It's absolutely amazing, and I don't yeah. know whether we've seen this combination of gemstones I, I before. I just want to say, I think this is the first time we've ever seen this combination on a strand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, so this is an exclusive for us, I think. This is really exciting. You've got Mao Sitsit yep. and you've got mm. Burmese jade eyes. And Mao Sitsit's, I think, a relatively new gemstone for us. Yeah. Really, really, I mean, it might have been before I, I joined, but in my tenure so far, we've not seen much of it. It's only been sort of launched recently. So, so. this is the Mao Sitsit. You can see it almost next to this lovely apple green jade eye. So this is the Mao Sitsit. There's Mao Sitsit all through the strand, but that one I can show you is why Mao Sit Sit is so special because it's found in one location in the world. It's found in Burma and where it is found, it's got something in the earth that basically colours the same composition that colours imperial jadeite. So you know the ones that sell for millions, the ones that you see in the really, 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 really high-end upward auctions, uh, the same chemicals in the ground in that specific place is what colours Mao Sits it, the same as Imperial Jadeite. It's just amazing. Jadeite, I mean, it's, it's something that's one of our most, it, it, it is always one of the most popular gemstones we stock anyway, yep. but we don't have any at the moment, do no, we? No, it's really, uh, and um, I'm not as close uh, to the buying of the gemstones at the moment in that sense, but we don't seem to be getting as much offering. And we never we never got you know we never had an abundance no. of it. So and we are really low at the moment. So today, you know, for me it's an opportunity for customers uh, that really love their jade to get it while it's here. Oh I mean this this has always been world renowned and absolutely loved by all. But the last few years the, the world has completely changed. It was when Sotheby's uh, put a, a jade it, they were round beads to auction and I think they sold, I've got it here, I think it was ten point four million dollars it sold wow. for. Just ten point four million just dollars this jade yeah. bead brace necklace. It was Amazing, don't get me wrong, it was the Imperial Jade. But this is natural. What you're looking on the screen is completely natural, and this is where it gets very exciting. So we actually sent this to Katie Parker and said, oh, can you make some gorgeous jewellery with this? And she, let me show you, she's made some beautiful, beautiful pieces. Bear in mind, she's used one stone off the strand, and it's absolutely statement. Quality is gorgeous, beautiful earrings. I love the mixture and having the more sit sit and the jade dyed, having that lovely uh, combination of ombre colours. And then she's made a pendant also. This is awesome. Wow. They're, they're just spectacular. And the thing is, I mean, the, the first two examples, I mean, I, I, I say this in, in no way taking anything away, but how simple it is to yeah. make fantastic jewellery in terms of what our designers are capable of doing. But, you know, I mean, I look at that, you, you gave me that and then some why I wouldn't have a clue what to start with, <laughs> what to do, but that, you know, it's inspired right. to me. Yeah. I think some of the most, uh, some of the most impressive jewellery is actually some of the yeah. simplest yeah. jewellery and just using one or two of these, it's got to go a long way. Now, it is nearly quarter past 12 and we want to get as many deals in as possible. So, we've got 50 of these, which isn't anywhere nift to go around. Right. I've not seen any jadeite this year, I'm going to go as far as saying. It's been absolutely 
ages and I know that there's not much in stock at the moment so I'm calling out to all jadeite lovers to dial early because there's only 50. Liam obviously uh, had picked out a fantastic price but now it's a game changer. Can, can Simon's I, here. Can I ask a favour then? Yeah. So with the Multicolor Sapphire and the deal of the day we did a minute clock and there's only 50 but if we can get every yeah you know, if we can get everyone purchased I can take it to a lower price. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Deal. Minute clock. So the more interest to see, the more people are in there, the better the price will be. Fantastic. Are you ready? Let's start the clock. If you want to be within a chance of owning this, it's going to the most incredible price. The Jade Art Market has absolutely skyrocketed in terms of demand, and therefore it doesn't take a rocket scientist to realise what's happened to the prices. We're really struggling to get hold of it. But to see this strand, do you know, normally when we do Jade Art strands, you might see all of the apple green, or you might see all of it, as Jade Art comes in lots of different colours, but to have this natural array of colour, along with the more sits it as well is really exciting really exciting we've seen yes. more sits it on its own the strands are really expensive they are considered so to be able to have it in with one of the most revered gemstones in the world one of the most talked about gems it one works together so nicely obviously you've got the color uh, from the Morset Sit, which complements and really reminds us of some of the finest imperial jadeite I mean if you look at that I, if I'm being brutally honest, I would be struggling to know which ones are the more sits because they are really, really similar in colour. They just look like Imperial Jadeite. Okay, Simon, are you ready? You need to show your interest straight away. You've got 45 carats of more sit sit and Jadeite. Sorry, there's a bit of a typo on the, uh, on the graphics there. It should say more sit sit and Jadeite. They are big ovals. Every single one of them it can make standout jewellery. I wish you could see the phone lines. Okay, this is the web price. Those of you that have got it in your basket and are checking out already on the web, okay. those of you that are checking out already on the web, well done, because you can see that price. Shall we go to Liam's best price? This is where Liam should go. Now, our absolute rock bottom guide price was 129. Of course, it's Liam who likes to, you know. The bad boy of yeah. JM. Oh, you've heard it. I've, <laughs> you heard, know it. I've heard of this. Uh... Yeah. You've heard the rumours are true, he's yeah. the bad boy of JM. 99.95. Okay. So do you mind if I just turn that? Yeah, see? have a look, see how many people are there. Yes, they are. Okay. So we've only got 50 of these, remember Liam? 50. We've only got 50. So I, I need to see another 10. <laughs> I need which, to see another 10 to move on that price. Which, if I just say that, that would mean that we are oversubscribed yeah. if everybody checks out I think it's yeah. going to be oversubscribed if you want this any lower get ready this will be a lot quicker than I thought <laughs> don't get me wrong at 99.95 I still expected all 50 to sell out I, I, I would say for those in baskets just as I said to the audience earlier just trust me because you're not uh, you're not I'm not going to disappoint you with the price drop on this one um, we've already gone two below, you know, two price drops below where we should have done, to be honest, and I'm going to take it a lot further. So just trust me on this one. Oh. <laughs> I have nothing to say, honestly. Okay. You, the great thing about working and being part of Jewellery Maker yeah. is that you know, you don't need me to sit here and tell you. I love how uh, savvy you are at home. Mm -hmm. You know the deals, you know that Liam's already taken it to a Jewellery Maker price. And when you see Simon here, you're in for a treat. And I'm going to take it to a stupid price. Uh, so I'm going to take this down to £54 <gasps> and 95 pence. Oh. Hang on, are you actually able to do that, Liam? <laughs> you might want to check the system. Can I just say, this was... This, um, Simon has been on air with L the last four hours, and it wasn't actually planned that you were to stay on. So you've no, had nothing to do with the preparation no. of this. I tell you what, that is absolutely outrageous behaviour. This is what you've got to look forward to for the next four to five minutes. I tell you what, I'm over the moon for you. I'm over the moon for you. Uh, Liam is having kittens in the gallery. That's £75 off 
our price. Do a bit of research on jadeite. I can confirm this is absolutely natural. This is 100% natural. Your more sits it, of course, only found one place in the world. The fact that you're getting just your more sits it or just your jadeite, whichever way you look at it, that is absolutely crazy. We've got 35 remaining chances, 34 remaining chances. The quantity is moving very, very quickly. At the moment, yep. we've got over 50 of you that have got it in your basket and now way less available. We've got 30 chances remaining. If you want to be one of the lucky 30, you've got to be quick to check out 45 carats of yeah. one of the most important gemstones we have. I'd get it home, have a look at it. You got 60 day money back guarantee. Yeah. Yeah. You got 60 day money back guarantee to get it home and see it for yourself. This is so far below where I would have been sitting with this if Simon won't be here. This is this should have been 99.95. I wish you could see our screens right now. I wish you could see our screens right now. We've got 23 remaining chances. That's it. We are waiting with you until every single one of these sells out because there is no way this can come back to air anywhere near that price. And don't forget end of the day today, it goes back to the original Which was? price, 179.95. Take advantage. Gosh, that is crazy. You've got a 16 million back guarantee. Get it home, see it for yourself. Right, those of you that have got it in your basket, you need to check out. I've got Sandra, Julie, Warwickshire, Victoria, Susan, Alan, Oxfordshire, Jan, Sterlingshire, Susan, Cheshire, Tanya, Ross, Chris, Janice, Check out your baskets as soon as you can. Congratulations to Sharon, Sheila, Belfast, Kent, Brenda. There's still 35 of you that have got it in your basket. Savvy bidders, you are absolutely all over this. We've got Collector in Essex buying four, Tracy buying two, Alison buying two, Carmel, well done, congratulations. Sue's bought three. A lot of people multi buying and taking advantage. I know so many people who only sell Jadeite. They make to sell and make a whole business over selling jadeite jewellery. It's got so much demand, obviously worldwide, but here in the UK, one of those, if you were to look at the, the jewellery that, uh, that Katie had made, if you were to just look at the ring that had one or, or, or the earrings that has got those ombres of colours, whichever way you look at it, it is a no-brainer. I'd love to talk to Katie to see how much you'd look to achieve for that ring there, because surely, I mean, just using one of them, you're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. You make 27 rings. You can make 27 individual pieces of jewellery. Makes it two pounds each. Yeah, I mean, there's one thing we always say when these shows is like, look at the opportunity. When you take, you know, take that one piece and how much do you multiply it when you make a piece of jewellery and sell it on? And then you times that by the amount that's on the strands. And that's why people multiply, because they can see the value that they're getting in there. Gosh, well done. At the moment, there are six left to be checked out. I'm not here to rush or pressure you, but as Simon just said, do not miss that opportunity. Yep. You've got a 60 day money back guarantee, there's nothing to lose. Get involved whilst you can, because there's nothing else to offer you. No other jadeite today, not one other strand. There's hardly anything in stock, hardly anything that we've got available. Right, we've got a go quite quick. Uh, it's not here. Which one is it? Maybe it's on the desk. Amazing. Right, we're going to have to move quite quick. Uh, you know. <laughs> if we're going to do these sort of prices, yeah. then we are going to have to go quite quick. These right, okay. are so cool. Did you put together this bundle, Liam? Right, we're now just pinching Wayne's things. So, your sugar school. So, you've got pendants, you've got earrings, you've got larger pendants, you've got more rose gold earrings. There's so much in here. There's too much to show. Six pairs of earrings. There you what? go. Six pairs of earrings. You've got your pendants as well. Are you kidding? This is all sterling silver. How Alexandra McQueen is that? That's like your uh, almost toggle foot. class. That's amazing. I can literally hear the, the cogs <sighs> going round in your head, Simon. They're so cool, aren't they? I mean, I'm going to price everything to sell out. Right. The whole purpose of these shows are to complete sell out. So let's do, let's do, let's do below 30. Let's do <laughs> 24 pounds and 89 pence. <clears throat> Down from 134, and that, that's a bundle price, so that's already a potential saving at that point. How many have we got? Yeah. How many have we got, Liam? 
40. That's it. It will sell out. As, as I said, he, he, he is pricing to sell out. I'm not even sure the gram rate, but you've got so much silver, so much solid selling silver. Gold plating as well. Yeah. I couldn't even get that at mate's rate. At no. staff price, I would be looking probably double the price. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> right, it's about to sell out. We've got Andrea, Anthony, Tracy, Pauline, Jane, Jenny, Barbara, Stacey, Carol, Barbara, Janice, Heath. You're getting six pairs of earrings. Ten of your smaller pendants. Three of the um, ones with the black onyx, I think it is, in there. Then you're getting one large one. One... Uh, yellow with your big skull and then two with your rose big skulls. There's loads. Not that I'm obviously encouraging it in any way, shape or form, but I imagine if you melted it all down, it would yeah. come to more than what we're charging there. Do you know what? That is so much, isn't it? Mm. <gasps> right, there's loads and loads and loads and loads cool. of you there. We're leaving it with you. As, as I'm, we are pricing today to sell out completely. Right, go on then. Let's go. Again, very similar. Your sugar school bundle again, but this time, slightly different. Have you got the um, breakdown of this one? Thank you. Do you know how it's different? I'm just looking through them all to see what's different with the last one. I think it's a different variety again. It doesn't matter anyway, it's all about the price. You're getting so much here. <laughs> Ten pairs of earrings this time. Ten pairs of earrings. With your connectors. You've then got the large skull in gold, plated, silver. There's so much. I mean, look, you're get, getting all your butterfly backs and you're getting all of your studs and pendants. That just should be priced, £104.50. Okay. Uh, so that's that slightly less than the last one. Uh, I suppose I better make it slightly less as well. Uh, so let's do £19.98. <gasps> Gosh, this is so good. Look at your little charms. Connectors. It's supposed to be £120. Wow. Just for the pairs of earrings, just yeah. a pair of earrings. Sell a pair of solid selling silver earrings for Two 20 quid. You got your money back. £2 each, wow. Even for gift ideas, or if you're doing craft affairs, if you're planning on doing any, uh, you know, making to sell, this is quids in, no brainer. We're talking about well, like Christmas crackers and fillers and stuff oh. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Oh, well done, everybody. Wish bracelets, things like that. Just even if you're not, you know, a, a wire worker mm. or you're starting out in your jewelry making business, less than twenty pounds is a great place to start, and they are solid selling silver again. Okay. Let's go. Mr. and Mrs. Connectors. Oh, I think this one's just Mrs. Let's have a look. Oh, and they're beautiful. You've got them in silver, rose gold, and your yellow gold plating. Oh, how lovely are those? You've got three of each. Okay. All right. And they've got the stamp on as well. You could even stamp somebody's initials on the back, couldn't you? Okay, I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm going to take this down to £5.87. pence. <laughs> You're literally for, plucking for figures out of yeah, thin air. And 87 pence. 55p each one. 55p each. These would be lovely on memory wire, on, uh, on wine glasses. Yeah. For somebody who you know, is, is getting married, if you know maybe a bride who has had their weddings postponed and you want to do them nice little gifts, these are beautiful. £5.87, they're solid sterling silver. Absolutely can't go wrong. Well, in Catherine, Cheshire, Kent, Kay, Tracy, Jenny, Wiltshire, Kent. I can't keep up with everybody. There's so many of you there. Well done, everybody who's checking out. Remember, if you bought anything earlier on this morning, then you're only paying one postage and packaging all day long. Don't forget, Katie Parker's masterclass is coming up at one o'clock. Carol and Tracy still got time. Daisy's bought two. Well done, everybody. Right, we've got the Mr. and Mrs. next. You shot yourself in the foot, I think. Just a bit. I didn't realise. The, the problem is I don't know what's coming next. Oh no! <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just 
I'm sort of stuck. Yeah, there should have been some sort of plan towards this because this is yeah. going to be crazy again. If you manage to get them, well done. You're getting six of each, 10 millimetre little charms. They're beautiful. So these should be twice the price of the last ones. Yeah. Logic suggests. <laughs> How much should they be? You're supposed to be really good with numbers with your job, aren't you? Supposed to be. So <laughs> tell Mark. Um, so they're supposed to be £39.82. Uh, let's do £7.56. Hang on, not double the price. Not double the price. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah, I've got that wrong. Yeah, you definitely got that wrong. Literally, a couple of extra pounds, and you're getting even more 95 solid sterling silver. Jenny's back in, Deborah's back in, Kent's back in. Well done. Do check out as soon as you can. We're going to try and get in as many of these deals as we possibly can between now and 1 o'clock. Let's try and do as much as we can. If the graphics disappear off your screen, don't worry. Go onto the website or speak to the team about availability. Those of you that loved today's uh, mega deal at 12 o'clock, you're going to love this as well. This is really, really special. Those of you that love Amazonite like Liam does, this isn't just any Amazonite, it's Russian. Russian Amazonite is so limited, especially as I'm not sure whether they're mining it anymore. I think they've even closed the mine. So to be able to get it is amazing. Right, now I'm giving you a massive heads up on this. It's coming up at five o'clock today. We've got a huge quantity somehow. Do not know how we've managed to get them together, but we're going to put it onto pre-order now so you can reserve your place. It's not coming up till five o'clock, so you do not want to miss that. We've got a massive quantity. You can get it on pre-order. Oh, these are loved ones. Right, what does this say? Je t'aime. Je t'aime heart. What does it mean, uh, Ben? I think it's I love you in French. I love you in French. It helps, doesn't it, that he's fluent in French. We need to ask Danny. Danny is fluent in French, isn't he? Okay. Should be. They are weighty, by the way. They are weighty. 14 yeah. each. Do you know what the weight of these are? I don't know how true, you're already in. Probably more than the price I'm going to give. You could just put that straight onto a chain, can't yeah. you? Mount it down if you want. For this price, for this price you can do. Seven point ten grams in wow. each. So Christ. Simon, you've got over fourteen grams of silver here. Uh... Let's go £7.98. Ooh! Like Just look one of those, that's ridiculous. Uh, bear in mind, you've got 14.2 grams of silver. So the price, uh, uh, you're not even paying a pound a gram. Wow. Daisy, yeah. Collector in Cambridgeshire, Cheshire, Hazel, Patricia, Deborah, Julia, Hertrude, Kent, Graham, Donna, everybody's gone crazy with these. Right, there, there's only 50 of these. Well, 47, 45, they're going, they're going very quickly. Well done, everybody. Seven pounds ninety-eight. I think this uh, getting up really early has made you a bit delirious. Being back in the studio. It does after like four hours sort of start to get like. I just chuck a number out. <laughs> <laughs> keep going through. Keep going through. It's about twenty of those left. We just want to keep moving through so we get as many of them in as possible. Number seven. These are adorable. Put these straight onto. Um, a chain. <laughs> you can see that you just the the bail is hidden, so you can just put them straight onto a chain. They are so pretty. Look at the cubic zirconia as well. That's stunning. They're so classic. Yeah. So right. How, how much should they be? Because that's already a bundle, which makes my life difficult. Okay. Should be twenty nine ninety. Okay. Right, Liam. If you were to go low, where would you go? You just mean if we're doing a crazy, crazy show. The bad boy gem of JM's here. He said, I'd probably do buy one, get one free at 14 95 Simon's really competitive, you know. I, I am overly competitive about a lot of things. <laughs> uh, so Liam said 14 95 so I will go under 10 so Let's go Ooh. £9 and 2 pence. Let's throw a 2 pence in there. <laughs> 
robe. Why not? Why not? Melissa's there, Gaber's there, Suffolk's there. Oh, I tell you what, to those of you that managed to get any of our chain, just make the most of this. This is such great value. People multiplying. I think everybody who's bought so far is multiplying. Text in, text in, Summer's on one. Message in. You loving the prices? Text in with James Studio and your message to 60777. 60777. We're not in any rush to see all of these go. I don't get why we'll go so low, but go for it. Caroline Marie, Jane, and uh, these are always going to be in fashion, aren't they? Always going to be classic. And I must say, look at how much silver they are. They're really lovely and weighty on solid sterling silver with the gold plating, with your cubic zirconia. It's so sparkly. I love those. Right, these ones are in rose gold. So these have been translated into... Uh... Love you! Oh, maybe the bends. Maybe you two could get each other love you necklaces. The bends. Oh. They look like apples, like the apple of my eye look. Surely, surely I should match the... Hang the, on, is the, yeah. is the silver weight the same? How much, do, how much do I do for the... I love you more. Okay, it says I love you more. Oh, I love you more. Love you more. No, I love you more. No, I love you more. Right, the exact same okay. silver. So Sorry. you've got 7.1 grams, 7.10, 7.1, yeah. so you've got uh, 14.2 grams. So we'll match it, £7.98. Woo-woo, there you go. And please remember, though, hang on, you didn't take into consideration that this has been rose gold plated as well. It's an expensive <laughs> process. Too late. There you go. Uh, I'm over the move. You, I'm on your side, everyone. No, I want you to get the deals. Maybe before I read the price. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's only 30 of these. Oh, They'll be on okay. and gone. They will be on and gone. I'm excited to see what other people do with them as well. Get a bit creative. Maybe you could wire wrap and put some seed beads round mm. and loads that you can do. For less than eight pounds, it's solid sterling silver, gold plated. Christmas decorations. Yeah. Oh, that'd be gorgeous. I think a lot of people, I tell you what, are just stocking up and, and, and making the most of the one PMP. Check out on, if you've never bought from us before, you've got a 60 day money back guarantee at the moment. Make, just to make sure you have no unnecessary trips to the post office. Should do some lovely little lovebirds. Look, they're in silver, rose gold, yellow gold. They are very designer indeed, I can imagine, just with a lovely chain, maybe with some pearls. Look at all of these that you're getting. So you're getting two of the, the loot hoops. You're also getting the lovebirds. Oh, I love these. Then you're getting the little ones as well. Then you're also getting, I mean, there's loads, all three different sizes. Your lovebird bundle. Um, Liam, is this still solid sterling silver? Yeah, it is. This is still solid selling silver. They are so lovely, aren't they? This is your should be price, Simon. So there you go. You've got three of the yellow, yellow gold smaller ones, three of the rose gold smaller ones, two of the hoops, and then three in each colourway of the large lovebird sitting on a tree. Okay, this is weighty. I, I want, again, your weight of silver. I haven't um, got the scales here, but you've got a solid. lot of silver. Let's take about £50 off. Let's take this to £22.78. Pence. <laughs> uh, like, hang on, you're getting so much silver. I'm trying to add up, but it, honestly, at that price point, it's just a no-brainer. Just take advantage of £22.78. And 78 pence. You're talking about... Just under two pounds a, a, a charm or a necklace. I mean, that is just crazy. And they are double-sided as well, look, the detail. Just for one of those birds, just that one, the gram weight is a whopping 3.8 wow. grams. So you've got three, six, nine, you've got, there's 11.4 grams just in these three. And then you've also got these two, which are, are weighty also. 
They're lovely and weighty. And then you've got the lovely little diddy ones, the baby birds. They're so cute. Well done, everybody. These are always very popular whenever we have them. They're, they're fluted bales. So I've seen so many people do different things with these as well. You could have them as your fluted bales like that. So then obviously you put your chain through and a gemstone on the drop. Or you could have them that way around and use them in earrings or, or use them this way around and have little delicate beads dropping through the centre. It's a great stash builder. Oh, well, it's, it's essential, yeah. isn't it? This is brilliant. 20 in total. That's the price that we should be, Simon. OK. So it should be. Uh, OK, so let's do this at... Let's go into 10. Let's do £8.81 for both. Whew. True, Simon special. This is why I tell you what, we have so much demand for you, Simon. Sorry? Forget, forget Liam, we have so much demand for your shows. I'm not surprised at these prices, it's definitely not me, it's that. Oh, this is so good, isn't it? Well done, everybody. £8.81 for 40 chunks. I wish you could see our call screens right now. I've just glanced to the side, and there must be about. 50 people got it in the basket. Already loads of you checked out. Uh, we can't even keep up. It's completely sold out. Well done. Thank you. Let's try and squeeze all of these in. We're going to try and fit them all in the next 20 minutes. I've got to speed up. Now, I know that you love... I know how much Liam loves this gemstone. This is blue lace agate. It's absolutely beautiful. Your double trouble. So... Silver charms. Please be careful because it's blue lace agate. It's one of our favourites. They're so designer, especially when you've got the lovely bezel setting. Um, now you've got six in total. Okay. How much should they be? Okay. Should be here, £49.90, which makes it £8.31 okay. each. Right, let's see if we can shimmy on that because that's yeah. a just... great price, but jewellery maker, we can do better. I'm just... Okay. So I, I'm going to bring these in uh, under 20. So I'm going to bring these at £16 and 62 pence. I think that's probably one of the biggest reductions of the show. When we're looking at blue lace agate, in fact, right, you're getting four for free. The, the price point is of two. You're getting four for free. That is so good. Well done, everybody. Dawn, collector in Cheshire, Lancashire, Pat in Dorset, collector in Berkshire, Amanda Clare, Madeline, well done, Shandy, well done, Angela, collector in Cheshire. Phone lines have gone bananas. I'm not surprised. I am not surprised. And they're finished so beautifully as well. Remember, you're getting six. It's not just two. You're getting six for £16 and 62 pence. Well done, London, Hampshire, Ken, Claire, Anne. Gone, sold out completely. We've got a family of oh. owls, twig twoo. These are so beautiful. I love this design because I can just imagine uh, sitting on quite a sort of short chain. This will look so lovely. In fact, if you managed to get the evil eye kit yesterday with Linda. Um, no, it's not. <laughs> My bad. I went for the wrong box. No, which one's 13? Um, there's nothing in there. No, it's empty. No. Maybe we've got a picture of it. Sorry, that's the wrong one. Uh, the graphics are in, so we will, go, we will uh, continue with it. If you... Uh, I haven't got it here in the studio, but that's the uh, one that we're looking at. Oh, a little family of owls. Six grams of sterling silver. Oh, okay. How much should they be? 1895, right. I'm going to take this down to definitely below 10. Let's go £8.41. So just over £10 off. Ooh, brilliant. That was what was in 13, actually, Liam. 
No, it's not there. <laughs> it's the, I, I thought I picked up the wrong one, but no, that was what was in there. <laughs> eight pounds forty-one. Eight forty-one for ninety-five solid stone silver. And look at the detail. So very detailed. It's over six grams of silver. Quite autumnal as well, aren't they? In the sense of yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I love owls. I think they're always really popular, very symbolic. Uh, we've got Patricia, Barbara, Angela. Sorry I haven't got it physically here to show you. But make the most of that price. Make the most of it. We've got the owls in pairs. Rose gold, 95 solid sterling silver. Get three in the pack. 3.3 grams of silver. Gorgeous, gorgeous detail. How much should they be? 15.95, okay. Let's take this below five pounds. Let's take this to four pounds and 20 pence. Brilliant, to bargain, three. bargain, so bargain, bargain. You know how much we love a bargain. What about 40? Each. One pound 40 each, that's so good. Mummy and baby owl, like a Ben's. Big Ben, little Ben. <laughs> you do call him baby. <laughs> Hello, Diane, Sue. Well done, Hazel, Anthony, Caroline. Right, phone lines have gone bananas. How many of these have we got, Liam? I'm hoping we've got enough to go around. If you've already paid, if you've already paid your P&P, um, you may as well add them to your basket if you've already paid purchase and packaging. Right, that quantity's not going to last. We started with 62, we're now to 40. 39, in fact. Uh, Lynn, Claire, Diane, check out as soon as you can. We've now got less than 20. We're leaving it with you. Keep going through. Even if Liam takes the graphics out, it's definitely worth going through and finding out what is available. Right, you get three of these as well. And they are so lovely. These would make great earrings. They're real head turners, aren't they? <laughs> Thanks, Ben. How much should these be? Ah, <coughs> oh, right, hang on. Um, these have been price rolled. There's a bit of a, a problem with these. It means that we're going to lose money. They should be at twelve ninety five. Uh, it so means there's nothing in it for us. This is all about okay. you. If you go any lower than ten pounds. <laughs> okay. I. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, I'm going to go to four pounds and thirty five pence. Honestly, there's nothing in it for us. There is nothing in it for us. This is all about you. They are so, so pretty. They'd make amazing earrings. Right, I would be multi-buying on these. You're getting three in the pack already, but £4.35, price for the gram weight, for the detail, straight on to gift, uh, gift ideas, necklaces or earrings. You've got a whole suite there. You could use them as bracelet charms. They're so beautiful. It's very, 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 very busy. Remember, check out as soon as you can. You can check out as many times as you want. You've got 60 day, many day, uh, money back guarantee so take advantage of that I know there's loads of you there but we want to try and fit in as many deals as we can between now and one o'clock when we uh, join with Katie Parker let's do can't do that one we can do the rose gold rose gold owls we're gonna do again another amazing price mm. I'm gonna have to match it aren't I uh, straight in at £4.35 then. <gasps> this time in rose gold. Oh, the, I'll tell you what, they'd look lovely together. If you've got the yellow yeah. gold, definitely get these two. I really love it when you mix golds together. They are solid sterling silver, gold plating, and they're really like a pinky rose gold. Linda and I were talking about this yesterday. It's so pretty and so on trend. £4.35. If you even go to your run of the mill affordable high street jewellers, mm. you're not going to get anything like I this. Even, I don't even think you can get the gram weights for that price at the moment. Gosh. No. Oh, well. We can't remake them for this price. No way. Absolutely bonkers. They're stamped as well. They've got the hallmark on the back. 925 sterling silver. 
Right, we're leaving it with you. Nearly sold out. There's loads of you there. We're going to 18. These are like lace. They're so pretty. The bail is included as well, like incorporated into the, the reverse of the design. Now you're getting six of these very beautiful. They look so designer. Really difficult to do as well. These filigree lace designs is absolutely a, a, a skill, a real craft to be able to create this. Okay. I'm telling you now, Simon, these are really hard to replace. Uh, okay, let's take these. Let's just go below 10. Let's go £9.78. That is bonkers. For both of them. <gasps> That's so good, isn't it? There is a big famous designer. I can't remember who it is. I'm just, I was just having a quick look to see who it is that, that does it. Um, but jewellery like this, I mean, the first one that's come up is 4,800. I mean, that is gold, but when you're starting to look at these I, details I that look like lace, in comparison. <laughs> it's a fortune. Have a look. It's so designer. You don't really see this in the run of the mill high street jewellers. That's so pretty. Nine pounds and 75 pence. There is so many of you there. Flurry of people. Sorry if I haven't said your name. There's loads and loads of people coming through for everything. Can't keep up. But you do get all six of those straight onto a chain. Just straight onto a chain. They're really lovely. All six? I thought there was two. No, six. <laughs> six. <laughs> Uh, right, just um, for, for the case of the recording, when this gets watched back in some sort of meeting, this is nothing to do with me and Liam. Yeah, it's all my fault, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, these are so brutal. Right, we got, you listed one, two, three, four, five, six of these. Six. So I can make an informed decision this time, Liam. <laughs> They're lovely little lockets. Well, they're not lockets, but they look like that Tiffany style-esque locket, don't they? I love them. We're all just waiting in anticipation now for so you, Simon. £39.90. I'm like, oh, what's he going to do now? What's he going to do now? From the True Love Connection. Yeah, I mean, based on the price, I think I'll have to keep it consistent and go below 10 So £9.89. pence. Oh, fantastic. I tell you, even if you just put it on a jump ring, on a stretchy bracelet, it's going to look... It's just going to take your jewellery to that next level, isn't it? Working with 925 solid sterling silver. Price per heart is, again, ridiculous. Marie, Deborah, Claire, Anne, Gail, Jane... 165 each. That's it. 165. Even if you charge a fiver each, you absolutely sort of quids in, aren't you? That's brilliant. Well done, Zoe, Greater London, Lancashire. Well done, Jan, Angela, Zoe, Susan, London, Marie, Deborah, Claire, Mo, Tracy, Yvonne. Oh, and breathe. Well done, everybody. Did you hear that they're doing Mambo number six? They're bringing out Ma no, Mambo number five. Mm. It just reminded me of Monica. So they're bringing out Mambo Didn't number six. He's promised, yeah. That was it. It was a condition was COVID's finish, isn't it? Oh, gosh, this is awesome. These are hummingbirds. Oh, look at these. Hummingbirds, they're so cute. Did you know, fun fact for you, oh, let me turn it around that way. There. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> to, I, to start with, I couldn't see it myself. Um, um, fun fact for you, did you know that hummingbirds don't actually hum? They don't have little lips that go... <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Oh, they're so cute. So, £29.90 should be £29.90. You're getting one, two, three, four, five, six of these again. <laughs> okay, let's do, let's go below 10 again. Let's do £9.71. pence. Just go for it. Just go for it. It's ridiculous for six of them. And the detail is gorgeous. Just we take saw, advantage. We saw yesterday with Hayley Kruger how difficult this is, you know, to create these sort of cut-out moments in silver work. Um, it takes real skill and practice to do that. So to say that you've got all six of them, they're all perfect and uniform, fantastic. £9.71. Love it. Bargain.
take advantage. Oh, see, that word, oh, I love a bargain. I would never ever associate jewellery and solid selling silver with words like bargain. And it is today, isn't it? Yeah, and I, and I say to the customers every time I do it, like, none of this is perishable. Some of it might be fashion related, but you know, when they've told me to do gemstones, pearls, you can make it into something fashionable on trend. Um, so there's no real reason other than Having beds you know, are always we in need fashion. some space. Yeah, but, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And we want to always do some PR. Yeah. We don't do crazy marketing campaigns no, on sides of buses and yeah. adverts on, you know, terrestrial, different television programs. It's literally word of mouth. So every now and then we do PR prices like this. Okay. Right, we're moving across to some more bird cages. Three of these. Sterling silver, bird cages. Um, as we are running out of time, let's take these straight down to four pounds and eighty-one pence. There you go. Do it, do it, do it, do it. And squeeze in as many as possible. Three of them. You are getting three. Oops, I can't carry three, but. <laughs> Four pounds, 81. Well done, Marie, Cheshire, Jill. It makes them uh, one pound 60. One pound 60 each. Whichever way you look at it, it does not make sense, especially as you've got 2.1 grams of silver. I mean, they're really lovely and substantial weight. They would just be really nice on a piece of cord, like a wish bracelet, wouldn't they? Or macrame bracelet. Really beautiful. Two, four pound 81, Susan, Melissa, Brenda. Sorry, Marie. We've literally got five minutes left, Liam. We are in sync today, aren't we? Let's go for... Right, I'm just picking out random ones now. This is lovely. <gasps> Look at this. Huge. Like, this is a real big statement piece. My uh, friend celebrated her eight-year wedding anniversary, and I'll always remember on all of her centerpieces, there were all bird cages like this. This would be such... I think a lot of wedding themes, actually, they do, like, love birds, doves in a bird cage like this. Be a lovely present for somebody. What? Uh, okay, let's take this straight down to £4.99. pence. So it's sterling silver. There's 3.3 grams of sterling silver. It's a really lovely size as well. It's 20 by 27 millimetres. £4.99. £4.99 for your bird love cage. Right, we're going to squeeze in a couple more. Squeezing in. Oh, the fairy pendant is so pretty. Like little Tinkerbell, this is so cute. Oh, I want loads of people that would love this. <gasps> Please, can you uh, save one for me? It's not allowed. Oh, I'm going to miss it. Oh, she's so pretty. Look at the little fairy. It's a big um, pendant as well. It's huge. It's a 38 um, millimetre drop. Let's go bottom. straight down to. Six pounds and twenty-three pence. There's only fifteen. Oh, I'm not going to get a look in on this, Liam. They won't last. Look at it, it's highly polished, highly polished silver. Six pounds twenty-three. They're about to go. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Bezel connectors with Rose de France. Pink amethyst, checkerboard faceting. If you've got the, ro uh, the uh, blue lace agate ones, get these as well. These are beautiful. So do you have six of these as well? Three. Pack of three, right, okay. So what did we do last time? For the six. We did 16.62 last time. Seems... Sensible to go half of that. So eight pounds and thirty-one pence. If that's right, yeah. Since yeah. so when did you make sensible decisions? It seems sensible. There's nothing sensible. There's nothing about sensible about the first decision, but <laughs> logically past that then. <laughs> oh, about to sell out. If you think about it too much, then yeah. <sighs> Liam, 
you just find yourself crying, don't you, Liam? I can't imagine the bad boy JM crying. Oh. Oh, no, no emotion, no emotion. He's just, he's just scribing into the desk at the moment. Bad boy, JM. Simon. Ah! That's not uh, a noise followed by my name I ever want to hear again. <laughs> <laughs> Not from our Liam, no. Uh, 8 pound 31, well done everybody. <coughs> oh, we did the smaller hearts earlier. These are the big boys. Ever. Look at these. And because you've got the little uh, gaps at the back, the light will travel through beautifully and give you amazing sparkle. Yet two this time, two of these. Just, just two, okay. Graphics are crashed, no! We've literally got three minutes left with Simon. It's, it's similar to when you do the uh, flight attendant noise. Ben, um, good boy Ben, does like a flight attendant uh, noise down, the, down your ear. Yeah, do you want to hear it, Simon? Well, well it's going to be better than the last noise I heard. <laughs> oh, ah, Simon, oh, ah. <laughs> he's, he's talking to us like we're That's on a flight. Right? We're just cruising it. How are we getting on with the graphics? No, don't do this to us. Oh no, is it just these graphics or is it the graphics? Oh, oh it's in, oh, oh, it's in, oh, it's in. Oh. There we go. Uh, ready? Because of that. Let's knock your socks off. So apologies for the wait. Uh, let's go straight to seven pounds eighty-five pence. <laughs> They're big. They're Sorry. really big. It's only thirty-eight of these. Only thirty-eight. The problem is we've had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you getting involved over the last few hours. So thank you so much for your company. Thanks for staying with us as no, well. Absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. Oh, it's been amazing. Yeah, look forward uh, to it again. When are you back on? When are you back on, Simon? I, I never know. <laughs> Chloe will tell me at some point to know. Just oh, rock just up. Just always got to keep your eyes peeled for Simon's shows. Yeah. It'd be no, there'll be definitely one next month, I imagine. Brilliant. I'll Can't wait. Month. Can't cool. wait. Thank you so much. No, I'm part of everybody. I bet everyone's so grateful. Don't worry, we're going to continue with the madness. Now we've sort of set the bar, we're going to continue with the madness. We're not going to go to a whole break because we've got Katie's masterclass. Um, so in a second, we are going to get, uh, let Simon go home and introduce the kits. Don't forget the Russian Amazonite is on pre-order. Check out your baskets on anything that you've got in there. If there's anything that uh, Simon dropped the price on, make the most of it. Thank you ever so much. Thank you ever so much. so much. Don't go anywhere. It's not a full break. It's literally going to be just this short VT and I'm back with the Masterclass. How exciting! It's honestly been the most amazing morning. So thank you ever so much to Simon and thank you for you, to you for, for tuning in and getting involved because it's been great fun. Uh, right. So we are going to be joined this hour da, 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 by Katie Parker. We're just giving her a call now. We're getting her on Skype and we're going to talk through the kits because they're beautiful. She's made such amazing jewellery and we've got a full 40 minute uh, demonstration masterclass with Katie Parker talking you through everything you need to know uninterrupted as well. She's filmed it for us. Uh, right. Also, oops, can I just show you as we're uh, calling Katie, coming up at five o'clock, we've got the most amazing deal on Russia. And Amazonite, we're going to follow suit of Simon's prices and do some brilliant, brilliant deals. So, whatever you do, do not miss this at five o'clock. We've put it onto pre order, you can reserve your place already. If you have any questions about it, message in. It's going to be a brilliant, brilliant price. So, stay tuned for this. Stay tuned. It is coming up at five o'clock. Right, Katie, are you there? I am here. I can't see you, but I'm here. Hello! Oh, it's so lovely. I can see you. Can you see me now? Uh, no, it's not come off of my screen, but don't worry. I can hear you. How oh, there are I am. You? I can see you now. <laughs> oh, how are you? 
I'm great, thank you. Yeah, brilliant. You good? Yeah, good, thank you. I love the jewellery that you've made with these kits. They're absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I, I loved it too. I love using these round here. They're an excellent bead. <gasps> Shall we have a look at some of the, the pictures of what... Or have you got the jewellery there, Katie? I've what got the jewellery, but you have got the pictures as well. It's up to you. Um, yeah, Liam's just finding the pictures for us to see, but there's the necklace. They're absolutely gorgeous. We can have a closer look on the photographs in a minute. Um, it is stunning. We'll start looking through the kits. Which one first, Liam? It's exciting we've got a few. So, the one, I think it's the one with the white potato pearls, pink seed beads, orange seed beads, your shell pearls. Oh, they, so this is what's different. What did you call these? The, 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 did you say they're su the super duos? No. They are round duos. Round duo, okay. So they're a round bead with two drill holes. So it gives you the opportunity to use them in lots of different ways because you've kind of got that offset at each side. So making mandala pendants and things are absolutely brilliant with these. I've made one of those with this kit as well. But changing the direction that you're actually using the beads. So the top line, I'm using them horizontally. And the second line on the, on the main necklace, I'm using them vertically. So it just gives you lots of ways to adapt the way that you can use the other beads around it. Amazing. So you're getting loads of those, plenty to have a real good sort of play around with. Um, I believe you get a hundred. Yeah, you get a hundred of those. You also get your silver line dusty rose beads, rose beads, which are your eleven O's. You then also get your uh, silver line dusty rose beads, eleven O's. Uh, no, sorry. I'm really bad at reading off this screen and seeing which ones they are. So, let me just go for the package. You've got your 11 O's, which are dusty rose, those ones. You then also have your opaque baby pink. That's what was confusing me. They're like a corally pink, aren't they? They're really pretty. Yeah, that's, they're beautiful. I didn't actually get that kit on time, so I've got the other kit. This colourway is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that pink. Really festively, I love them. And especially then with your pearls, you get your potato pearls as well. There they are. Great combination. This is the other colourway. So we'll show you what uh, Katie's made with the other kit, with the other colourway. Of course, you're getting the same components in each kit, aren't you, Katie? So you can yeah, make the same yeah. one and make along with Katie. Yeah, absolutely. The same components in each kit. So you're working with the round duos, the freshwater culture pearls and the size 11s. Nice. They're beautiful. They're really, really nice. And then you also get your sterling silver. Oh, that's so pretty. That yeah, is so lots pretty. of sterling silver as well. I even used the, um, the crimp covers to make the earrings, to make the beads, the sterling silver beads for the earrings. Fantastic. So, I mean, yeah, you've got plenty of silver. You've got shepherd's hooks, you've got your jump rings, you've got crimp beads, crimp bead covers, your uh, head pins and your bolt ring clasps as well. All going to an amazing price. We've got two different kits, both in gorgeous colourways, the purples, but these are definitely your real festival bright colours, aren't they? They're going to look lovely together. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And I think especially those pinks with those kind of white pearls, they're going to look absolutely amazing. It's kind of just going to pop, isn't it? Now, we've shot us up in the foot. I don't know whether you've seen over the last few hours, we've been doing ridiculous prices. So we are going Very to Very ridiculous prices. <laughs> Crazy prices. We're going to ignore the price that the kit team has given us and go to the lowest price possible. If you love it, dial now, because this is going to be so good. Just for the pearls alone, what's the price on the pearls? Liam saying $24.95. Liam saying if it were him, it would be $24.95. The whole kit for that price. The pearls, the sea beads, your 11 O's, your also your round duos and all of your sterling silver. You're getting 100 of those round du duos to have a real good play around with. £24.95. That is fantastic. And you really do get a lot of those round duos. And it, it, honestly, if you've not used them before, it just opens up a whole new world to using twin hole beads, but using the round is, is it's amazing. I've nice. had so much fun. I had them a few weeks ago in a kit, and honestly, it's just endless what you could do with them. 
And remember, you're getting a whole 40-minute uninterrupted masterclass from Katie today. So jot down today's date, and when you get the kit home, you're going to be able to watch the show. Right, do you want to do the other kit? Let's have a look at the kit that Katie was working with. Right, we've got a bigger quantity. This is the one that Katie's used, and I have no idea how on earth Liam is taking it lower. I don't know why, I don't know how, but he said, right, lower. because I know no. this is going to be popular, we are going to go lower. They're both beautiful. We love that colourway as well, but this one is with... We've got just shy of 100 of these, and we want them all to go. Your 11 in dark amethyst luster, and also your 11 O's in your uh, grey salon. They are beautiful i love these colors and, and they work so beautifully together that gray salon is absolutely stunning oh, and i love the color of the potato pearls uh, it's they're really delicate natural. isn't it yeah to say that they're natural i find it baffling and these metallic colors in your round duos you've got great metallic golds and pinks and greens oh lovely 100 of those hundred of those plus you're then getting all of your sterling silver findings packs so you're getting your head pins your bolt ring class your crimp covers shepherd's hooks and your jump rings just that one necklace i mean the time obviously that's gone into this but if you're looking at, at selling it how much would you imagine to achieve for this katie um i think for the amount of time that's in it and it's got sterling silver clasp obviously um i think we'd be looking at around about 70 pounds I think this is going to shock you. The price of the kit is amazing, phenomenal, and, and it goes a long, long way. You've made some very bead-heavy pieces, haven't you? Yeah, very much so. And I've still got more than half of each of these size 11 beads left, so plenty, plenty left to make more. Brilliant. Right, there's loads and loads of you there. This is the one called Cherry Blossom. Just so you know, put it into your basket. It's not going to be $24.95. If that's any indication, then these will all sell out. we got 100 but be quick. Make the most of this while stocks are available. This is it. Here we go. 20-piece findings pack. Two packs of your uh, seed beads. Considering, Katie's saying, look, with the necklace, for the tie that's gone into it, the fact that it's silver with all of those beautiful beads, and looking around £70 for the necklace, we're less than 20 on this. Wow, that, that's an ama amazing price. Gosh, isn't it? That's so good. <laughs> that, that shocked me, definitely. Oh. Wow. Honestly, that, that thing has shocked us all. Uh, something uh, Simon has definitely left. His mark here today, hasn't he? We're just yeah. going to keep going lower and lower and lower. Marie, uh, Anne, well done, Anita, Helen, Jane, Kirsty, Linda, Elaine, Melissa, Sandra, Jacqueline, everybody who's purchasing today, don't forget to jot down today's date so when you get the kit home, you're going to be able to go through and watch Katie's Masterclass uh, as you've recorded a 40 minute demo. What is it that you're making on the demo, Katie? Um, I'm going to make that, that main necklace piece. So, so going through all the different layers of that and changing the direction that we're using, the round duos and adding the, the pearls. So yeah, we'll be making that whole piece and the neckline as well. Yeah. So oh, yeah, lovely. everything. So you're going to see it all uh, uninterrupted as well. Okay, yeah, that, the lovely video. that's a finish. Yeah. Fantastic. This, by the way, just the pearl strand that's supposed to be 18.95 at least surely they are natural beautiful pearls of this color for less than 20 pounds is already crazy just very very quickly um i've got we've got a couple of minutes just before we go to to the video so is it this as well your Carson magnifier. So they change it into, they change and, and attach. These are brilliant for seed beading, but also great for all sorts of crafts. So you get your main uh, magnifier. It either stands up, you've got the stand, yeah, or you can put this around your neck, which is handy, isn't it? So if you're sitting yeah, on the sofa, yeah. we're I did a workshop a couple of weeks ago, and a few of my ladies had these, and I was like, I need one of those. That's fantastic. It's, it's and so they would have it hung around the neck and they were able to do the wire work seed beading so much easier because it's, it's there in front of you when normally when we pick up jewelry to work we're working kind of here in front of us so it it just makes life so much simpler so much yeah. easier yeah. i was quite jealous 
I know someone who's got one of these as a, um, a, a reading magnifier for in bed, you know, at night, because it's got a light on it as well. It has got the light, and you can have it at two times magnification, 2.5, and three times magnification. You get three different lenses. It's a phenomenal price today. So for anybody who is maybe thinking, right, I don't know how I'm going to get on with CBs being so small with the 11Os, have a go, get yourself a magnifying glass and it will make life so much easier. It does also come with batteries, I believe. Jane, well done, Beverly's there, Diana's there, Tracy, congratulations, Essex, this would make a lovely gift for somebody, wouldn't it, Katie? Very, very much. Anybody that does any sort of crafting, this would be amazing. Or even, so, you know, like a gift for a guy as well when they're yeah. working. I know my husband, he does like lots of soldering with circuit boards and things. So anything that's got that intricate detail on that you need to see and yeah. be really precise is fantastic. Any model work or embroidery, cross stitch yeah. over on our sister channel Sewing Street, we should get these actually, because these are ideal yeah, for definitely. anybody who's doing anything up close and personal. Uh, or even, you know, sometimes when you're reading some instructions and they're really small print, it's just difficult yeah. to read. Yeah, or the back, of, the back of a shampoo bottle or something like that, <laughs> yeah. where it's really tiny, tiny writing. Yeah, I think actually you won't realise how much you use it until you have one and then think, oh yeah. gosh, how did I cope without it? Loads of you there check out your basket as soon as you can we are going to have a watch of the master class thank you ever so much katie we're excited to watch your video you're, you're welcome gonna, thank you're you come back uh, with xena aren't you at th three o'clock yes yes i believe so it's so lovely to see you Lovely to see you too. I'll be back in the studio soon. Oh, amazing. Can't wait. Can't wait. Miss you lots. Uh, we're going to dive straight into your demo, Katie. So, uh, check out your baskets. Make the most of it as soon as you can. £18.95 is, uh, needless to say, the most popular kit. It's beautiful with your lavenders and your purples. You've also got your lovely potato pearls, your sterling silver. Gorgeous, gorgeous uh, findings pack and your round duos. Are you ready? I will see you straight after Katie's demo. Don't go anywhere. Check out your baskets and I'll see you after this. Hello, it's Katie Parker. Today I'm going to be showing you this necklace design, which is in front of me here. And we're going to be going through how to create this design right from start to finish for the masterclass. So included in your kit, you are going to have everything you need. The only extra things you need is some thread and some needles. Um, what, we're, what we've got are the pink potato pearls, which are absolutely beautiful. We've got some Mayuki size 11 seed beads and the colours of these are grey Ceylon and dark amethyst gold luster. And then we've got these amazing round duo beads which I've had the pleasure to use just a few weeks ago and they are fantastic. And these are in an ancient gold colour and the size of these are 5mm each. So these are a two hold bead so it's a round but it's got two holes in it so you can see that there so it gives you a little bit more flexibility for different ways ways to use them so um, the needles that I've used I've used size 12 beading needles by um, Beadsmith and um, they've gone through everything perfectly fine but there are a few points where we're going to have multiple passes through so that's the reason that I've gone with a size 12 and the thread that I've used is And it's the white coloured wildfire. I like this for the strength of it and I think the colour works well with the, the beads that we have. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just going to move a few things out of the way and I'm going to show you how much, how much thread and how we're set up to create the first piece. So I've already pre-threaded this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a length of thread. So the length of thread is going to have to be quite long to start with. So if you look here, I've got a stop bead. And this section just here at this side is probably around about 60 centimetres there. So I've put my stop bead 60 centimetres in. And then from there, so you're going to measure 60 centimetres. And then from there, you're going to... The kind of three meters or so okay so I know it's a, it's a lot to deal with but we are going to be using quite a lot just because I want to 
build up the sides, this central piece, build up the sides and build up the other side. So this thread at this side is actually going to be making the necklace part that comes around this side and then you can see we've got the beginning of the design here and then I've already started building up that design for the necklace part there. So what we're going to do is we're going to be threading some round duos on and then three seed beads. So the, the seed beads that I've chosen to use, the, the way that I've done it is a round duo, pick up any, any colour because all the colours work so well together. Then I've picked up a amethyst colour and what I've done is I've done that until I've got 20 round duos on there. So not including the bead at this side. So eliminating that bead there, I've got 20 round duos with three seed beads, three size 11 seed beads in between each one. So that's going to be the kind of baseline for our, um, our necklace design. So we're working on this top line here, the very top line of the necklace, and that is 20 round duos with three seed beads between each one, a amethyst, a grey, and then another amethyst. Okay. So, so once we've got to that stage, because our thread's in the right position, we're going to continue and make the rest of the side of that, the necklace at this side. So if I just pull this in this direction, I've already started threading for this. So just as a continuation on, we're going to thread 10 of our grey Ceylon sea beads. Then as a round duo, you can see I've only used one whole of those. And then again, 10, around duo, 10, until I've got one. Uh, in not including the last one here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got eight extra round duos, which are not included in, in that 20 there. Okay, so now what we need to do is attach our clasp. So to attach a clasp, we've got our clasp and all, everything in our kit, which is still in silver. So I'm just going to grab those. So in your kit, you will get a pack of sterling silver findings just like this. And you will find in there, you've got clasps and you've got jump rings, everything you are going to need. So I've got a clasp and a jump ring there. So I can just pop those back in for now. So that's everything we're going to need. So you're going to attach your clasp at one end and a jump ring at the opposite end. Now, what you need to do is take some pliers and just look at your jump ring just before you, you kind of get started. and Make sure this is fully closed because we don't want to pick it up and it be open. So what I'm doing is I'm holding the jump ring at this side on my left side. And then I'm going to hold with the right side and just give that a wiggle and kind of just make sure that that is fully closed and it's all together, that your thread is not going to be able to get through. And I usually kind of just give it a little tap, not squish, just a tap that way and it'll just work hard on it slightly just to make sure that that jump ring is in perfect condition to be able to use with, with thread. So we're going to take a look at attaching that clasp now. So let me just find my needle. Here we go. Right, so the part where the clasp attaches is here. So we just need to make this extra little bit of a design feature here to attach that clasp. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up of the grey seed beads one, two, three, four five so I've picked up five seed beads so what I'm going to do is with the grey seed beads I'm going to pick up five seed beads so one two three four five seed beads of the and then what we need to do after that is pick up six of our purple our amethyst one two three four five six now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add that jump ring, that jump ring that we just made sure was nice and closed. So I'm going to come through the jump ring and pull this down as well. And now I'm going to come down two of those grey beads, so the, the kind of first two coming back towards this round duo. So and then pulling this through. 
and what that will do is that will create a little space so we've got that little space for our um, our jump ring to sit in and what we just need to do is make sure everything's pulled quite tight in the other direction and then pull this down so that everything's sat in place so we've got a good consistency of tension all the way through and now I need to add another three C beads one two three of the grey and then I can come back down the opposite side of my round duo so the opposite side to the one we used previously on the way up so and then just pulling this through so that we've got that little design detail it's like a little cross in there and it's coming away from the round duo we've got that loop and our jump ring is in there right so now all we need to do is continue all the way back down so because we added 10 at one side we're going to add 10 again at the other side so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Oh, I think a cheeky one just jumped on there. Yep, so we've got 10 beads on my thread and through the next round you out. And that's all we're going to do all the way back until we get to that baseline that we made for the actual necklace. Now, as time goes on, as we're making this, we will find a point at some point to come all the way back up here and back down just to re-strengthen it but we don't need to worry about that just at the moment so we just our thread has come all the way up around and created that, that loop detail at the top and we're just going to continue that back down so I will meet you back here when we get back down to this bead here so we've come all the way back down adding those 10 beads in between each of our round duos and I've exited the last round well the first round duo if we're heading in this direction so we've still got this original 20 and this is my if I'm working in this direction I would call this my first one for now so what I want to do is create an, a duo in between here but I don't want it to be sat in the same direction as these ones here so these ones the holes are sat horizontally the next section I want to put on I want the holes to sit vertically in this direction so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to add two of the amethyst size 11 seed beads I'm going to add one of the round duos then I'm going to let that drop all the way down and then I'm going to come back up the round duo so using the opposite hole on the other side I'm going to come back up the round duo like so don't worry if it's not tightened up yet it will do in a few seconds and then I'm going to add my extra two um, amethyst seed beads and then come through the next round duo in my original baseline so and I'm just going to pull all that together and then just encourage it to sit the way that I want it so what you might have to do is kind of pull that thread at the bottom and then pull everything in and now I've got this little triangle shape and I know that my uh, round duo is now sat with the holes vertical rather than horizontal so I'm going to do that all the way along so I'll just do another one for you and then we'll skip across to the end there so picking up two amethyst a round duo let that drop down come up the opposite set of holes on the round duo pull that through and then pick up two more of your amethyst color and through the next round duo now one thing I should have said right at the beginning is as you're working along when you're adding all these round duos just remember to check that both holes are free because sometimes when the um, they're adding color sometimes you can get a little bit of color stuck in the holes now I haven't had any problems with these round duos at all with the holes being fully um, in sort of filled in but sometimes you just kind of need to free them a little bit like that one and I just push that through and it's gone through fine so it's um, it's not a problem at all but just make sure just because it's a little bit soul destroying if you've come all the way along and then we're all the way back and then you find one that you can't get through so we're just going to continue doing that all the way along until we've got 
all of our all of our little pieces filled in and then I will meet you back here in a few seconds and we will uh, continue on so now I've worked in all these little triangles of um, beads all the way along and all of my round euros are now sat this bottom line are sat with their holes vertically so now what I need to do is add the next row and the next row is adding pearls so we're going to add a pearl underneath each one of these round duos which is why I wanted the, the holes to actually sit vertically so it's going to sit in the right direction for the look I wanted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change direction and we're going to be kind of adding them sort of in this direction around in circles. Okay. So we're going to continue using the thread that we've been using. I know we've got a long length here but that's going to be used mainly to make the, um, the other side of the necklace. And I'm going to come up around and through the top of this bead. So I've come out of the bottom. My thread's exiting the bottom row of this top row. And I'm just going to come through that top, through the next three seed beads, and through the next round duo, like so. So I'm just going to pull that through. Just be careful when you come through that very first bead that you don't include this little seed bead here because that's just your stop bead and we don't want that to be part of this. Then we're going to change direction and come back towards this one. So I'm going to come down through the bottom of that, that round duo and right down through. So I've come through the bottom part of this round duo, just come up through the top and then I'm going to skip down onto the bottom. And so we've come down right to the bottom and now we're in a position where we can add the pearl. So to add the pearl we're going to add three seed beads. I'm going to use in three of the amethyst then pop your pearl on and another three amethyst then you're going to come back up the opposite side again so you're just going to go right through to where you just started so through the round duo through the two and then back up to here so right exactly where we just started we just made a full circle now it looks like it's probably not going to sit right but once you pull it in you'll find it just sits really nicely underneath there. Now we need to proceed to the next one. So we're going to follow that bead path again. We're going to go all the way through. And this time, so I've come all the way through to where I've just been here. And this time we're going to go through to the next round duo. So all the way through and through the next round duo. Pulling this through. And then I can skip down to the bottom of that round duo and proceed all the way down to the bottom of this one here. So that we're right on that bottom line again. And again, adding three of our amethyst, one of our pearls, and another three of our amethyst. And then back up the opposite side like so. So we're coming all the way back up to the opposite side of the round duo and proceeding back up towards that top line again. Pulling that in and then I'm exiting out of this round duo here so I can skip up to the top of it again and through the next three seed beads through the next round duo and I've completed that next circle. So all these passes of thread are actually strengthening the piece as well and making it sit a lot nicer. So now I can think about adding the next one. So I can come through the next three C beads through the next duo like so and then come down to create the next little section so I can skip to the bottom of this round duo and then all the way down so I'm coming out vertically at the bottom here so we're just going to continue that all the way to the end until we've got all of our pearls sat underneath so it's just a matter of just a really methodically going through each one and making that kind of circuit around each one of those round duos 
adding the purl and coming back through and round back to where you started again and then proceed to add the next one so I'm just going to finish this one off so pulling that back through adding the pearl and if it doesn't sit right just give it a little wiggle and a little tug and it will sit right and again it's stepping up at the other side of the round duo proceeding back through so this is why I chose to use a size 12 beading needle because we're going to have many passes through through size 11s as well so it'll just make it easy for you if you haven't got 12 you can use a 10 but uh, a 12 will make it easier okay so now I've got to that point again I know I can proceed to the next duo and start working on that one so my threads exiting here and then I can start working on the bottom of this one so like I say we're going to add one to every single one of these because we started off with 20 and then we went in between each one of these we'll have 19 pearls to add because we're going in between each one and that that will also give you that nice focal point in the middle because a nice odd number gives you a kind of central point to focus on so I'm going to continue adding all these and I will meet you back when I get to this end so I've worked my way all the way back, adding pearls all the way along the way I just showed you. So and my thread's exiting the top row, so I've come back through, round here, back up, and it's exiting the top row here. Now, because we started with so much thread, you would think that you would maybe be able to make the whole thing with all that thread. Then, But this does eat a lot of thread, so I've only got probably about 30 centimetres left of this piece of thread, so this was about 3 metres long just to make this section um, here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some thread. I'm going to show you how I add thread. So I don't want to add it here because I think it's too obvious here and I'm going to start working down towards this bottom piece anyway. So I'm going to skip down to the bottom of this round duo and I'm going to come out of the bottom of it there. So this is the point where I'm going to add thread because I think that will hide quite nicely there. Obviously, if you've got enough thread, you don't need to add thread. You just can just keep on going. But you would need around about sort of 80 centimetres or so to get, get to the other end of this in the next section that we're going to do. So I've got my thread in the position I want it to. The needle's still on there. I'm just going to pop that in the mat just for a second. And I'm going to pick up another needle with another fresh piece of thread and so this has probably got about a meter and a half on so I know I've got plenty on there so what I do is I'm just going to move that out of the way so hopefully it'll focus so what I do is I come about six inches down the thread at the end so this is the the end of my thread and then I can make a loop so I just grab so I take a couple of inches and push them together and make a loop now with the actual length so the, the working side of my thread the tails in my hand here I can bring this up and under and through and create a little sliding knot there and then I can just pull that through until so that I've just got a little loop there so if you need to kind of rewind and watch that back that's fine if you're watching on YouTube so I can bring this back in now so this is my new needle that I'm going to be using and this is the one that I've just been using so I'm going to pass that needle up through the loop that I just made just pop your needle into the mat for a few minutes and I'm going to tighten this knot this sliding knot around the original thread and hold the thread at the same time so I've got the tail of the thread is here the new thread this is the new thread and that's the old thread up there and if I just tighten all those together and pull those nice and tight that's kind of created a knot in that little section there. So I've come down away from my knot through those two amethyst um, seed beads through the duo and now I'm just going to do a little kind of a skip across and down the other side of these amethyst beads. So I'm coming down those three at this side. So it is a little cheat, it's just a little skip across but there is already a thread bridge there so it's not really going to be recognizable in the finished piece and then just pull your thread through like so so you're not really going to be able to see that little bit of a thread bridge there so i'm just going to keep those threads out of the way for a few minutes and then in between each of these we're going to add one of the gray beads so i'm just going to pick up 
one of the grey 11s and come up through the opposite section of um, amethyst size 11 seed beads and you'll see this will just kind of pinch them together and draw them together like so so now they're attached to each other now I can come back down through that round duo and through the seed beads at the bottom there and attach my next one so it's just adding that little grey bead and then coming up through those three seed beads and up to that super duo there and pulling that through and that will join that together and bring that together like a netted design so I'm just going to come down through that same round duo that we just exited and through to the bottom I'm just going to leave that there just for two seconds while we just look at those threads that we just added so you can see it's kind of bringing that together and it's all sitting nicely because at the moment it kind of sits a little bit higgledy piggledy but by adding that little grey seed bead in between it'll start to sit really nicely so we're going to come back and have just have a look at where we added our thread so what I normally do is I normally add my thread and then just work a little bit of the thread in the new thread and just come away from it a little bit and then all I need to do is just follow the thread path around and um, finish off kind of where wherever I want to be so with this thread what I would do is I would kind of come up the other side of that round duo and then work this thread up towards the kind of clasp area and that's going to give me sort of a nice far enough away finish off to um, to just cut off the new piece so working my way up and away from there and then I would add a needle into this little piece this tail piece and do the same in that and you can tie knots as you go as well so you can tie knots so you can see that thread is exiting there so what I can do is I can come underneath all of this and then through that loop that I just created and that will just tie a little knot just give that a tug it'll just tie a little knot over the thread and then you can work away from that and do that a few times as you work along but it's just working your threads in and trying to follow thread paths as much as possible so I'm just going to show you once more just about adding that little bead it only takes a second so it's just picking up one of your greys and then it's just kind of following this little loop around the next one here so it's just a matter of connecting these all together so they all sit nice and pretty together so I'm just going to continue on and work my way to the end and I will meet you back when I'm at the opposite end of the piece with all of these connected together so now we can see that shape really forming now and we're getting that, that beautiful pattern. So I have finished that bit, I'll just go over what I did with these threads here. So I worked these threads, the ones that I added up to the clasp and back and I've tied them off together um, quite shortly and then just worked them into the design. So then you can use some nice sharp scissors into right into where you need to cut so you get a really nice short cut so these are the Fiskars scissors these are fantastic and they go to a really really nice tip so that you can get right in to little um, nooks and crevices and uh, get a really nice sharp cut I don't know whether you've ever tried to cut fire line or wildfire with your flush cutters or something like that if you're a, a generally a wire worker it, it doesn't cut very nice and it leaves kind of a really frayed end. The other thing that you could use is your bead zapper, not bead zapper, thread zapper. So you could use your thread zapper to cut your threads too, which is another great way of getting a nice clean way to cut your, your threads. So we've got sorted that side out. Now we need to start adding some more. We've still got that very long length on here with the stop bead on don't worry about that for now ignore that because that's where where we're going to be adding um, the other side so the opposite side to this so now we can start working back down along here so just because it's easier for me I'm just going to flip this over so I flip this over and I'm working from this end just because it's easier so my thread is exiting those three seed beads at the side of this pearl so this is a very very easy part all we're going to do is come through the pearl 
and pull through and then just pick up one of our round duos checking that the holes are not blocked as we've done with all the other ones and then adding that in between so it's all just a matter of working all the way along just adding these in between each time just making sure you check those holes that they are free you can usually kind of see if you, if they're not going to be free but like I showed you before they do clear out quite well so that one looks like it could be no it's fine and but it really is worth just checking everyone because like I say if you've got to kind of go back and do them all again it's uh, it's not fun so working all the way along until we get to the opposite side and I will join you there in just a few seconds so just filling all those gaps in all the way until we get to the opposite side so once we've got to the very end adding these round duos which I'm just going to point out that it's it's especially important that we use the round duos for a design like this because any other round bead wouldn't sit like this we need that kind of top drilledness so you wouldn't be able to get it to sit nicely in between those pearls if it wasn't the round duo and then we wouldn't be able to add the design on the bottom because there would be if it was just a single drilled uh, round we wouldn't have that extra um, aperture to be able to create an extra design so these round duos are absolutely fantastic for really kind of evolving your designs and being able to take your ideas a lot lot further so now what we need to do is change directions now it is a little bit difficult to change direction in in this way but um, we're just going to kind of do a little skip so we're going to come I'm exiting out of the end of this pearl here and we're going to come up through the three amethyst beads seed beads the size 11s and up into that round duo and pull through so what I'm wanting is to be exiting at the bottom the other side of this bead here so what I could I could kind of do a big kind of circuit and all backwards and forwards but to be quite honest we've got a lot of thread through there at the moment and what I tend to do is just come back down so back down that super that uh, round duo and through those bottom three C beads and because we're using this color thread and we're at the side of a pearl what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of come through I've just gone through to the back just so that it's kind of sat on, on the back underneath and then I can come through the bottom of here no problem at all and it's totally invisible you can't really see that little cheat that we just did there so now I'm in a position where I can start adding some more seed beads so nice and simple again so one two three four five and six so I'm adding six seed beads and going to the next round duo and we're going to do that all the way along to the opposite side one two three four five six now one of the other things that you could use the other thread colors that you could use would be a green wildfire now the green wildfire is fantastic for disappearing especially when we're using these sorts of color tones these um like coppers and it's kind of got that illusion of greens in there as well so that would be a really good kind of alternative to using the white thread and even down the side of that pearl the way that we've just used it it would still kind of blend and disappear into this so we're just going to continue all the way along adding six seed beads in between each of these round duos until we get to the other side and then we're going to add that little bit of extra detail and then we can make the other opposite side so I've got all the way down to this side and now we're just going to kind of make a little pattern round to get in the right position if we can do so I'm on the bottom hole of this round duo so I'm going to come through the top hole part of this so through here so I'm on the top row of this now now I'm going to come up through here 
I want to get back down onto that bottom. So I'm going to come all the way around and then I'm going to come through the opposite side. So it's kind of a, a bit of a trek round. So what I've done is I've worked my way all the way up here and I've got back right up to this corner. So it just takes a few seconds to wiggle that through, which is why I just skip through that a little bit. And then what we want to do is create so that we're actually going to come through this pearl and through so we're in the kind of right direction. So it might just take you a couple of minutes just to wiggle your needle through because it's quite tight up here now. And don't forget you can always use a pair of pliers if you want to kind of just pull that thread just gently. We don't want to damage the thread but pulling the thread through with a thread or if your needle kind of feels really really tight on there you can grab your needle with your thread with your pliers and pull that through and gently and that will help you immensely so we're going to come through this pearl and we're going to skip down to the bottom of that um, round duo again so we're on that bottom line again and we're ready to start our last section of the main piece of the necklace so this time what we're going to do is we're going to come down three of those six beads that we added so down three and we're just going to add that little point on the end so nice and easy just pick up one of the alternate colours which is a grey and through the next three seed beads and through the round duo and pull through and what that will do is we'll add that nice definition that point there so down three so we always if you're ever doing this kind of um, adding kind of detail of a point like a pico or something like that we um, always need a even number and then we go back through and add that central one and because we only had an even number to start with the distance is a little bit shorter so it kind of creates that definition by adding that that extra one in rather than just adding maybe seven beads to start with and then it would just sit in another loop but adding that extra bead with that tension as well that we've, we've made for because we only left enough room for six beads it creates a more of a focal point on each one so creating the, all these little points all the way along and working all the way back along your design so just making sure we don't loop anything in and you can see already there the difference of these are just kind of loops but these have got that nice definition to each one so I'm going to work all the way along here and then we'll get to the end and then we'll start working on the other side of the necklace so as you can see I proceeded all the way along here adding that extra bead and giving that that definition that detail all the way along the bottom and I've exited at the the pearl at the opposite end now with this thread all I need to do now because this um, this side is complete and finished all I would do now with this side is maybe run this thread up here and back down again just to give even extra security because the threads there so we may as well use it and then that side is absolutely finished now we can move over to that side that we began at which had the stop bead so I've removed that stop bead so just make sure you do remove that stop bead first and just like we did at the beginning I've threaded all of these on so I've got eight of my round duos and so not including the one that's on there I've got eight on here and in between these there are ten size 11 seed beads in between each one so I'm just going to go through just really quickly how we've made that loop for the clasp and adding the actual clasp this time rather than the um, jump ring so I added one two three four five of the size 11 seed beads and then I've added one two three now I added six but because the loop in the clasp is a little bit smaller there I'm adding three because the, those beads won't go through and then pop in the clasp on and then adding another three one two three like so and then I'm going to come back down two of those silver those grey size 11 beads so I've created that little loop again but this time I've made sure because the the one at this side it will just um, it will just sit in that little circle because it's a, a larger hoop but the wood the clasp is actually a little bit smaller so we just need to make sure it's going to be sat in the right position so I'm just going to give that a little bit of a tug where the clasp is and then pull that back and now I just need to add three one two three size 11 seed beads 
and back through the opposite side of the round duo and then it's just a matter of working my way back again so it's adding that 10 seed beads one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and through the next one and this side you will have plenty of length on this piece because we left I think we left about 60 centimeters 50 60 centimeters so that we can come up and down this side a few times with our thread and make sure it's really well finished off because this is the part especially on this loop here so we want a couple of times around that loop at least just to make sure that it's got a lot of strength there because if there's anywhere on your, your piece of jewelry that takes kind of the strain it is the clasp so the clasp is going to be against that thread and we want as much strength there as we can possibly get so once you've kind of finished all that you will have your piece finished so you will be left with your necklace ready to be worn like so with all that nice uh, detail across the bottom and a nice kind of um, necklace design for going around the neck too and it sits really nicely on the neck and even if it twists it still kind of looks really really pretty so and I'm just going to show you the other little pieces that I made to go with this kit so I made a little tiny mandala pendant as well so that's again using the super duos and using the fact that we've got those two um, holes through them to be able to get them to sit really nicely next to other beads and it creates a beautiful design and again being able to frame little beads like so using those round duos as well and then I've used the actual um, the crimp covers from the kit to make myself some sterling silver beads to get so there you go you can see those there so thank you very much for watching and uh, take care and I will see you again very soon Thank you very much, Katie. Remember, she will be joining Zena again in an hour, three o'clock. She'll be back on uh, three, I think, potentially. Uh, but we can't wait to have her back in the studio. Can't wait for her to be back. It's um, lovely to see her. We've got two amazing kits, both very, very popular. Uh, just so you know, the availability on the Cherry Blossom kit, which is this one, is now extremely, extremely limited. So with the Cherry Blossom kit, you get your natural potato pearls, which are in those beautiful lavenders and pinks. You also get two tubes of your 11.0 seed beads, one in dark amethyst gold luster, and then this one, which is gorgeous, this one's called Grey Salon. Love those, with the, uh, especially with the potato pearls absolutely beautiful you then get these great round duos so they've got the two drill holes through which as you can see uh, from the master class that it really does go a very very long way and it'll really help out with your making uh, having that extra drill hole so you get a hundred of those plus you then get your solid sterling silver uh, findings pack with head pins bolt ring class jump rings crimp beads crimp bead covers and shepherd hooks all for 18.95 can i just stress now the other kit which i will show you as well is 24.95 i do not know why liam has gone that one so low Okay, Liam's saying it's because Katie used it and we had a really big quantity, it meant that we could push it slightly lower, but make the most of that one, especially as it's just 18.95. This one is gorgeous as well. I must say, even if it's still very affordable, it's still the price point of what you would just pay, surely, for the pearls. The pearls, I believe, are supposed to be £25, so at £24.95 you're getting your pearls, beautiful potato pearls, classic potato pearls, plus then your dusty rose 11 O's and your baby pink uh, opaque 11 O's, plus then you're getting your silver gorgeous round duos and your sterling silver findings pack crimp beads crimp bead covers jump rings head pins bolt ring class and chaps exactly the same as the others um, it's 24 pound 95 which as i say is the price point that you should be paying really for the potato pearls on their own brilliant price loads you got that in your basket linda susan stephanie and karen don't forget to check out now Thank you ever so much, as I said to Katie, for a brilliant masterclass. It's nice to be able to have a full demonstration. Uh, right, what was that, sorry? These ones, yes. This is coming up in a bit, isn't it? Um, we're going to do it in the four o'clock hour. We're going to do the most amazing auctions. Liam has teamed it up with some sterling silver as well. We love these. They are high luster, incredible pearls. Uh, 
They're really, 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 really special. They're very, very special. Very high-end indeed, very special. To be able to get them with your sterling silver, fancy earrings finding pack as well. You're getting your hoops, your shepherd hooks, um, your wishbone, jump rings, toggle clasps and head pins. We're gonna do that as a really special bundle at four o'clock. Also, at five o'clock, this is already going very, very well on pre-order. Loads of people already checked out. We've got over 200 of these, so you're all right at the moment, but, if you loved the jade eye earlier on, if you love these tones, if you love turquoise, if you love Amazonite, we are going to do a Russian Amazonite auction like you've never seen before. We've got hundreds of these available going to the most outrageous price. It's going to be brilliant. I love the fact that so many people have confirmed, even at the price point that you can see on the web, you already love the price point that you can see on the web which is so exciting. It's not going anywhere near the price point that you can see on the web. Oh, can't wait to bring you that. So as I say, Zena and Wayne are going to be taking you through till four o'clock with lovely Mel. Uh, and then, no, with Katie and Mel. Mel's going to be coming up next. Uh, so they've got, we've got uh, Mel coming up with us at four till six, two hours, four till six. So do make sure you stay tuned. Check out though on the uh, Amazon. Is there anything else? Oh yes, I do need to mention about these. Okay, we have got a whole selection of head pins and gemstones, uh, head, uh, head pins with gemstones. These were so popular. These ones are actually brand new, but when we had any, when, we, when was it that we launched the head pins with gemstones? They are beautiful. So they're the rose quartz. We've also got labradorite going to the most incredible price point. So stay tuned. I know how much how much demand they were they were in uh, when they launched a, couple, a week ago. Was it with you, Wayne? Was it you that launched these? They were so 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 popular, so popular. Those both are brand new. So do stay tuned because they are stunning. What time are we going to do them? Five o'clock. Four o'clock, in the four o'clock hour, so stay tuned. Half past four, we're going to do it. Now, just very quickly, loads of you have already checked out on this, but just to remind you, great price on your Carson Hobby magnifier. You get three different strengths of magnifier. Uh, you times two, 2.4, and three times magnification. It's got an LED light on it as well, and a stand plus a rope that you can have it round your neck and do all of your up close and personal seed beading with that. It's just £24.95. Just thought I would remind you as lots of people have got it in their basket. Seed is going to be joining you in just a few minutes with our lovely Wayne and Liam and I and the mid team will see you back at four o'clock. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> They're here. I'm very, very, very proud to introduce you to my brand new, designed by me, Czech glass bead. This is the Bobby. And I'll be introducing you to the Bobby on the morning show of July the 28th, where it's gonna be, it's gonna be poignant because um, I've mentioned before on the show that uh, the Bobby Bead is named after my late father. And uh, so the whole morning show will, will be all about him. And um, we've got 15 colors, two of which have never been seen before. I'm going to introduce you to the new shape, the new style. We've got a double disc DVD, which we're going to be launching on the show as well. And my partner in crime, Zena, will also be joining me on the show. So that's July the 28th, the morning show, 9 a.m., a brand new launch of the world exclusive to jewelry maker, Bobby Bead. Really hope you can join us. See you then. Welcome to the Jewelry Maker News with me, Jenny Cleary. 
Breaking news just in. On Friday and Sunday, Claire McDonald takes over your TV screens, causing a ripple amongst the other guest designers. A source says Dremel drilling is back. There's rumours on camp of excessive amounts of pearls, as well as new pegs and Town Talk Pearl Care products. We have asked Alison Terry how she feels about this, and she's declined to comment. A source also says Alison Terry will have her day in court. On Sunday, the Amber Showcase launches from 10 a.m. featuring a brand new pendant not to be missed, as well as Grand Didierite. Our source, Bruce, is here to tell us more. Bruce, can you hear us? Has anyone, has anyone seen my glasses? Bit of a problem there with Bruce, I think. Thank you ever so much. Anyhow, Bruce. Uh, now, here talking to us about Grand Didierite and his love and thoughts on the gemstone is Michael Wolf, our outside the jewelry maker building correspondent. So, uh, Michael, what are your thoughts? What are my thoughts on Grand Didierite? <laughs> They're my thoughts. Get out of my head! Thank you very much, uh, Michael Wolf, for Jewelry Maker there. So, Jewelry Makers, please make sure you join us this weekend. We have got a jam packed weekend full of fun. Claire McDonald, Amber, Tools, Grand Didierite, it's not to be missed. We'll see you there, Jewelry Maker. Same place, same time. Stay crafty, Jewelry Makers. Hi, Jewelry Makers. My name is Mark. I'm the Managing Director of Jewelry Maker. When we took over Jewelry Maker earlier this year, I was absolutely blown away by the incredible talent that was coming through on our Wall of Fame competition. And this is taking Wall of Fame to a whole new level. From the 1st of July, every quarter, Steve and myself are going to have a look at all of the entries on Wall of Fame, and we are going to choose the most exceptional piece and put that into production. What we will do is we will produce those pieces and if you are chosen as the winner, you will get free of charge 10 of those pieces sent through for you as a congratulations for you being that quarter's winner. I cannot wait to see the fantastic inspiration that comes in from our customers. And at the end of September, I'll be live on your screens announcing the winner. So please get your entries into the email address below and I will update you at a later time as to what day that will be. And I look forward to seeing you all then. Thank you very much. Jewelry maker, create, wear, share. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewellery Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewellery Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. At Jewelry Maker, we're always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to put it into your basket online or speak to one of our brilliant customer service team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase.
It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Are you stuck for ideas with your jewellery making? Need some inspiration? Then head over to the Jewellery Maker website and check out our projects page. We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate or an advanced jewellery maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi! Hello! Hello, hello, hello everybody! How are we? I've had no sleep, uh, despite a sleeping tablet, and so I'm a little bit hyperactive. So watch out! Um, right then, my lovelies, uh, welcome to Jewellery Make Her. I am about to bring you lots and lots of lovely treats today. So first of all, may I just show, oh, yay, 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 yay. we have got very, very high end, very, very high end, Peter, do oh, we've got, a, we've, got a, we've got a bit of a technical issue going on, but we have got very, very high end Rubalite for you this hour, look at that, Oh la la, it does not get any better than that, does it? These are side drilled, faceted, glorious drops of the best pink tourmaline on the planet. And it has to be the best. It has to fit an awful lot of criteria for it to be renamed and rebranded as, as uh, Rubalite. It, not any pink tourmaline can be a Rubalite. It has to be the highest end rubelite on the planet, the pink tourmaline to be rubelite. We will do that now. I think my producer, Wayne, has just said he's put it on pre-order, have you not? Yes, he has it on pre of the order. Your code is HXJN93, all right? It is limited, obviously. We also have pink spinel. On pre-order, oh, let me just give you all the codes then, I'll be like a newsreader, like Jenny, I'll like uh, pre So TK, not Max, TK, are the brands are available, SF60 for the pink spinel, um, and we have guest designer, now I don't, is your microphone working, do we know? I think the mic is. Yeah, the mic is, wonderful. So, <laughs> in the studio, oh, I wanted to give her a cuddle in the dressing room and I couldn't, I had to go, Ugh. <laughs> we've only got our lovely Mel, Mel's on the show! <laughs> You are a gorgeous yes. face. Yeah, I'm really chuffed. Good. Really pleased to be here. You, and, you uh, said that earlier, we, and I said, we're going to have a lovely show. Yes. We are. Let me introduce you. Assume the position, please, Peter. Oh, OK. Oh. Quick. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> uh, he has to be introduced, leaning up the wall, having a cup of tea. Because it's an yeah, hard yeah. life. It is. So that's Peter. And I'm even, we were talking, if you were watching yesterday, we were talking, instead of the night owl, we've got Peter's pigeon. I've filmed a pigeon. Oh yeah, I've filmed a pigeon. Just saying. Anyway, uh, and in the gap, here she is, Amelia. What, Amelia? There she is. There she is. So there's Amelia, um, and uh, in the gallery, steering the ship, is the Wayne of the Pasco. Now he's a bit offended by me today. He's been a princess today, is our Wayne. I said, to him, I said, have you had your hair cut? Well, I had it cut yesterday and you didn't notice. I went, all right then, Princess Pasco. So he's had his hair cut. Can we all give him a nice round of applause for his hair cut? Yay! And the lovely Leah is in there doing all the button pressing. All the button pressing and all the camera working and all the stuff that makes us go out and keeps us looking ice. So, uh, yeah, and you got me, Zena. <laughs> uh, right there, lovely. So, I'm wearing this as well because at six o'clock today with Claire McDonald, we will be introducing our once a week, 6 pm, how to start making jewellery. And I'm very proud of this necklace because this necklace 
I made with Linda Brumwell on the Introduction to Jewelry Making course with our lovely late Rob uh, producer and we uh, we made some beautiful jewelry and this is and it's still going five years on I can still wear it so I'm quite proud of that so I thought I'd wear it today um, so we've got zircon oh the aquamarine oh the now this we've got great availability it's on pre-order this beautiful and ignore the price because the price will astound you um pete when you get a minute darling could you thrust a black bust at me please that thrust a bust okay. that would be wonderful thank you darling um but yeah this is a magnificent graduated six to ten mil necklace design layout they are natural it is brand new and it is going for a song a song and this is it's going for a song that's the same and you not heard that also now note to self we are doing a jewelry beginners kit in the six o'clock hour guess what it's got in it aqua aquamarine and morganite it's a thank you peter peter the pigeon let me just show you because i want to show it you look aquam it, i mean it's ready to it just restrand add a clasp i'd go with the magnetic clasp on that myself and you are done. Beautiful pastel toes. Tones? Toes. Tones. <laughs> Do you know, I spoke to a doctor this morning. This is one of the symptoms of the menopause. Getting forgetful or not get, finding your words. I said, about it's really embarrassing. I'm on telly along the crew. I said, what's happened to you since you've been off? It's not the furlough. Mind you, could be the furlough. I think it's the combination of the furlough and the menopause. It's not helping. <laughs> so please forgive me. Uh, where do you find it funny? Oh, I'm gross. It'll come. Well, it won't come to you, Wayne. <laughs> Unless there's something we don't know. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so uh, well done, everybody. The Aquamarine, 3 p.m. It's on multi, it's on uh, pre order. Multi order. <laughs> NCPO79. Shall we give them a hint of where it's going on price? Under 20. Go on, right. And then we've got beautiful natural zircon coming up as our uh, Pete's Pigeon or the Night Owl. We're going to decide which one we're going to go with. I need to talk to the sales managers. Do you mind if we have Pete's Pigeon? Catch the pigeon, catch the pigeon. Da, 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 da. We think it's more popular, so we're going to go with that one. Anyway, the Zircon, the magical Zircon is your brand new stunning faceted rondelles at 7.45 today. He's going to put that on pre-order. Where can you put those on pre-order? At 6 o'clock, we can put those on pre-order. At 6 o'clock, we'll put those, and there's only 99 available. Right then. Say again. I didn't catch a word of that. Thank you, darling. Um, right. We want you to get involved today. We want involvement. We would love you to text in. Text in on 60777. Start your text with JM Studio. Have you videoed something today like I did? A pigeon? This pigeon was minding its own, his own beak, having a lovely innocent bath, and I just put my hand out the window and I filmed his whole bathing routine. He didn't seem bothered. He didn't seem bothered about me being a bit voyeuristic. <laughs> Anyway, it's a mega deal. It is these wonderful... You're right, Mel. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> We've only got five left, but what a five they are. You get... Let me just check. Two, four, six, eight... Oh, that's all right, because it says 12, and you will get 12. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I didn't expect that. They're a lovely size for Aren't they? Weeks. I'd... Uh oh, Marco, Bashasaurus and Xena, two of my favourite people in all the world. Oh, Marco, you are lovely, Marco and George. Looking forward to Mel's demo, stay safe, Marco and George. Now, Marco, can I just say, when I came in, we picked up your cards for Easter last week. So all of the team, it's a very belated thank you for the Easter cards. So I'm sorry about that. Marco, big kiss to you and George. Oh, thanks. That obviously sold out. It's going to, isn't it, at that price? What a great basher. So, speaking of Bashasaurus, are we allowed to say what's happening next weekend? Are we, are we, yeah? On Friday the 24th of July, I'm luckily taking a cheeky morning show because Carol's having a holiday, well earned. We've got Amber in the shape. Is it, El no, I, no, I've taken Carol's. 
Oh, right, okay, I thought it was Carol, sorry. But all the other day, I'm on the week after it's Carol's show, sorry, it's Carol's house, it's a morning show. Anyway, guess what? We've got, you know Amber being around at the time of the dinosaurs, right? We've got Amber in the shape of dinosaurs. <gasps> I know, I know. All that it's going to fly, I tell you. It's going to be a roaring success. They're brilliant. So, um, I can't wait for that next Friday. Nikki, hi, Zina Mel, Amelia, Leah, Peter, and Wayne. She's got them all. You are a nice one. <laughs> Today is a great day. Weather's good, and I've lost two stars. Oh, Nikki. <laughs> Woo, Nikki. <laughs> Joe, don't forget Pete. I don't think Pete, hi Pete. Oh, Joe, what's going on? <laughs> Joe and Pete sitting in a tree. K R S S I N G. <laughs> don't worry, Joe, you won't be kissing him because of social distancing, it's fine. Oh, I can't forget our Pete, can we? I don't think anyone did. Nobody, no, we love you, Pete. Right, what we do love is sparkling spinel. Now, I also have some pink spinel coming up later. I've got a whole strand of pink spinel coming up in this hour. Whole strand of stunning pink spinel. And it's very affordable by pink spinel's uh, history, I'm telling you. But then you've got these beautiful tones. What? There are only 11 left. It has been incredibly popular. It's very high end, that uh, spinel. We have beaten half price. And what I want to draw your attention to is the myriad of colours that you're getting, all of them natural. Because Burmese Spinel brings you the best colour palette for Spinel. Crimson tones, pastel tones, fiery tones in your Burmese Spinel. And nice, healthy four mil rounds, aren't they? Can you imagine a beady bead of Burmese oh. Spinel? <laughs> yes, please. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Now, we only collector in Suffolk, boom, straight in. Collector in Renfrew, Shirk, um, congratulations. I've got a lot of collectors coming in on these. And I understand why, because you've got some really special, special colour tones of your spinel there. So, well done, last of stock. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Um, I did see that earlier on today you had a deal of the day of Laramore rounds that sold out very quickly. And Wayne's just, it's like bosses, isn't it? It's like husbands. You know, you want one and then two come around at once, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've not got a husband. I'm not, no. I've managed to avoid that so far for 49 years. <laughs> anyway. It's the, it's the first time that Wayne, our producer, had seen Larimar rounds on the deal of the day today. If you missed out on the deal of the day today and you would like the last five chances of that absolutely knockout strand of 67 mil rounds of Larimar, I have two left because Collection Suffolk, Collection Renfrew shirt, Sabine, Carol, Bonjour, because she's in De Sevres. I probably haven't pronounced that right, but Bonjour. Bonjour. Salut. Um, Beverly sat. Oh, there's one left because the collection suffix is up their order. There is one chance. Would you like to see them all? Ah, Janet! Ja oh, I'll take my necklace. Oh, hang on, I'll take my necklace off. Janet says, Hi, Zena and lovely team. I have just found out my car repair will be 770 for what you've done to it. No JM buying for me, but watching you to cheer me up. Janet. Oh, Janet. What are you doing? What are you doing? 775? Come on, we don't want to know now. Are you all right, more importantly? Will you let us know what's happened? My dad's just, mind you, my dad's just cost three and a half grand. Get this, can I tell you this? My dad keeps looking after the sports ground down in Henley, right? Doesn't get paid for it, right? He's got a trailer, the trailer does that, so he's reversed over a tree log trunk, massive tree, three and a half grand, right? So he had it fixed. Not less than a week later, did exactly the same thing again. <laughs> it's called Dangerous Day for a reason. He's the one whose house burnt down. Eight fire engines and uh, 41 firemen trying to put that fire out. <laughs> right, there's five in baskets for the last one. Have you got any Larimar mail? 
Oh, I don't think I have, no. Do you like it? It's pretty, isn't it? It is, yes. Well, Fabulous, it's, darling. Especially if blue is one of my favourite oh, colours. Yeah. <laughs> well, a lot of people say that about jewellery, don't they? Yeah. There is one left. We've got no more rounds of Larry Mark. Done, done. One left. Susan, Collector, Sally, Carol. It's quite sad saying there's only one of those left, because that is stunning, isn't it? We'll have to try and get some more of them, quite, yeah? Right then. Orange sapphire. Now then, we are doing a new thing here called Get the Look for Less. That's what we do. You know in the magazines where you open that inside cover, Mel? Yes. And they've got some woman in like £750 pair of shoes. You're like, mm-hmm. And then you can find for like £7.50 down at the local New Look. And they're, they're, oh, they're not going to be selling quality, are they? But they look the same. So we can, we can still look like, you know, our stars. And There are 19 chances to own this beautiful... It's a sapphire doing a very good impression of a paparazzo. Now, we had paparazzo on the, on the show last night, and uh, it was stunning. But not everybody can afford paparazzo. Now, if you want paparazzo, which is one of the rarest sapphires in the world, along with cashmere and salon, and you want the Loton Blossom colours, the pinks, the oranges, the yellows. Now, there's a little bit of heat treatment there to bring out those colours. But get ready for this. If you fell in love with the paparazzo last night, and you're thinking, I'd love it, but I can't afford it. Well, this is the very, very next best thing. And at 30 <laughs> Yeah, look at Mel's reaction. Uh, that, and for all intents and purposes, nobody's going to come up to you and go, is that real, paparazzo? Is it? No. Is it? You wouldn't be so rude, would you? No. And it's just such a lovely look colour. At it. It's stunning. So I know a lot of this, a lot of us, myself included, because I've been furloughed for 12 weeks. I couldn't afford paparazzo last night. I can afford that. And that's a nice little bonnie treat to myself. $34.95 on for all tense, intents and purposes. That looks, and look at it in beautiful jewellery. Thank you, Leah. Leah's a wizard finding this jewellery, isn't she? <laughs> a wizard. $34.95, and it is genuine sapphire, little bit of heat treatment, and designed and bought out to look like paparazzo. Brilliant. Ah, we have the, uh, oh, now this is the bracelet that's, it's made into a bracelet already, Mel. Oh, wow. Yeah? Now, there's 11 left. We've graduated now. Minas Geraz Kunzite is one of the best types, locations of Kunzite that you can buy. What I love about this bracelet is the way that we've actually, um, oops, Daisy, the way that we've actually graduated it. So the main large Kunzite in the middle is going to be your focal bead, your focal gemstone. And then it grabs, so it, that makes it more comfortable, doesn't it, Mel, when yeah. you have the smaller ones underneath? Definitely, yeah, because you don't want when you're working for it to be digging into your wrist. Not. Now, what we haven't helped you with there, oh, we have seven and a half inch. So, but, um, and the maximum is nine and a half, so that, that is what extends it there. Look, you extend the chain. Oh, that is phenomenal. Oh, that is so good. Yeah. Minas Geraz Kunzite, natural. Yeah. It just doesn't seem real. Wow. <laughs> wow, it is real, but that's the amazing thing. 29 yeah. 95 uh, so just about to go though, so Janet said, hi again, it's the yearly service, but lots needs fixing and replacing. I'm fine, thank you lovely lady, just need to eat toast until payday. <laughs> well, Janet put some beans on it or some cheese on it, so at least you get some protein. Beans, they're cheap, aren't they? Yeah. Or cheese. And or they're egg. good for you. And egg. Yeah. Scrambled, poached. Fr you know, I scrambled or poached egg on, scrambled egg on toast. I like, don't put it on the, I don't have it on the toast though, because the toast goes soggy, I put it on the edge. And then I have the, like a little, yeah, yeah. No, you see, I like a soggy toast. toast. Did you? Yeah. 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 Poached egg, because obviously I've got chickens, so oh, fresh yeah. poached eggs. Still waiting for the eggs to come in, Mel. <laughs> I'll bring some. <laughs> Can I back you first? Yeah. Yay! Twenty nine ninety five. That bracelet is absolutely beautiful. Seven and a half to nine and a half inch, and it is ready made. Twenty nine ninety five. Bev, I hope you managed to check one out, sweet pea. Okay. And June. June! June! Where did I just get those from? Was it 12? Little bit. Thank you! Number what, sorry?
We'll be having a, d a demo with you shortly, won't we, darling? Yes. Yep. We have Zimel in the studio. And remember, at 6 p.m. tonight, we've got Claire McDonald coming in for our once a week brand new to jewelry making hour. And you want to see the kits and treats we've got in there. Not restricted just to new jewelry makers, to you as well. Uh, lovely, long suffering, gorgeous, loyal jewelry makers. <laughs> right then, it's Karen! Oh, Zina, it's so lovely to see you back. Oh, thanks, Karen. Oh, thank you. We've been back two weeks today, haven't we? Two weeks today, team. That's gone quick, hasn't it? Two weeks today, we've been back. No, hang on, two weeks yesterday. Two weeks yesterday, we've been back. Thank you, though. Thank you. It's nice to be back in the studio, isn't it, Mel? Oh, it's lovely to have you back as oh, well. Oh, and you, though. It's nice to have you in as well. Yeah, I really enjoy it. So. Good, because that's yeah. the idea. <laughs> 200 carats of sunstone in these lovely queens of a 40 mil round. There are only the two left. Okay. Oh, you lucky things. Right then. Oh, the colour of this is... It's off the scale. It is absolutely off the scale. Okay, get ready for this because it is one extra special star buy. Hello, my lovelies. Right then, do you know what makes Rubelite special? Firstly, it is all about the quality and the clarity and the colour saturation. If all of those parameters are not exceptional and at the top end of the scale, it will stay as a pink tourmaline. It will not be renamed as a Rubelite. So the second it has been, and again, we have all the documentation, we have all the certification, you can buy an authenticity certificate for 25p which I would recommend with Rubelite because a lot of people will try and say oh pink it's Rubelite no nah, it no nah, it has to be documented and certified as Rubelite for the value okay but also what it has to do is it has to perform equally phenomenally in both natural light and artificial incandescent light so the great news is, is, and I'll prove that in here, because if you think, normally we say, don't we, get it out into natural daylight, it's going to look amazing, but Cruzero Rubelite has to be that good that it can perform as well as it does, both in natural light and in these conditions, in artificial light, which is what we are in today. And when, I, when the camera pans to this Rubelite, you will see what I'm talking about. Now, if you love pink, but I'm talking about a really sophisticated, high-end, gem-quality, stunning-looking beautiful tone of colour. You cannot beat Rubelite, in my opinion. Are you ready? Are we all ready to have a look? Yes. This will be a feast for your eyes. Oh. I mean, that is sexy. There is no two ways about it. They are jaw-droppingly phenomenal. Pure and utter. This is what our planet delivers. When it, our planet delivers top grade gem quality gemstones and we have got it here, haven't we? Now, if you get a high quality rubelite, depending on its colour, depending on its size, depending on its clarity, and you've got all of the above there, it can cost around $400 to $1,000 per carat. Obviously, that has to be a calibrated carat, um, one carat stone. But you have got in total eight carats of glorious rubelite on this strand. Great news is as well, it is going under 100. And also for jewellery, it's up to seven, it's between seven and 7.5 on the most hardness scale. So it's a tough gemstone. Beautifully, beautifully crafted into those extraordinary high-end gem quality gemstones. Rubelite is stunning. 
it has to be these tourmalines have to be um, saturated to a dark pink to red and medium to dark tones and I think you'll agree this is, possesses all of those it has to and again if you love your rubies but you can't afford one of the true pigeon blood red rubies then rubellite is a great alternative having said that these are these are far rarer they're stunning aren't they they are absolutely gorgeous yeah truly spectacular well, well that's my point you could i'll put one on the neckline for you because you could get away with just one of those on a, on a beautiful pendant because it's that striking i will give you an idea how, look at that do you see what i mean you that just screams expensive doesn't it we haven't finished now the collector that's already checked out beryl i can see you hovering and thinking shall i shan't i shall i shan't i you have an extended 60 day money back guarantee for those extraordinary gemstones it doesn't come any better than that for rubellite i mean come on do you want to work out how much that is um i don't even want to put them down on the desk they're too they're too special so two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen i got 19 on my strand three pounds <laughs> fifteen each you bashosaurus, you, Wayne. £3.15 each. Now, this is a real treasure. Um, far, far rarer than its closest rival of ruby. And gemstone connoisseurs do actually say that they personally find rubellite, rubellite infinitely more attractive than a ruby. Now, again, you might be a ruby fan. It is this month's birthstone. But if you want something that is far, far rarer, um, and do you know the only reason that it commands a lower price point than Ruby Tint? Because not many people are aware, outside of the gemstone industry, and outside of those of us that buy genuine gemstones, it's a very lesser known gemstone. So you get this really rare gemstone that performs beautifully for less than a Ruby would cost you. Now, Carolyn, congratulations. Collector, congratulations. Angela, I'm going to wish you very good luck. I'm going to wish Beryl good luck. I'm going to wish the collector that's just come into the mix there as well. Who, sorry? Susan from Essex and June, are they on the telephones? Now, if you would like to know how to check this out, there are three ways. You can use our Jewelry Maker app, which is free to download. Just search for Jewelry Maker. You can use your credit card, your debit card, or your PayPal account. Um, also, we have a course on our website, jewellerymaker.com, and you can ring that free phone number at the bottom of the screen. We'll leave it there all through the show. You call our UK-based non-robotic call centre, and they will uh, take your order. Anna, uh, Anne in Lan Lanarkshire. Sorry, I nearly moved you then to Lancashire. Anne in Lanarkshire. She's thinking, hang on, have I moved? Um, please do me a favour. If there is a hint of interest at your end, which clearly there is if you've put it in your basket, please use the money back guarantee it is non-quibble non-quibble guarantee we will not be ringing you up honestly when i took a t an item of clothing back to super dry once they honestly well why do you not want it does it not work is it this is it that honestly in the end i went seriously i've got the receipt and it's within the time you just take it back and process it love i don't want to tell you what i had for dinner i was really quite offended <laughs> no honestly you should have heard it. she was really feisty june oh june's got one June, you've got one in Hartford. Do you want to see it again? Anne's got, Anne, you got it. Oh, Anne, great, good for you. Angela and Beryl, uh, right? Here's here's something that somebody taught me when I wanted. A, I wanted. I saw a painting once. It's two thousand one hundred pounds. It was an original. I was like a magnet to this painting. I kept going back. I kept going back. I kept. And this guy in the shop, very clever, because but he but he said to me, take it home and just hold it up to the wall. Of course, took it home. It's in my home and I can't live without it then. He offered me 12 months interest-free credit. Brilliant. But you know what he said to me? And he was absolutely right. Now, this is key, kids, because you need to know this, right? He said to me, will you regret not buying it? What's your instant answer? And I said, yes. And he said, you, I promise you, Nash, you will never look at that painting and think it cost me... To, he reduced it to £2,000. Well, thanks. Um, he said, you will only ever look at it and fall in love with it every time you look at it. And you know, he's absolutely right. I never... Um, I've still got it now. It goes, it's gone. To, it's, it's in my. It's in my where I've extended the music room over my mom's grand piano. Um, and he's right. I never, ever, ever regret spending that money. I've had 20 years of love with that painting, and I still love it as much as I did then. 
and I never think about the money, I just think I love it. And he's right. Mm -hmm. So if you can afford it at 59.95 and you want to own the best tourmaline, one of the best tourmalines along with, along with Paddy Aber tourmaline and Indicolite, use your 60 day money back guarantee. I promise you, and I, please trust me when I say you will not be disappointed and you will never regret the money that you've parted with for those outstanding gemstones. And do please get your authenticity certificate for 25 pence, okay? Right, I can't say it as much as I'd love to. Can I keep them there next to me, though, to keep me company throughout the show today? <laughs> now, also keeping us company throughout the show today, or for the next, uh, well, 20 minutes, uh, is our lovely Mel. Hi. Hello, lovely girl. <laughs> Hello. Can I also say this lady is as lovely off screen as she seems on screen. One of our lovely, genuine souls. She's a lovely lady and we love you. Thank so, you. You know what we do. So, um, what are you going to teach us how to make out of your beautiful jewellery with this kit? I thought I'd show you how to do the little sun motif. Ah, lovely. Um, I sort of got the inspiration from the, the kit name. name of the kit. Yeah. So. Do you know that's a really beautiful way you've done the sun though? It's very stylised, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now, can I just check with the producer? Wayne, do you want to do the kit first? And Yeah. Is that okay, Mel? Yeah. Just run through the kit. And then, because it's a full jewellery maker's kit from start to finish. You can make, you've got the threading pack, you've got the gemstones, you've got the findings, you've got everything. And we're talking sun-kissed. Oh, if only. <laughs> oh. So, first of all, I'm going to race through this so we can get to the demo. We have got, is that smoky quartz? Wow, that is gorgeous. Tom Stewart will be, will be jealous. Our producer Tom's a bit of a fan of smoky quartz, but smoky quartz in four mil. Phenomenal quality and your little two mil sunstones, they're lovely. So you're getting both strands of gemstones, full, full strands of gemstones, gold beading thread, monofilament and clear elastic. So all threading packs that you need and then down here you've got gold plated, oh sorry no, gold coloured. Let me just get this right. So it is gold plated, okay. Gold plated base metal, it's one of our brand new, brilliant 75 pieces and these 75 pieces include, I've got to show you, the brilliant magnetic clasps in a sort of barrel shape, you get two of those, yeah, you get a pair of shepherd hooks, you get featherweight and ball head pins and eye pins, oh no, eye pins, you get shepherd hooks, you get this beautiful chain with a slightly smaller length than the usual chain that we put in which is very perfect for a charm bracelet, extended chain. You've got jug rings, you've got crimps and crimp covers and spacers and studs. It is a really great starter pack. And the whole of that kit include, and remember if you're a new customer for Jewelry Maker, you'll get those two genuine gemstone strands and the findings and the threading pack and a DVD on how to make jewellery for free of charge and an extra two genuine gemstone strands free of charge with your first order. Okay? Let me put my hand behind then you can see all of it together, look. Under £20 and you're going to get a live demo with Mel in a moment. Under £20, <laughs> Mel's That's giggling. fantastic. It is, isn't it? Yeah, such good value, the yeah. kits. And that bracelet, that bracelet that you've done there, Mel, is absolutely knockout. Thank you. So I did obviously add wire, but all the rest of the jewellery has been made using even the um, clasp and the earring findings. I used your um, shepherd hooks, uh, the, sorry, the eye pins and the yeah. head pins. So can we just show those? Now, the other earrings, the ones that look like shepherd hooks, you'll all be thinking she's used the shepherd hooks. The very She end. hasn't. She's made the whole earring. This this pair here. Yeah. This one here. That's from the head pin. That's using a head pin. Isn't that great? No, no. Fact that all all the crew have just said in my ear, I would never have guessed that was just the head pin. So she's used the head pin and made that entire shepherd hook. Brilliant. Brilliant. Now, my system's still showing the ruby lights. I don't know whether, why it's not updated. We haven't crashed again, have we? Yeah. It's playing up a bit at the minute, isn't it? Anyway, so, 
so, uh, Smoky Quartz, your Sunstone, your 75 piece gold plated bindings pack, your memory, uh, sorry, your elastic, your monofilament, and your beading thread for 19.95. And we'll throw in a live demo from Mel. Couldn't get much better <laughs> than that. So Mel, can we can we pop over to you, gorgeous? Yes. yes. Okay, right. Mel is about to give you a demo. Hi. Um, yes, as I say, I thought I would demo the um, the little great um, sun motif. Mm -hmm. So um, I've added 0.8 and uh, 0.4 wire. So I took a piece of 0.8 and just warmed it gently through my fingers. Can I ask a question for anybody that's new? Because yep. today's our new day. Why would you warm wire through your fingers? Um, one, it makes it a little bit more malleable and it takes out any kinks, it just straightens it and just okay. makes it nicer and neater okay. to, to work with. Thank you. So, right, and then I've taken my, I think they're chain nose pliers and just kinked the wire down. And then random whatever sort of size you want the flower but I worked out I think it was about um, a centimetre and a half I think okay. it was so and you don't have to be overly neat with mm. this either so for a beginner this is is good okay um, and then you just literally twist the wire across and then you come back in and twist it again so you just zigzag and as I say, you don't have to be exact because most flowers aren't. So you just zigzag, and I've done. Uh, sorry, flowers. Um, we the knew sun. what you meant. <laughs> well, you could easily turn it into a flower, couldn't you? The, these, the yeah, this is how yeah. you make flowers as well. Um, so you you just carry on zigzagging up and down, and again, you can make as many prongs as you like. Uh, what have I got? One, two, three, four, five. Let's do another one. I've done seven on the actual thing, but I'll stop there at six. Uh, I would then be inclined to cut it off and leave yourself a little bit of a tail. Um, you need to, to, sh to start to get this to go round. You need to very gently come in and squeeze these points together just a little bit. So carry on down and that will automatically start to be able to spread this okay. out into a circle. Now to create the point on the end and to give it more of that sort of flamey sort of look, mm. what I did was I pinched it and then twisted. Okay. So you pinch it in a little mm -hmm. and then twist. So carried on going along pinching and twisting yeah. to create that sort of flame effect. Mm -hmm. And then once we're at this point, it's a case of manipulating it a little bit. So pull the points out and then again to bring the base in, what I did was I put my pliers in here holding Supporting this point, I then pushed it in and gave it this, made this little curve shape. Sorry, let's move this, bend this down out of the way. So, slowly went round each one, putting it in and then pushing it round. Mm -hmm. And that starts, and then what I did was turned it over yeah. And then went back the other way to give you your curve on the other side. Mm -hmm. So again, pinch and just twist it in. And as I say, it's quite nice because you don't, you don't need it to be exact. You need to then sort of gently push these in mm -hmm. so that you've got your more of a center point. This is where it gets a little bit fiddly. Um, because I wanted to hide the ends, I took one of the wires and placed it over... Sorry, let's get it in place. So I placed this wire 
over the top of that one and then you very carefully bend it over so it traps that wire. Let me just, sorry, straighten that up. Let me snip the end off. Mm -hmm. Oh, it sounds painful. <laughs> <laughs> so snip that end off so it's out the way and then you can just tuck that down and that holds that then in place. And then you do the same with the, this other wire now yeah. that you've caught it. Mm -hmm. So you then bend that one over, snip it off, and, and then again give it a little bit of a squidge. Down. We like a squidge, don't we? We do. We like a squidge. We like our squidges. And that then holds them in. Obviously, you take a little bit more time and yeah. hide it. But that gives you your rough oh, okay. sort of shape. Yeah. Then I've got one here that I've already started adding. Um, what I then did was put some of the little gemstones. <laughs> I had great fun. They are so sparkly. They I are. Trouble. You're trying to find the hole. Finding the holes is uh. a nightmare. So, right, so what I then did was I placed one of the prongs over so that the um, wire ran underneath, brought it up, tucked it over twice, and then where you've um, pinched and then done this squeeze, you've got a little hole. You should have. I've picked the one that doesn't have a wide enough hole. <laughs> let me uh, let me do another. I'll move it round. No, this is good because it, if any of us what struggle I would with do, like, it's nice to see how you get out yeah, of it. What I would do is take one of my um, pins mm. or a thick darning needle mm. and just poke it in and widen the hole. Or a bead reamer because we uh, do yes, have bead reamers. Bead reamer Nike, would be yeah. perfect. Yeah. So, right, so let's move around to one that's got more of a visible hole. So, there we go. So, we'll pop the wire underneath and then gently wrap round twice. Yeah. Take the wire through the hole. Yeah. And then bring it back round so it's nice and taut and then just snip the little end off. And give it a squidge so that no rough edges. Okay. And then you can feed. I found that three gemstones fit quite nicely. Mm -hmm. Feed the three stones up and then decide which side you want to then wrap. Um, so hold it in your non dominant hand and um, yeah, snip that out of the way and then just wrap it round the edge. And then what I did to reduce the amount of wires and ends, I then would put three, I've got a kink in there. If you get a kink, yeah. then just wiggle it and twist it round until you run your fingers through. What's wrong with a kink in a wire like that then? It weakens it. So it could break? Uh, it could break, yeah. Okay. So, well, last night on the show we had some clearance deals on the artistic wire and all the different colours at the 0.3 mil gauge. So all the different colours that we had last night would look fabulous on mm. their wrap round as a contrast. Definitely. Yeah. So then I would put another three beads on. Yep. And then bring this up, wrap it round, and then slip that off. So yeah. that's why I would then use one piece of wire to do two okay. at a time. Okay. Um, because I just I didn't want extra wires no, coming down it. and adding yeah, yeah. to the design. Okay. But yeah, so you just carry on round Lovely. that process to it's really um, beautiful that to finish the yeah. With and you could give that as a love gift, couldn't you? Are the sunshine of my life. Ah, <laughs> uh, nice demo from Mel. Our lovely Mel. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> she lovely. She lovely. I tell you what's lovely as well the star buy that this young man has chosen for us today. It's rather special and it's only the pink spinel.
the pink ladies, isn't it? The pink ladies. We have got pink spinel. Now, usually when you think of spinel, do you think black? Yeah, we do, don't we? We think black spinel. Black and pink spinel is so sexy and glam, isn't it? Yeah? Now, you know what I was talking earlier about the rubelite? Spinel, way rarer. I'm giving, sounds like I'm giving Ruby a hard time. I'm not at all, because I love Ruby, and Ruby is the gem of love anyway. How can you not love Ruby? But people, you know, there was that whole story, wasn't there, about the crown jewels and the prince, the, the black prince's uh, Ruby in the front. It's actually a spinel. And the person that had to tell the king or queen at the time probably got put in the tower and was like, what they didn't realise is if they'd have said to the king or queen at the time, actually, it's way rarer wouldn't be called the Black Prince's Ruby, but they thought it was a ruby and it wasn't. And then they were like myth thinking, well, we've got something rubbish. Nah, 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 nah. Your spinel's way rarer. But again, like the rubelite, because a lot of people don't know about spinel, if I lined up 100 people and said, name your gemstone, most people, ruby, emerald, diamond. You, yeah. Those are well-known gemstones, amethyst. Spinel, they look at you and go, huh? How many, try it, try it. Out of anybody that doesn't, that doesn't know about jewelry maker and gemstones, ask anybody you know. If, do you know what a spinel is? They won't, they, honestly, people are like, no idea. So you can get it more affordable. That's the great thing about this lovely rare gemstone. This is a pink spinel. It is stunningly beautiful. It is extremely rare. It's next month's birthstone. So it's August birthstone. Now, spinel was only added as an official birthstone a couple of years ago. It was only ever peridot before, but now spinel is an official Gemstone, uh, when we said, you know, the um, Gemological Institute of America, I'll get there in a minute. It's an official birthstone. It is now official for August. Um, and it displays this, it, it is a pastel pink, but it's so bright and it's so brilliant because of its single re um, refractivity, which gives you this amazing, amazing hint of fuchsia as well. And it's excellent transparency aka clarity so if you want that fuchsia pink that is natural these are tanzanian beauties they are absolutely stunning and because it's a type 2 gemstone they tend to be eye clean to the naked eye <gasps> hang on hang right i'm stamping my feet because what excuse me a minute i'm having a bit of What's the point? You, stand, don't hide behind that monitor. What is the point? Excuse me, I'm having a bit of a wife, a work wife moment here. What's the point in me going up through all that? Rarity, beauty, and then you go and do, what's the point? <laughs> Look at him, he's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm arguing on behalf of the spinel. I'm not arguing on the behalf of you and I as the customer. Because don't get me wrong, if I was, I'd be going, shut up, Zane. Shut up, Zane. Just shut up. Check out. <laughs> Check out. This is, this is, this is so wrong. But look at it as well. What do you think, oh, Mel? Oh, it's beautiful. I'm not, wasn't really much of a pink person, but I've really started to warm to mm. pinks now. And because they're just breathtaking, aren't they? Stunning, yeah. Yeah. So, also, whilst we love our pink sapphires, because of that single refractivity, pink spinel will tend to be cleaner and brighter than a pink sapphire. So, if you're keen on that brightness, that brilliance, then you would, I would suggest you go for a pink spinel above a sapphire. And, of course, it's rarer. And, actually, most of the time, probably 99.9 .9 times out of 100, a pink spinel will cost you far less than the same size um, of a pink sapphire. So, and we've just proven that there, 16 carats of that brightness, of that, and that's because of its single refractivity. That's what you get, you get, and because of it being a type two gemstone, you're gonna get eye clean, beautiful pink. 29, can I just see how many people have got that? Nice, well done, <laughs> good for you, good for you. It's a steal. It's a steal. It's a steal. Oh, oh! Two. Did you get two? Two smoky quartz stretches done. Fantastic. Huh? You get both of them? Well, that's good.
good, isn't it? And they're tumbles. Yeah. They're brilliant size. That makes me think of Winnie. The, uh, that makes me think of Winnie the Pooh. I'm so rumbly in my tumbly. <laughs> time for something sweet. I do eat. <laughs> You gotta love Winnie the Pooh, have you? Yes. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> uh, Twelve ninety. Amelia's now singing me all the Winnie the Pooh songs. Tw I like Tigger myself. Twelve ninety. That's six pound forty eight and six pound forty seven a bracelet. Perfect for men as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, totally unisex. That is that Jane or Jen? Jen. 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 No. But he gives Zena any coffee. She's running on lack of sleep and adrenaline. Hug Zena, don't use that lavender. It can keep you awake. Oh, really? See, this is what I'm struggling with, Jen. Because some people say, do this, do that. Then I rang the doctor today and she told me to go on HRT. Then my friend today said, don't go on HRT. Then I'm thinking, I don't know what to do. Use the gel, use the patch, use the tablets, use CP. Oh, I've got a magnet on and crystals in my bra. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Kim Kimberley. Hello, Kimberley. Hi Zena, and great to see you. And you gorgeous. Haven't seen you since you were you was back and very nice jewelry has been made. Kimberly, be back two weeks. What have you been doing? Kimberly? Kimberly? <laughs> She's like, oh, I've been busy. <laughs> 1295. That is so good, isn't it? Moving on up, moving on up. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Which one did you say? Uh. Oh, hello! Ooh. Oh, we're going psychedelic. Mm. I'm getting a bit cold again, Pete. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Are you cold? Are you cold now? It's. I got goosey bumps. Yeah, I'm just starting to get. Yeah, it's just starting to get a bit frosty in here. <laughs> and I'm talking about the weather, not the uh, the aircon, not the uh, not. Five pounds each or five pounds for both? Oh, we're supposed to do clearance. Mind you, we started with clearance with Simon this morning, didn't we? That's for both then. Yeah. It's very unicorn-like, aren't it they? It is, isn't it? You could make some great unicorns, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Fun. Thanks, Pete. Thanks, Amelia. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, Jenny, you're going to message me, will you please? Please, somebody, somebody tell me what to do. <laughs> So Fran messaged me last night, and Fran, if you're watching, thank you. I did. I, I don't trust. Me. Honestly, I've been trying to get at the doctor's. Do you know how many times I had to ring the doctor this morning? Fifty-seven times to get through. Oh. Fifty-seven <laughs> times to get through to reception. <laughs> fifty-seven. I sent a picture because my, my fella kept saying, "You rang the doctor." And went, yeah, fifty-seven. Look, I photographed it. <laughs> he went, "Oh." <laughs> Kaylee said, "Hi, lovely Zena. Hello, lovely Kaylee. I got my Larimar. I was in." Surgery at 11, but I got the deal of the day. I want to say a huge thank you. Kayleigh, you were having surgery at 11 o'clock, you still got the deal of the day. Did you have the app with you? <laughs> now that has got to be a round of applause for somebody using the app. She was having surgery at 11 o'clock and she still got the deal of the day. Total respect to you. That's got to be a. That's got to come on. You've impressed all of us here. I was having surgery at 11. Good for you. That is ace, isn't it? I was having surgery. <laughs> hope you're all right, by the way. I hope you're okay. <laughs> she's messed us in, just she's come round. <laughs> uh, get better soon, whatever's happened to you. Um, right then, my lovelies. Now, after the break, we have got the most wicked deal and we've got great availability. So fill your boots. It's Aquamarine, one of the best, most well-loved adored gemstones in a beautiful graduated necklace and it could be yours for under 20 pounds and then some after this very short break. <sighs> They're here. I'm very, very, very proud to introduce you to my brand new designed by me Czech glass bead this is the Bobby and I'll be introducing you to the Bobby on the morning show of July the 28th where it's going to be it's going to be poignant because um, I've mentioned before on the show that uh, the Bobby Mead is named after my late father and uh, so the whole morning show will will be all about him and um, we've got 15 colors two of which have never been seen before 
going to introduce you to the new shape, the new style. We've got a double disc DVD, which we're going to be launching on the show as well. And my partner in crime, Zena, will also be joining me on the show. So that's July the 28th, the morning show, 9 a.m., a brand new launch of the world exclusive to jewelry maker, Bobby Bead. Really hope you can join us. See you then. Hi, Jewelry Makers. My name is Mark. I'm the Managing Director of Jewelry Maker. When we took over Jewelry Maker earlier this year, I was absolutely blown away by the incredible talent that was coming through on our Wall of Fame competition. And this is taking Wall of Fame to a whole new level. From the 1st of July, every quarter, Steve and myself are going to have a look at all of the entries on Wall of Fame, and we are going to choose the most exceptional piece and put that into production. What we will do is we will produce those pieces and if you are chosen as the winner, you will get free of charge 10 of those pieces sent through for you as a congratulations for you being that quarter's winner. I cannot wait to see the fantastic inspiration that comes in from our customers and at the end of September I'll be live on your screens announcing the winner. So please get your entries into the email address below and I will update you at a later time as to what day that will be and I look forward to seeing you all then. Thank you very much. Jewelry maker, create, wear, share. Jewelrymaker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelrymaker. Jewelrymaker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello. Now, Wayne, can I just have a little chat with Wayne? Because we've had a little bit of an altercation about the pink spinner. <laughs> Wayne, you know what you promised to do every time we come live? Do it. Do it. Yay! He goes like... <laughs> I love it when he does that. When the, when, the, when the director goes, and you're live in five, four, three... Wayne goes... <laughs> <laughs> it just breaks... It makes me happy. He does, it makes me happy. And, you know, anything we can do these days to make ourselves happy. Yeah? We are about to make you very happy. Okay? So, if we put together a strand where they're all the same, quite, you know, it's an easier job, isn't it? Yeah, they all, they, they all look the same. That's nice and easy. But if we want to give you that lovely that lovely gentle curve, that lovely layout that just looks really as though you spent a lot of time putting that necklace together. It takes a lot longer, a lot more thought, a lot more time, a lot more effort. Now that should be reflected in the price. It isn't today. It's like we've done it, we've just done it as a favour because we love you and we do love you. We think you're amazing. Every conversation I have with any member of the crew or any of the guest designers or any of the management team, what's the one thing we all rave about? You lovely lot. Just the odd exception that there always is. <laughs> I'm not, you know who you are. <laughs> it's my puppy sitting there going, it's me. <laughs> but I'm joking, I'm joking. You are wonderful and we do not take you for granted. And sometimes we get the chance, like today, to reward that wonderful, wonderful support and loyalty. You are the best audience ever. I challenge any program on any channel to beat you lot. And I mean that, I 
absolute hand on heart, mean that hand on, you are fab. So, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful aquamarine. One of the most wonderful of the Beryl family. Now, we've had these on pre-order. 30 have gone on pre-order. The code is NCP079. You can see it there in front of you. Do you know where the name comes from? Aquamarine. Any, anybody know? It was the Latin word for seawater. That's where it comes from. So the actual name is, because a lot of our words come from the Latin, uh, or Latin or Greek, don't they? Tends to be Greek or Latin. Um, but yeah, so their, their name for aquamarine, uh, was, uh, for seawater was aquamarine. That's where the name comes from. And it is this lovely, oh, hang on, hair, stop it, get off. Hang on, I'm having a hairy chest moment. <laughs> Thank you, Leah. Uh, now look at that. It's just pretty blue. It's a gentle blue. It's like Lapis shouts at you, doesn't it? Oh, I'm blue! Whereas a aquamarine just sort of whispers to you, doesn't it? It whispers that gentle, serene blue. And um, it's just, it's got this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, legend where it says that back in the day, uh, hundreds of years ago, the sailors, to keep themselves safe at sea, they would throw aquamarine gemstones into the water to calm the waves. It's a bit extreme myself. I think I'd rather have a bit of a bobbing wave and keep the aquamarine. But, uh, you know, it's um, beautiful. What I love about this is aquamarines, we, do, we can bring these just on occasion like these, really good size aquamarines. And we start here a six mil and we go gradually in a lovely curve up to the 10 mil in the center. So really, really beautiful aquamarine. Now, just gonna check, 29.95 for the, and we are not finished. Now, the, ours are from uh, China, these uh, barrels. They can be mined in, in Pakistan. And when they're mined in Pakistan, do you know how high they are mined? How high in the air? 15,000 feet. Yeah, if, when you go to Pakistan to mine, um, these are from China, but the ones might... So they can be in extreme circumstance, aquamarine, to be mined. So there's a lot of cost involved there. Now, this beautiful strand, really, really lovely. There are some processes that aquamarine can go through. Um, to change the colour or to change the apparent clarity. Um, this doesn't affect the durability, but the good news is the ones we've got today are absolutely natural. Okay, now we did promise you under 20. Now, Wayne, producer, I did... Can we do that? Can we have 1995 then, please? Can we do it? Birthstone for March, 19th wedding anniversary as well. Isn't it great actually get a birthstone? And if you're married, you get a marriage birthstone as well, an anniversary birthstone every year. Now, so who's asked? Jane, Jane in Cornwall or Jane in Durham? Jane, it isn't a ready-made necklace, it's a strand. Just to prove that to you, look, it's a strand. It's not got tassels. So no, it is not a ready-made necklace. Just show you the end there. There you go. That's the end. So it is a strand. It is, that's a good question though, because we are bringing you some ready-made necklaces these days. But it is in the necklace layout for you. Now also, it, it could be a bracelet. And earrings, because you know that Conzite bracelet we had earlier? That was similar, wasn't it? So you know how we graduated it, look? You could do it as a bracelet and have the larger size as the feature, yeah, and then have the smaller as we go round, and then use the rest of the uh, the rest as earrings. Okay. So no, it is not a ready-made necklace, my lovelies. I think it's lovely. I'm just going to put that on the bust again, so you can see. Now we're putting the clock in. You know what happens if you regulars on jury maker? What happens when the clock goes in? It means that in the next 60 seconds, I'll tell you what, we'll make a pledge to you. The more of you that put it in your baskets, 
will depict just how low he will go with the price. Okay? He's just given me a price in my ear and he says if we get enough interest, he will dare. We have to shift a lot of volume at a lower price. Does that make sense? That's just the nature of the beast. That's shopping television for you. So, you get 60 seconds. Can we start it, please? All we're asking you to do, pop it in your basket, show us that you're interested. I'm just going to call the names up now and have a little sneaky cheeky look. A lot of you have checked out already. Big number of you have checked out. We've got a lot of people waiting in baskets. In baskets, Carola, Ilva, Carolyn, Collector, Beverly, Kerry Ann, Susan, Collector, Jane in Durham, Collector, Nola, Collector, Charlotte, Susan, Karen, checked out already. San Let me assure you, you will be knocked out with the price. I really do assure you of that. And Janet in Greater Manchester, Collector in the Channel Islands that have had two each. You are very savvy. Okay, now Karen's coming to the basket. Susan's coming to the basket. Charlotte, Jennifer's just trusted us. Thank you, Je Jennifer. In Worcestershire of the source, you've just checked out too. Well done. Babs, you've got them. Right then. I need more people in baskets. Okay. I have got 297. If you want a really naughty price point. Ready? Three, two, one. You ready? Have we got enough people? Mm. A third of the stock is showing as allocated. I've got 297, so about 100 of you are in. Who wants the naughtiest price? I'm going to give you the full layout again. What are you going to do? Hang on a second. What can you do? What are the options? Mm, okay. So, okay, I'm going to be really transparent with you now. We've got 297.85 have sold. How many baskets? About 17 baskets. We're about halfway. I need all of them to go at this price, if we do it. Are you all imagining little silver spacers or gold? This is the great thing about those pastel tones of, of uh, aquamarine. Because of that seawater effect, if you go with rose gold, if you go with... Yellow gold plate, sterling silver, silver, plated. You go with antique bronze, you go with copper, you go with champagne, you go with rose. Any of the colours of the wires, any of the colours of the precious metals will work with aquamarine because it's a very gentle, very powdery, gentle, tranquil water tone. NCP079, three ways to check out. You have jewelrymaker.com the jewelry maker app you can use your credit card your debit card your paypal i think we're nearly there thank you for your trusting us you've got the call center as well call center prepare yourselves get ready for this we are going to can you hear him can you hear him in my ears going Woo -hoo! may i also say thank you for your involvement because genuinely the more of you can because obviously we have to justify taking it to below where we've been advised to go. If we can justify and say, well, we sold them all, there's no argument. Other than the management going, well, yeah, of course you sold them all at that ridiculously low price, but we can go, well, you know, now here we go. You are entitled to do what Neil and Linda have done and Supriya's just done in Kent and uh, increase your order to three. You can have as many as you like. This is 11.95. I'm going to give you an idea of how many you're getting, okay? Let me just get my board. Okay, how many gone now? 150 gone, checked out. You've still got 150 to go, my loves. So I have got here, let me show you. Look, in the 6 mil, you've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So let's assume you've got 20 either side in the 6 mil, okay? And then we start to increase. So if we've got 20 and 40, that would be 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34. There's roughly 36, 38, 39 aquamarine on this. You don't need to leave it in the necklace layer, of course. Would you like to see them on again? Of course you can. Somebody just messaged them on and said, would you put them on again, Zena? Well, I'm not going to say no. It's not exactly a tough job, is it? Wearing beautiful gemstones. Would you place them on your body? Well, of course I will. Now, the thing is, you've got a 38 centimetre necklace there at the minute. But you could easily elongate that with some spaces, couldn't you? Pearl knot would look lovely, wouldn't it? If you'd got the knotty do-it-all tour last week, you could pearl knot in between there with some beautiful silks if you wanted to. Add a gorgeous clasp. 
Now, in baskets, Ilva, Carolyn, Collect, you need to be checking out Beverly, Susan, Mary, Charlotte, Valerie, Stephanie. This is everybody in there. Baskets, Mavis, Collector, Lynette, Collector, Norma, Madeline. Lynn, June's just bought on the phone. Lynn's just bought on the phone. Sandra's just bought two on the phone. Francis has just bought on the phone. Pauline's just bought on the phone. Marjorie's just bought on the phone. And Michael have just bought on the phone in the last few seconds. So when I say all the basketeers, that does not include those of you checking out left, right, and centre with our fantastic call centre. Um, and we've now got people in from Colorado, haven't we, Bertha? It's an amazing deal. Truly, truly amazing. This is what we do best, don't we? Bring you phenomenal gemstones and naughty prizes. Now, Nikki just said, I'd like to send love and hugs to my friend Kaylee. She is amazing. Oh, that's lovely of you. Oh, good for you, Nikki. That's really sweet of you. And well done on your weight loss, darling. That is amazing. I remember you messaging me when I started my weight loss. Uh, you were doing Weight Watchers and uh, you've done brilliantly. Kaylee, it's lovely to see Team Mays. Oh, bless you. We're doing a show soon, I'll tell you, actually. It's really cheering me up, Zina. I was out when the deal of the day was on and I had to help get it, so I'm happy. Oh, Kaylee, good for you. Now, Team Mays, we are launching Mark's new bobby bead that he designed himself when we were and uh, when we had them uh, agree to the design when we were together at the Czech Republic a year last January. We are launching that on the 28th of July together on the morning show, Mark and I. It's uh, going to be epic. All right. Georgina. Um, JM Studio, you could make a full suite taken from the ends for earrings and a few more to rosary link, a bracelet and put on a slider bracelet. Absolutely, darling. Full suite of jewellery there for 11 95 You're completely right. Right, can I have an update, please? 180 gone of 297. So that leaves me with 117. No, 17. No, hang on. No, it doesn't. It's <laughs> 100. 112 left, sorry. My little brain wasn't working then. There are 112. This is great news, Ella. 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 Hello. Oh, sorry. It, that's, could see, it looked like I got a patch on my arm. I was thinking, what? It, it's the tassel. I was thinking, where's that patch come from? Um, no, I couldn't get one. 11.95. I'm going to wear them again. Well, do, 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 Doreen, you've just got them in Devon. Do, do, Doreen. That was me, not you, Doreen. Just got my little uh, tongue in a twist. So, um, lots of you, why are you waiting, can I just ask, if you've got it in your basket, why, why, I'm just wondering why, I'm just trying, no, you might have a very valid reason, I'm just trying to work out what about that deal at 11.95 would stop you from checking out your basket, I'm perplexed, it's a good word isn't it, perplexed, I'm just querying, I'm just querying, it is a full 38 centimetre strand, you don't get your tassels, but you get 11.95 as a very naughty price point. I mean, it's beautifully set into a necklace design. Simply change your thread, simply change, add your clasp, and you are done. You can make that really lovely over-the-head design if you just wanted to extend it with some spaces as well. Or can you imagine that with beautiful pearls? Yeah? NCP079 for your stunning genuine natural aquamarine now while you check out because there's a, i've got a lot of you with it in your baskets but i'm very conscious of the time we will keep you up sorry boss we will keep you updated the boss has just fainted at the price we will keep you updated won't we wayne and we'll might show that again later if as, but we need them to all go i'll be honest we need them to all sell out at 11.95 please can you help us out so we don't get Great deal, though. We have got some, you know, you're right, we have got some epic rounds. Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Now, we've talked about this, haven't we? How superb Sleeping Beauty. If you want the boldest fairy tale blue, and this is the thing about Sleeping Beauty, it does tend to have a lot less matrix of the host rock. If you want that enviable colour tone to have just gone, of genuine, authentic, Arizonian Sleeping Beauty Mine turquoise, which adds massively to the value. I feel like I'm wasting my breath today. These deals are awesome. 
Well done, Kaylee's just got them on, knocked out for you, sweet pea. Collector in Essex has got them. Collector in London is trying to snaffle one of those last three. So is a collector in the Channel Islands coming in for those as well. 22 perfect carrots of Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, one of the most recognised for high quality turquoise on the planet. You've now got Catherine, you've got a whisker of a chance, sweet pea. Eileen, you've got a chance as well, but you know what you've got to do. 60 day money back guarantee. Double the length, Eileen, you've got them well done. Okay, oh, hang on, who's just got them? Collection the Channel, Channel Islands, you've got them. There are two left now, Catherine. Collector in London, Collector in County Durham. You are going after the last two. That is a steal at 34.95. I know you know that. You don't need me to, te to teach you how to suck eggs. That beautiful tone, that knockout colour tone, that phenomenal quality at third. Laurel, I love your name. What a lovely name, Laurel. One left. Eileen, you got it, Eileen. Collection London, well done. Carolyn, good luck. There is one left. I've got one, two, three, four, five in baskets. What a great deal. $34.95 for that many Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Well done. Oh, you can't leave the last one. Now what's, hang on, Catherine, Collector, Laurel, Carolyn, Collector, in Kent, Collection County, Durham. Well done. Well done, you snuffling turquoise, Sleeping Beauty. Katie's just said, I'm putting the Laramar. Oh, yeah. And the Sleeping Beauty together. When I get them as they are both formal, I think it will look amazing. I think you're absolutely... No, they went early, didn't I? I think you're absolutely right, my love. Perfect. Perfect. Well done. Well done, everybody. I think there is still that one left, Christine, in Devon. Sorry, say again. Change your mind, have you? We found another Sleeping Beauty. Very different look. There's only two left. Two people forgot to check out. Oh, they must be kicking themselves if that was you. If you want these faceted rondelles, big carrot weight, do please get your authenticity certificate for 25. Oh, he's done it again. <laughs> wow, what was the last carrot weight? Dear me, these are big carrot weights he's doing today for this price. Look at that. Imagine just one of those in the centre of a slider bracelet, look. Just one, or in the centre of a macrame bracelet. Big rondelles, aren't they? They are about to be checked out. Jane, good luck. Stephanie, good luck. Collector, good luck. Two opportunities. Oh, when a collector, the collector in Suffolk is in, you're normally really quick at checking out collector in Suffolk. You are phenomenally fast. Yep, there you go. You just proved my point. Checked out. Well done. Collector in Suffolk, well done. Jane's just got them. Well done, you girls. And collector, I don't know who you are, obviously. Having a nice time. Didn't we have a lovely time at Jewelry maker. Did, 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 did. Yeah, that is a made-up song. Well, the tunes. Didn't we have a lovely time? <laughs> no, that is a real song, but then I changed it to the uh, that jewelry maker. <laughs> so, bit of black, rutilated quartz. Double trouble means you get two. We don't give you trouble. We just give you a treat. It should be a double treat, shouldn't it? £6.48 and £6.47 for a double treat, double trouble treat. They're smooth. There's no... What we mean by plain is we, we've really got to petition for the smooth to be replaced for the plain because there, I, I challenge you to find a plain gemstone. Yeah, I really, I'm going, well, I think we should really petition to remove that P word. I find it quite offensive, if you don't mind me saying. I'm going to petition on your behalf. Black Rutilated. Got to give me some lovely choices of four mils today as well, aren't we? Yeah? So with every order, every day, how many... I'm going to ask this directed at, at Peter. Every day, this is pressure, Peter. Ugh. Every day... Yeah, lean on the wall for some support, darling. Yeah. How many times 
per day, don't cover your face. Do you have to pay personal packaging with Jewelry Maker? It's a big question. How many times? Well, it's once, isn't it? Well, it's once in it. Honestly, these kids. Yeah, but what happens if I buy, if I check out seven times? Well, it's still, it's still going to be the same. How is it that allowed you only pay what? So if you go to the post office, right, if you go to a post office though, hey. listen, if you go to a parcel delivering, you don't pay it once, do you? If I take seven parcels into the post office, they're not going to charge me once, are they? We, yeah, we're not the post office, correct. Yeah, but I still don't get how we can afford to do that. I don't make I the don't, rules. I know, I don't. I don't make the rules. I don't understand though, do you? You know, I sent a, a, one ring out the other week when I did it on, on that auction site and I sent one, one ring in a tiny little parcel for a large letter it was classed as £2.18, second class £2.18 for one ring it was that big good isn't it no I didn't put it in a big envelope but it was classed as a large letter because of the the weight of it, I don't know I don't know, I don't know. Oh, yes, you found it. I guess that's why they call it the blues. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. So we have a beautiful topaz, and we know what topaz gives us, brilliance guaranteed. We talked about this earlier, didn't we? They are not inclusions in there. They're so clear, they're picking up my reflection upside down, look. That's me upside down in the topaz. Could I just try those on um, the skin? The décolletage. G great price tag. $39.95 on those topaz. GNVX70 on your brilliance of topaz and those lovely faceted pear drops. Beautiful, well done. Ooh, you have got some lovely blues in here today. Is this aquamarine cubes? Cubes! I love these little cubes, do you? Oh, it's actually reminded me I need to put another ice bag in the freezer. And I need to freeze some more raspberries for me gin. No, I'll grab those plastic bags that you fill up. Yeah, I just remembered I need to put some more ice in there. Sorry, just, I digress. I saw an ice cube aquamarine and thought, ah, oh, ice cubes. Silly little things that set us up. Look at those. They're so cute. They're like you, Peter. They're cute. Oh. Aww. <laughs> it's so cute. Now I'm thinking if you pop those, do you want to see them with the pink spinel? <laughs> We're going under 20. How about with the actual aquamarine? Oh. You know when I said to you about extending that necklace? You go a cube and around and a cube and around. That'd look nice, wouldn't it? Seventeen ninety-five on those dazzling cubes of aquamarine, and they're absolutely au naturel from Madagascar. They are lovely, aren't they? Now hang on a second. That's where's our ruler? Have we got our ruler team? Can I have, have you got the, the one that's like nine feet or the, or the little... Ah, oh, there you go. Thank you, Peter. Because I just, I don't know what 11 inches is. On it. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Who ordered this? Seriously. Who ordered this? <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> right. Honestly. Well, hang on a second. I beg to differ. That's, are we all saying that says 11 inch? It isn't. Can I turn this round and show you so you can believe, so you, so you believe, I know you believe me anyway, but I'm, t it's like a helicopter, woo, 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 <laughs> right, let me show you, because we're lying to you, quite frankly, it, in your favour, in a good way, some, some, some fibs are good fibs, look at that, tell me what you see, if you go to that finger there, it's, um, we're giving you nearly an extra inch, for free. So we're talking, of, you know, realistically, a 30 centimetre strand there, aren't we? 
I just wanted to prove that fact. I thought that's long. That's that feels longer. So does me ruler. I literally, I'm like, <laughs> what do I do with it? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, if we have one of them, I suppose it's for when we have them two metre strands, isn't it? So we actually have something long enough to measure with. Uh, well done, everybody. We're giving you a little bit extra there. Well, nearly an inch extra. Oof. And an inch can make all the difference. Got it. It can indeed. Oh, we're going for the sunshine. Bring me sunshine. Da, da, da. There's only four left, but do we care? That rhymed! <laughs> da, da, da. No way I'm singing, it's 9.95. Da, 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 da. All you need to do is check out your basket. Da, 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 da. Oh, we're on a roll now. <laughs> Rio. Her name was Rio when she danced across the thing. Da. A bit of Simon Le Bon. Simon Le Bon. Simon Le Bon. Simon Le Bon. Keep up, you lot. Come on. Hey, Simon Le Bon. <sighs> Honestly, working with kids. <laughs> so, golden citrine. Golden citrine in these beautiful pear drops. Now, you do get this. Oh, have you noticed we're giving you posh gold spaces? Look. Oh, they're posh, aren't they? Hello, Stacey in Essex. Hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, we had those. Oh, we did a wicked deal on some psychedelic mist-coated topaz earlier with two strands for a fiver. Put these with them. And we had the silver hematite. Yes, they sold out like that. I went home to see if there was any that had uh, bounced back into... They hadn't. So, these are ace. Now, you know, obviously, we've been doing... Uh, there's been the lovely rainbows, haven't there, for the NHS that have been looking after us through this horrific pandemic. And with those rainbow coats on there, that would be a lovely gift to anybody that's working for the NHS, wouldn't it? It really would. I mean, my, my friend's a dental technician. Um, my, my brother's uh, girlfriend is a, works, is a nurse. There's, I think a lot of us have got access or, or know somebody that works for the NHS and they're doing the most fantastic job and I think that would look lovely. I really do think that would be a nice, nice gift. It's a nice, are they, these prices are, it's just a nice gift to sort of say thank you to somebody that might have been doing your shopping for you. You know, somebody, you know, a lot of us have been doing shopping, texting each other, the neighbours in the cul de sac and things and saying, well, you might not live in a cul-de-sac, but I do. But you're thinking, hang on, I don't live in a cul-de-sac. Not a funny word, cul-de-sac. It's a funny word. A cu where do you live? I live in a cul-de-sac. Cul-de-sac. A cul-de-sac. Cul mm. <laughs> so I'm not keen on that. I wish I didn't live in a cul-de-sac. Oh, whoa, 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 nah, 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 I refuse, I refuse, no, watch this, watch this, watch, watch this, it's, <laughs> I give up, I can't cope, that, even what, the Bashasaurus is not comfortable, he said, that's not right, I thought, yeah, we all know it's not right, Zambian Emerald, at tw they've gone. Twelve ninety five. Sorry, Neil. Sorry, Neil. Sorry. What's it supposed to be? Because there's note in there. Oh. Oh. Would it be this one? We've got two left. Okay. Oh. Tell you what, they're good, they're good quality bo boxes, these are. So then, darlings, there are two left. You, be, you get the box and you get the gemstones. <laughs> right then, so we've got... Yeah, I sang a song the other day. No, they're all still giggling at me. Hang on, come here, you. Right, there we go. So, you're getting, for that price tag, two strands of uh, lapis lazuli. Yeah. Can I just confirm? That looks like rose quartz to me. Two strands. You've got pink druzy 
and you've got now this looks like amethyst or am amethyst to me brazilian amethyst and the box the customizable box that we've talked about you've got the box and six genuine gemstone strands for 1995 that's a good deal isn't it okay there were only two though Sorry, sorry, sorry. So it's two, isn't it? Two of you get managed to get it. Ah, uh, we've got another. Don't hang on, don't panic. There's another box. Shake your maracas. Shake what your mother gave you. Do you know that? Have you seen that advert? You know they should have gone to Spec Savers where there's the Keep Fit girl, and she goes into the bingo room. She starts doing a big, massive Keep Fit class, and she's going, "Shake what your mother gave you." Yeah, that's my friend. That's my friend, Hayley. It's my mate. She's got Haley Jo Whitney. She's lovely. She's a, she's a great aunt. She choreographed it all herself. It's a brilliant advert. So uh, there you go, look. Some black obsidian. Hang on a sec. You do have four strands. There you go. You've got uh, black obsidian. Well, it's like a it's like a brownie black. There, you've got like two black, and then like almost like a smoky uh, obsidian, haven't you? Wow! Oh, hang on, I'll just throw in the box to one side, and you do get the box. No, you get the box. I was conf confused with the price, but you do get the uh, storage box as well for twelve ninety five. These are great deals, and the fact that they come out in a little storage box as well. So nice, isn't it? MKPO two zero on your um on your storage box and it's one of those really as soon as you see that dark blue lapis clip you know they're really secure brilliant for your findings as well really good these are great starter packs as well and remember at six o'clock today we will be dedicating an hour to learning the back to the basics and the kits we've got the first kit is the most unbelievable price point and it has got morgan and aquamarine in it i oh, know and we've got the lovely claire our lovely Claire McDonald. $12.95 on that deal for you, my lovelies. MKP020 is your code to check out. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, Wang, you're so lovely. He says, so and so, so and so, please. Oh. I don't get that with Tom. Oh, oh, oh. How much, how much, how much? How much, how much? Oh, oh, she could, oh. I've, I've had to take my other bracelets off. Oh, God, I want this. I want this. That could be an everyday. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh that is beautiful. Oh, I want that so bad. So this is a lucky dip. So this means you will get a sterling silver. So all the spaces are sterling silver. It is a ready-made stretchy, but about as pos posh as stretches you could get. Now this is cognac, you may get cherry which is the darker red or you may get the lighter yellow. All three are beautiful. Lucky dip, beautiful bracelet with four grams of sterling silver in there. XQ, I like the excitement of a lucky dip, do you? So you're not quite sure which, which colour tone you're going to get. XQUP19, I like that idea. And I tell you what, aren't those spaces unusual? We ought to see if we could get some of those. Look at what, a, what a beautiful, beautiful look. Now, what you could buy that and sell it on for more, couldn't you? What would you sell that for? I mean, it's very, very, it's very, um, there's a lot of amber packed in there, and that silver design is really unusual look. $49.95. We don't have many available. Okay. We also have, now yesterday on the show, we had a cherry and we had a lemon pendant. We were missing the cognac. So we had the cherry and the, and the lemon that you've got there. We didn't have the cognac. Guess what we've got for today? Star by the missing cognac amber.
So, my lovelies. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, well, it's Hunt the Amber. Have you found it, Peter? I'm so sorry. We found it. Can I give it a little clean on my toe? Yay! Thank you. Now, can I just, can I see the picture? Because I want to make sure I've got the right thing here. Ah, we found Um... No, we don't have it in the studio. It is not the right one. I do apologise. That is the right picture. It's fine. Don't worry, everybody. We can see what it is. We're sorry. Yeah, we've not got the right one in the studio. I do apologise. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This happens occasionally. But we can still do it. We're fine. We, we can do it from a picture, can't we, everybody? So the one that the, we had these on the show yesterday, and we had them in the studio, and we had the correct one, the correct design. Very, of course, with all these hundreds of thousands of volt locations, we occasionally get the wrong item. However, yesterday, if you were watching the show, we had the live version of the cherry, and we had the live version of the lemon in the studio. This is the, without question, this is the most popular colour tone of amber that we sell here at Jewelry Maker, the cognac tone designed to look like that French brandy tone. Um, I'll say designed, Mother Nature created it, didn't she? We probably made the brandy to match the amber, to be honest. But what you have is one of these unique, unique opportunities where inclusions, the more inclusions that are embodied within that ancient fossilized tree resin, the better, because that's our planet's history locked away in that time capsule of beautiful, there you go, now in there, from 44 to 175 million years ago, that could be tree bark of these fossilized ancient conifers. It could be little insects, little frogs, little, little animals. It could be gas, it could be or anything. Basically what happened, happened is, as these ancient, massive, giant conifers, which are no more, obviously, because it's the Baltic Ocean, the Baltic Sea. Um, is it the Baltic Sea or the Baltic Ocean? Baltic Sea, Baltic, Baltic Sea, isn't it? Baltic Sea, Baltic Ocean. I look at this on my, on my globe at home all the time because the sea in an ocean is different. Anyway, um, so the, the tree would get nicked and it would have this, this tree resin that would run down. It's really sticky and sappy and it would t wash away everything in its path and then Baltic Sea, thank you. And then it, and then it, and then it fossilises over all those millions of years. So everything that's locked in there, it's... It's magical, isn't it? Because that's, that's our history of our planet locked within that beautiful pendant for all time, for all eternity. So matching the price that we did yesterday, 37.95. This is the gold, and it's not often that we set with gold plate sterling silver. It's usually sterling silver. So this is a lovely, lovely treat, and it's caressed. Now, Hayley Kruger, our guest designer, said yesterday it was her favourite design of amber she'd ever seen and again what we were saying yesterday look at the size of the bale opening so were you not restricted at all as to what you can put through that that bale really are you all of our gauges of wire should fit viking knit macrame crochet leather cord i'd like to think that pretty much everything we work with every kind of chain that we do here would fit through that bale wouldn't it OGGY38, well done for those of you that have collected and uh, managed to check out that teardrop wrap Baltic Amber pendant. Well done. And I'm sorry we don't have it here, but you have your 60 day money back guarantee. And if you watch the show from yes, I tell you what, if you go to jewelrymaker.com, click on our YouTube link, select the late show from yesterday. I think we did it in three o'clock hour, if I remember correctly. It was in the three o'clock hour because we had Hayley. So if you. Fast forward an hour onto the show, you'll see the cognac version and the cherry, uh, the cherry version and the lemon version live in the studio. Right. So, darling, sorry about that. Ooh. Oh, like rose quartz shields. They're lovely, aren't they? 
made your television blink then, didn't we? Rose gold, uh, sorry, rose quartz. Now these have got this lovely Madagascan internal glow. I have to say, if I had the chance to buy rose quartz on a daily basis, I'd always want to try and get Madagascan just because of that inner glow. QM VR for zero, for zero, for T. I love those. I really, and we were saying when we had these previously, we were saying, wouldn't it be a nice gift for somebody that's been shielding as a little pick me up? Do you not think? Because rose quartz is the gift of platonic love, friendship. And there's a lot of people that have had to shield, whether that's through age, whether that's through um, underlying health issues. And we're talking, you know, is it 18 weeks now or something? 16, 18 weeks they've had to shield for. And some of these people have seen no other person. So can you imagine just rocking up and popping that as a little gift? Just a lovely single pendant or something as a, for those of a, all those millions of people that are having to shield. Wouldn't that be lovely? 13.95. You may know somebody in that position. You may have somebody living in your cul-de-sac. It's because I don't like being in a cul- I don't like being shut off. I don't like being shut off in a little, you know, you get to the end of my, and you can't go any further. It's like, ah, I'm stuck in my cul-de-sac. That's not, I'm trapped. I am trapped in my cul-de-sac. <laughs> Oh, oh, little hearts, little hearts. They are cute, aren't they? And they're not very expensive either, which is always a bit of a treat. Pyrite. Flat hearts in the 6mm, 15 to 16 inch in length, 7.95. I'm going to have to do it. I'm so sorry, but I can't help it. Pirate, pyrite, you know what I'm going to ask, don't you? Why are pirates called pirates? Because they are. <laughs> do you know, that's one of my favourite jokes. <laughs> We laugh every time. Every time. Every time. I'm so sorry. All the chair crew were like, please stop doing that. <laughs> so just to like it. So really so we're talking about a lovely neutral tone of this sort of vintage gold, isn't it? Like fool's gold, isn't it? Pyrite flat hearts. Great drill hole as well. And you're getting a, a, a heck of a lot of hearts on there, look. I haven't, I haven't shown you the whole strand yet. I'm not going to count them because it may take me too long, but there's a lot of hearts there, isn't there? We're feeling the love. Feeling the love on those hearts of pop. Oh, hang on, we get it. There you go. You get the whole strand on, on screen. Yeah? Good point. Okay, sir. Ooh, tiger's eye. Did you... Now, did you see, um, there was a, a rerun of an um, Antiques Roadshow the other day. And this poor woman had got a sapphire. It was a big old sapphire. And she'd been told by numerous uh, jewellers, hadn't she, that it was fake and it was a blue blob. They called it a blue blob and they said it wasn't diamonds. So she took it, she, wouldn't, she, she wasn't having it, so she took it to the Antiques Roadshow and do you know what they said? It was real. The diamonds were real, the sapphire was real, and it was worth about £40,000. She could have car booted that. 40, thank goodness she had some resolve. It was a big cushion shaped sapphire. But these jewellers have said it's not diamonds and it's a blue blob. She could have, she could have just binned it. Car, you know, auspice shop. Mind you, they'd have done a right out of it, wouldn't they? £40,000 it was worth. So don't let people tell you what your jewellery is and isn't worth. I'll tell you what, persevere. <laughs> they do like tiger's eye on takes Roach. They get very excited, the experts, when they get a tiger's eye. Now, oh, thanks, Leah. So that, you, that's what you could do with that lovely necklace. You could make a beautiful little necklace. You could rosary link, and then you could cage a cabochon. Oh, you all right, darling? Yeah. You okay? Did you fall on my 
you didn't fall on your toesies. All right then, as long as you're all right, Poppet. She's all right, she's just having a bit of the dropsies. Can I draw your attention, please, to the fact that we have a... F Everybody, can we stop the show a sec? Hang on. This is microfacet work on a two mil. Microfacet, extra facets, not just micro, but extra facets on a two mil gemstone by hand, polished by hand, for that price. Uh, no. He's hiding behind the screen, he's like that. He's, this is a, an impression of Wayne. He's normally like this. That's what I can normally see. And at the minute, all I can see is this. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's treating you to these prices today. Microfaceted, $7.95. Bonkers, bonkersville. No, come on, if there's another pirate joke, I'm having it, as long as it's clean. Right, what have we got? Katie, what did the pirate say on his 80th birthday? Aye, matey. Oh, that's brilliant. Aye, matey. Ah, oh, you just didn't get it. Wayne went, I don't think he's very... He just did Hi, matey. Hi, matey. Hi, <laughs> matey. Bring the pirate jokes in. Come on. <laughs> Oh dear. He's <laughs> <laughs> got us all going on us. They're all laughing in there. That beats my. <laughs> oh, do you know what? Isn't a good laugh good fear? Oh. Oh, my tummy's hurt, dude. <laughs> I'm. Oh, stop it, Zena. Pull yourself together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh, dear. Oh, that was good. I haven't had one of them in a long time. That was a good belly laugh. Thank you. <laughs> and I wish you could have heard Peter in the studio. And I wish you could hear Leah and, 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 and Wayne in the gallery. They are really teetering in there. The <laughs> he said to me, oh. Oh, I know I'm a media It's infectious, isn't it, laughter? Are you doing it? Are you at home going, <laughs> oh? anyway. Right. But this poor lapidolite is saying, uh, hello? Can look at me? Look at me, please. They're the biggest lapidolite rounds I've ever seen. Hey? Eh? That is impressive. Lepidolites in nine to ten mil rounds? Well. That's alternative to amethyst, though, aren't they, for a different purple? Sorry, Wayne, am I keeping you up? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, isn't it lovely when you're doing the best of your ability in your job and you go, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Best. <laughs> to be fair, he has been up since about four o'clock this morning, so he's entitled to be tired. But he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> you've lost it now. The matey joke, that's it. The eye mate, you've lost us. Thank you for that joke, it was brilliant. That's my favourite joke in about the last 10 years, that is, that says. I shall be telling it to everybody I know this weekend. £23, and I'm going to a dinner party tomorrow night. Yes, that could be my joke for the dinner party table, couldn't it? £23.45, I bet they can't wait. Le Bidolite from Brazil, and they're absolutely natural. OK, shall we shoehorn one more in? Shall we, shall we, shall we, shall we, shall we, before the break? Which one, which one, which one, which one? Ah, quick, 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 quick. Oh! <gasps> Oh, these are, these are, these are like, you know, like there's a scale of quality of a certain type gemstone. On black rutilated quartz, this would be at the top. Oh, 
look at these. These are top draw. <whistles> look at those. They are awesome. Now, these were launched at $39.95. These, it's not often we get, um, for those of you that buy Sri Lankan white sapphires, you'll know the quality that Sri Lanka delivers when it comes to white sapphires. Okay, we are, we do need the space. We are aware that we need the space, but even so, to go to less than cost price, Wayne, We've got a 20 foot container on its way to us with new treats for jewelry maker and that's got to go somewhere and we haven't got the room so you are going to get this strand at way below cost price. Launched at 39.95, we're going to take 30 pounds off that price which gives you epic top grade pinnacle strands, awesome quality of that mother nature's monochrome in Oh, these are phenomenal. I'll tell you what, for the next 10 people, nine people that get that strand, eight people that get that strand, you are getting the very best that Black Rutilated Quartz has to offer there. Okay, now, Alison, Collector Ali, Tony, um, Collector in Suffolk, Annie Lanarkshire, you managed to get them. Now, we are over-allocated Collector in Kent. First come, first served. If you don't check out now, Melissa, we cannot sas <laughs> God, word. satisfy you, my darlings, okay? Forge, I Melissa, mean, you got it. Collector in Kent, you got it. Anne, you got it. Collector in Suffolk. Stephanie in Texas, good luck. Gail in Michigan, good luck. Um, they're nearly gone. Well done. Superb deal. You just saved yourselves £30 on a single strand. Well done. Congratulations. Now, after the break, you've got the lovely Vicky coming back. You've got the... Do you any of the aquamarine left? Is there? Oh, hang on a second then. Oh, Pete, could you pass me the fainted bust? Thank you, darling. Thank you, Donnie. Right then, I'm going to put this out here. We had, the only reason there's any left is we had 297. These aquamarines in this necklace layout from 6 to 10 mil, 11.95. Oh, no, <laughs> Nikki. Why is pirating so addictive? They say once you lose your first hand, you get hooked. Captain Hook! <laughs> I like pirate jokes, I don't know why. I just like pirate jokes, I like that one, Nikki. Thank you, gorgeous. Right then, less than 60 chances on that natural aquamarine in the necklace layout. It is a strand, it could be yours for 11.95. We'll be back with you, with Claire, at 6 p.m. the jewellery maker news with me Jenny Cleary breaking news just in on Friday and Sunday Claire McDonald takes over your TV screens causing a ripple amongst the other guest designers a source says Dremel drilling is back there's rumors on camp of excessive amounts of pearls as well as new pegs and town talk pearl care products we have asked Alison Terry how she feels about this and she's declined to comment a source also also says Alison Terry will have her day in court. On Sunday, the Amber Showcase launches from 10 a.m. featuring a brand new pendant not to be missed, as well as Grand Didierite. Our source, Bruce, is here to tell us more. Bruce, can you hear us? Has anyone, has anyone seen my glasses? Bit of a problem there with Bruce, I think. Thank you ever so much. Anyhow, Bruce. Uh, now, here talking to us about Grand Didierite and his love and thoughts on the gemstone is Michael Wolf, our outside the jewelry maker building correspondent. Uh, Michael, what are your thoughts? What are my thoughts on Grand Didierite? <laughs> They're my thoughts. Get out of my head! <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Michael Wolf, for Jewelry Maker there. So, Jewelry Makers, please make sure you join us this weekend. We have got a jam-packed weekend full of fun. 
Claire McDonald, Amber, Tools, Grandidia IT, it's not to be missed. We'll see you there, Jewelry Maker, same place, same time. Stay crafty, Jewelry Makers. <sighs> They're here. I'm very, very, very proud to introduce you to my brand new, designed by me, Czech glass bead. This is the Bobby. And I'll be introducing you to the Bobby on the morning show of July the 28th, where it's gonna be, it's gonna be poignant because um, I've mentioned before on the show that uh, the Bobby bead is named after my late father. And uh, so the whole morning show will, will be all about him. And um, we've got 15 colors, two of which have never been seen before. I'm going to introduce you to the new shape, the new style. We've got a double disc DVD, which we're going to be launching on the show as well. And my partner in crime, Zena, will also be joining me on the show. So that's July the 28th, the morning show, 9 a.m., a brand new launch of the world exclusive to jewelry maker, Bobby Bead. Really hope you can join us. See you then. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelrymaker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelrymaker. Hi Jewelrymakers, my name is Mark. I'm the Managing Director of Jewelrymaker. When we took over Jewelrymaker earlier this year, I was absolutely blown away by the incredible talent that was coming through on our Wall of Fame competition. And this is taking Wall of Fame to a whole new level. From the 1st of July, every quarter, Steve and myself are going to have a look at all of the entries on Wall of Fame, and we are going to choose the most exceptional piece and put that into production. What we will do is we will produce those pieces and if you are chosen as the winner, you will get free of charge 10 of those pieces sent through for you as a congratulations for you being that quarter's winner. I cannot wait to see the fantastic inspiration that comes in from our customers and at the end of September I'll be live on your screens announcing the winner. So please get your entries into the email address below and I will update you at a later time as to what day that will be and I look forward to seeing you all then. Thank you very much. Jewelry maker, create, wear, share. Welcome back. 
back, it's me, Vicky, with you till six o'clock today. Hello, Mel, how Hi. are you? I'm really well, thank you. Yeah. Jolly good, jolly yes. good. I love your jewellery from you. this kit. We've all just been admiring it over the last uh, couple of hours in the break, <laughs> so I'm really excited to show it to you. Look at this, it's so cool, isn't it? I love these big quartz, big chunky jewellery. So it is definitely my thing. I, I know so many people will love that. But actually, with some of the more of the delicate gemstones and your findings pack as well, you can do some beautiful delicate jewellery. Something for everybody in this kit. So we're going to be talking about that in just a minute. First though, can I remind you? We are less than an hour away. I feel like I've been talking, well I have been talking about it for hours. I mentioned this at 12 o'clock today. I feel like I need one of those, what's it called, a megaphone. <laughs> Megaphone, yeah, one of those yeah. big, yeah, foghorn. To be able to uh, shout from the rooftops with this, you're looking at the most beautiful, beautiful Amazonites, Russian Amazonite, great colour, lovely sizes. It's a huge quantity auction that we're going to do at five o'clock. Do make the most of it. They are absolutely gorgeous. So these are going to be coming up. Um, they're going to be coming out at 5 o'clock. It's already on pre-order. The price is outstanding. So many of you have already checked out on the, on the website uh, on pre-order. Don't worry, you're not going to be paying anywhere near the price point that you can see there. They are awesome. And those of you that haven't already done a bit of research on uh, Amazonite, Russian Amazonite, some of the best Amazon, uh, Amazonite in the world, and it's not producing anymore, they close the mind. So now is the time to get hold of it whilst you can. One of my favourite ever designers, Monica Veneda. Love Monica Veneda's stuff. I'm always looking on her Instagram and the, the glossy magazines. And I know that they work a lot with this gemstone and there's great information on, on there about it. But have a look. Do your own research. But I, I do not understand how Liam's going to take that anywhere near the price point that we're going to so I thought I'd give you a massive heads up on this it's coming up at five o'clock whatever you do put it in your basket because even though we've got over 200 of them um, it's still going to be really popular I still want you to be ahead of the queue now before we have a look at your kit Mel uh, another amazing bundle that our Liam's put together is this one and it's not very often that we get to do sort of mini kits like this it's one of the most high-end pearl strands we've got in the whole of our vault. They are beautiful, high luster, multicolour, gorgeous pearls. Every single one of them, stunning quality, graduated in size, aubergines, peaches, ivories, your classics. They're absolutely perfect in my eyes and great shapes as well. So, every single one of them is gorgeous every single one of them is gorgeous they i mean you can see that absolute high luster no i don't uh okay plus then you've also got all of these amazing findings packs. So you've got your rose gold findings, uh, and these earrings are always very, very popular. So you've got the wishbone design, shepherd's hook, your hoops, you've got your toggle clasp, you've got your head pins, and you've got jump rings as well in your 95 sterling silver findings pack. Those alone, the price point that we're going to go down to, is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. As soon as you add in, then the fact that you've got your beautiful pearls. Do you like working with pearls, Mel? Um, I do. I haven't worked a huge amount with them, yeah. um, but they are. They're you know beautiful. They're, they're just are. iconic, aren't they? I think they're yes. just classic. And I, I love the fact that here at Jewelry Maker we give you such accessibility to them because I always presumed, prior to being part of Jewelry Maker, that this was only really available to. The elite, really. You think of some of the biggest icons of the decades with pearls. I, I see a lot of faux pearls and synthetic, but this is the real deal. I can't believe how affordable we get this. Bearing in mind, if you pearl knot this, if you just restrand it and put it onto a necklace, or you make a pair of earrings, how much do you pay for real pearl, high luster pearl earrings out on the high street? Here we're giving you sterling silver rose gold findings plus your perfect gorgeous pearls. You've got a little toggle clasp on there, you've got some head pins, you've got jump rings, you've got all your findings. They're rose gold plated as well, which is absolutely, well, always quite uh, limited. It is always limited. It isn't uh, normally one we see every day. So get ready for this. Bundle them together. Where are you thinking on price just for the pearls? 
This is your should be price for the lot. Should be. Already we've got collector in Suffolk, Eileen in Hampshire, Julie in West Midlands, Greater London, you're there as well. So that means just, I mean, the pearls alone, your price point is fantastic because on the website, bear in mind these are near rounds, it's $45.95. Ridiculous. Absolutely crazy low. We're going to offer you not only the pearls, but the sterling silver as well for under £50. In fact, you know what? Scrap that. We're going ridiculously low. Under £40 today. And remember, they are your high luster multicolour pearls. They're beautiful. Just for the strand of pearls alone, you can't even get it here at that price normally. I'm That's sorry, that you'd spend more on a pair of earrings in a boutique. You would. Um, so if you're making to sell, depending on obviously where you're selling, but I, I would probably recommend even speaking to some of your local bridal shops or hotels and things, because if you're in a boutique environment, like you say, just one pair, £40 yeah. Pound easy. Yeah, definitely. So, and they are such a beautiful and unusual colour. Ah, that's what I love is that you can still do your ivory, but then you've got all of these other colours to play around with. 29 remaining. That is it. That's the only catch is that we're really limited on quantity. So good luck, Lynn, Joan, Channel Islands, Julie. It's been busy, 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 busy from the world go this morning. I think Simon sort of set the tone for the whole day. And that is a really special price. 25 pounds remain, sorry, 25 chances remaining, 39.95. Well done everybody, collector, Irina, Lynn, Joan, Joanne, London, Sharon, most people multi-buying on this, which doesn't surprise me. Think about how much you pay for sterling silver. Remember, in this particular um, findings pack, you're getting these beautiful wishbone earrings, which you can wear this way, or, I suppose you could you can sort of play around and do them as you wish. You've also got the hoops. You've got the shepherd hook option. You've got the really gorgeous detailed toggle clasp. You've also got your head pins and you've got your jump rings all ready to go. But for me, at that price, it's all about getting hold of that pearl strand for less than forty pounds. Because if this goes after today, if the pearl strand sells on its own, it will be over forty pounds. It's forty-five pounds on its own. Lynn, Channel Islands, Julian, Greater London at the moment. You do need to check out, we're nearing up on less than 10 chances. 13, 12 chances remaining. They're big pearls, aren't they? Gorgeous. Keep going through for those, keep going through. Right, should we have a look at Mel's kit? Let's jump straight on in. So, I know you say when you first got this, you were thinking, oh my word, what am I going to do with these <laughs> yes. shapes? You haven't had a kit like this before. No, no, oh, and I don't exciting. tend to work with the big chunky stones Bit of either. a challenge then. So um, I was rather inspired by Gosh. the name actually of the kit. Which is da, 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 Rough Diamond. Yes. They do look like <laughs> massive rough diamonds don't they? They do. Oh gosh, they're amazing. The glitter that you sort of see um, and the, the shimmer is absolutely beautiful. They're huge, they really are. And therefore, I mean, you've made some real statement pieces using minimal amounts of yes. the, the quartz. Yes. Yeah. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen 14, 15, 16 of your silver coated quartz. And you've got some great metallic coming through. That's a really fun strand in itself. But then, keeping with that sort of rough organic theme, we're also looking at another rough gemstone strand. Now, this isn't just any, any nugget gemstone strand. This is spinel. Mm -hmm. It's natural spinel. I know. How cool is that now? <laughs> and they really pop some of the <gasps> colours. They, you know, if, even though some of them are quite small, they just stand out on their own. Gosh, they're amazing. Whenever I think of spinel, I instantly think of the crown jewels. They, you know, we talk about tanzanite as being a birthstone. Obviously, the birthstone register has been going for years and years and years and years, and they altered it for tanzanite. Um, it hadn't been changed since 1912, and they did for tanzanite. And then in 2002, they changed changed it uh, August birthstone as well, added in spinel. So it's become one of the most popular birthstone gemstones as well. You think of royalty, don't you? Noble red spinel. You wish we had what, sorry? Uh, do you? Right, if you press your green button now, you'll be able to reach in and touch <laughs> the gemstones. Liam's wishing that we had feel a vision right now. I don't know if I do. <laughs> I'd like to opt out of it, please. But he says there's something about the touch of um, of the, the 
<laughs> the touch of the silver gorgeous quartz that is just exciting. <laughs> oh, he's getting, he's getting embarrassed now. You also get a 75 piece findings pack. This is a, a real good stash. Yes. Yeah, builder. these are brilliant, these new finding packs. Gosh, you get magnetic clasps in there yeah. as well. Yeah. Brilliant, which I love. You get magnetic clasps, you get an earring studs. You're getting chain, you're getting featherweight head pins, normal weight head pins, eye pins, jump rings, crimp beads, crimp bead covers, big jump rings. You're also getting then 10 meters of 0.8 millimeter wire. It'd be quick for me to say what you don't get in this kit. <laughs> This is brilliant. Right, have a look at the jewellery that, that Mal's made. Talk us through what, you, what, you've, what you've done with this kit then. Well, the, uh, the first piece I did was actually using the cord that the quartz came on. Ah, oh, uh, I see. So I untied it um, and, yeah, that's my favourite piece. So that's the piece at the back there, that's the middle? That's this one here, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah, um, that's the Ben's favourite as well, actually. Ben's are both nodding, loving that. Um, Liam's favourite is the double pendant, the diamondy one, the double pendant. Oh, mm. nice, yeah, this one. That's yeah. really intricate as well, the detail. But then I really like having those big, chunky quartz as well on the neckline. That's a really unusual way of using yes, it. Yes, yeah. Um, but I just sort of ran with the diamond shaped theme with yeah. it as well. So Yeah, I love that. Um, and this is what I was saying about how the colours just pop. Gosh, they're spinel. Um, That's yeah. literally like noble red spinel, isn't it? So, Love it. And you've made a lot of jewellery here, haven't yes. you? It seems yeah. to go on I and on. I still have actually two of the quartz left. <laughs> Brilliant. I, know, so, I mean, you haven't been yeah. sort of stingy with them. Oh, you've used them really heavily. I was a little bit heavily. mad with that one. I thought, <laughs> does it or does it not work? And I think it works. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Twenty-one ninety-five uh, for all of your findings. Remember, you're getting a seventy-five piece findings pack, including magnetic class, including a reel of wire, including chain, earring findings, uh, featherweight head pin eye pins as well you've got loads in there plus have a bit of a go with these chunky pieces they've got a really nice big drill hole as well haven't they yeah I mean they're they're fantastic for the um, winter jewelry as well just Ooh, for yeah just for when you've got a jumper just popping one over your head um, has they already knotted as well I suppose could you just put you could put a clasp on and sort of wear them like that big chunky yeah. chunky look yeah. Well done, Janice, Debbie, Wiltshire, Fletcher in London, Hilda, Angela, Suffolk. Uh, key going through 684 carats of silver coated quartz and 47 carats of spinel. Whilst everybody's checking out, should we dive on into the demo? What is it that you want to show? Well, I, I asked what, what yeah. we, we what people would like to see, and it was this double diamond on the end. Gorgeous. So like um, I'm going to see if I can demo it. <laughs> Brilliant. Over to you. <laughs> right. Well, obviously using the 0.8 wire, um, I took two lengths of um, wire. I don't know how long that is. Um, it's 0.8 quite a good structural wire. Yes, it's not too bad at all. Um, and it's also brilliant for earring findings because it will go through the ear. Oh. So it's just under 11 inches. And what you do is take your chain nose pliers and find roughly the centre and then bend it up. I measured um, about two and a half centimetres and then put my pliers in and bent it in to create the diamond shape and then obviously the other side. The only reason I measured is because you've got to do two and you really want them to be pretty much the same otherwise the pattern won't work. So when you've created your two diamonds, in fact you see I've obviously measured one different, slightly different to the <laughs> other. I oh, know what it is is one's not pulled in as far. So what you then do is place one on top of the other. Now when I was at home I actually um, put this into a clamp to hold it in place. Okay. Um, because as, as I say at the moment it's really 
floppy. So what I'm going to do here is just use a little bit of um, sellotape because that's all we could find <laughs> if I could find the end. Uh, I think normally I'd use masking tape or something like that. Um, whoops, that's just... There we go. It's just that it's quite tricky to keep it in the place you want. So I'm just going to very roughly tape that to hold it. And then I took um, just, a, uh, just over a foot, I think it is, um, of the 0 0.4. And then coming down roughly in the middle, I looped the wire around through the middle and then just wrap it around. Just pull it nice and tight. Just a couple of, t oh, couple of times to anchor it in to place. And then did the same with the other side, just wrap that round. And then we just do a figure of eight weave just to bring these two together. So I'm coming over the top, going through, and then coming up through the middle. Sorry, let's just bring that slipped around slightly. So this is a little bit fiddly to begin with. Once you've got the first couple of bits in, then it holds. So then we go back through the middle. This wire is so springy. <laughs> back through the middle. And then wrap it around the bottom. I'm making this look a lot harder than it actually is. When you're on what tally, happens <laughs> is that because you're working up, the wire automatically wants to slide up. So when you pull it, uh, turn it round, pull it down, and right. then that should hold. And then you go back again over the top, and then back up through the middle. So you would repeat this process on both sides and till you've got as far up as you would like. Once you've done what you, the amount that you want to do, then you just need to wrap it around the wire two or three times, just your standard to sort of finish it off. So, so that's that side and then you can bring in your snippers, snip it off and give it a little, just roll your pliers round to give it a squidge. So, and obviously you would do the same on this side just do a couple on here. So let's come up over the top, through the middle, oh, oh, fingers and thumbs, and then pull it back through, wrap it round the bottom, as I say, hold it in place. while you um, pull it down. Oh, sorry, right, there we go. Pull that down and then as you pull it through, pull this down and that brings your, your wire down. And then we come back up and this actually holds. Once, um, once you've done a few, obviously I did a little bit I went further up 
um, on the other pendant and it does hold it in place nicely. This is slipping slightly now. Um, let me take the tape off. This is really sticky tape. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like you say, if you're using a masking tape or a low-tap tape or a clamp. Yes. Sorry, we're all looking around to try and find you a... As I say, the clamp, the clamp works, um, works really brilliantly. I think it's... Um, is it for the um, prom setting, is it? For the... when right. you do the rings, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we had it yesterday with saw cutting, didn't we? The anvil. Right, so... And the clamp. That's made that all sticky now. So, so right, so once, let's just snip this wire off out of the way. So once you've done all your weaving down the bottom here, then we want to wrap over. I'm just going to bring this one down because I can't remember which yeah. way I did the so, so we now need to finish these, these top pieces off. Um, what I used for the bail was the centre ones. And what I did for this part was I put the, let me just think, sorry, right. So this wire that's on the top goes under the wire that's behind. You turn it over and then with your pliers bend it so that it runs parallel back, um, not parallel, it runs back on itself and then just snip the excess off and using your pliers, just tuck it, squeeze it down. That's it. Sorry, it was trying to slip. Because you want it to run behind so you can't see it. And then you do the same with this one. This is really going out of shape now. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, no, this it's is... fine. <laughs> right. Let's pull this back into shape a little bit more. Can you hammer it to strengthen it? Once yes. It's... Yeah, I would. Um, yeah. As I say, because I haven't woven enough down the bottom here, yeah. it's not keeping its shape so well. Um, but. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit different. So, <laughs> just need to, um, just try to get, I can't see for looking which wire went where now. Right, so it's this one. So again, take this one, bend it over, using your pliers preferably. This is where you, because it's a 0 0.8, obviously it's, if it was a one mil wire, it would hold its shape a lot more. Um, but as I say, you can, I think I have hammered it. I'm pretty certain I did. Um, Cause it gives you that extra lo lovely luster as well if you Ooh, hammer yeah. it. So squeeze that in. And then with these, um, I then made the bale. And what I did was doing the same principle of what we've done down here. Start off by adding on your wire. And then it was a case of just feeding it through and over and doing your weave. Is that 0 0.4 that you're using This is 0 0.4. So we um, carried on weaving. Obviously, I won't do it all. But once you've, you've woven up, the reason, uh, sorry, I should have said, is that I've taken the wire and then 
bent it in either side because then when let's cut this little tail off um, when you then turn your bail that becomes the widest part oh yeah yeah that makes of, sense of your bail so that will determine the size um, so I've got bits all over the place here so that will determine the size once you've turned the bail then I just wrapped the wire round to hold the um, let's put the bail and pliers back in Wra wrapped the wire round to hold it and then using either the tail or another piece of 0 0.4 I then took one of the little gemstones and just wrapped it in oh, on the edge. At the end. But um, yeah, sorry, that is rather rough looking. No, but, like you say, when it's when yeah, it's the process of it um, instead of. But it is it because you can see how much further uh -huh. up I've wrapped, that and really I mean that that is really really sturdy. Yeah, that doesn't move. No, you can see um, that. Yeah, it just needs more weaving at the bottom, doesn't it? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. And I really like that we've shown that actually because initially when you look at this you just think oh I'm only making big chunky jewellery but actually with your wire and your spinels you can still make some really lovely delicate jewellery and then having those large cores on the neckline made a real difference. I love yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Thank you ever so much. No problem. <laughs> um, do keep going through for that. Keep going through. There's loads of you that have got that it's still in your basket so if you haven't yet checked out on the kit Make sure you do now. I've got a feeling that there are going to be people missing out. Are you ready for one of the most exciting star buys of the day? We've got brand new sterling silver gemstone head pins. Where, where, uh, where Liam's got these new ones from. The reason I say Wayne is because I'm guessing from Wayne. They should have been in his show this morning, I think. Um, I'm very, very pleased that they weren't here in time, so we don't let them. Thank you very, very much, Caroline, because she's given us permission to use them today. Um, so a few weeks ago, or over the last few weeks, you've probably potentially, well, may not have seen, actually, because it's only been on, I think, once or twice. Um, and only in the morning show. So if this is the sort of time that you normally watch, you'll never have seen these before. And it's so exciting. These are brand new. We've got two brand new gemstones in the head pins. And they are gorgeous. So I've got rat labradorite and rose quartz. These are your labradorites. And they are absolutely awesome you've got beautiful Ooh. quality gems you've got filigree work you've got a head pin so not only is it really functional it's also going to be amazing your gemstones how cool is this oh i absolutely love them you've got 10 of your sterling silver head pins so for anybody who's starting out in the jewelry maker world how useful are head pins? Um, they are amazingly useful because you can use them just to put the simplest thing, just to put a gemstone on and turn a loop. Mm -hmm. And then you've got an instant pair of earrings. Um, you can spiral the end and turn them into a charm. Um, you can just make them into as big a feature as you like. They're brilliant. They're lovely as well. They're going to look great on the end of like bubble bracelets and things like that. I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. I love that filigree mill grain edging as well. The detail is beautiful. So the wire is 0.5 millimeters. Um, it's 40 millimeters in length. So you've got a lot of sterling silver there. If you're not using it all, keep it. It's precious metal. Remember, this is 95 solid sterling silver. Now. 10 of them available, well 10 in the uh, 10 in quantity in the bundle for 17.95 with all of those labradorites which is always one of jewelry makers favorites I actually think probably out, 
eight out of the ten years we uh, we always do at the end of the year your favorite gemstone most popular customers most popular gemstone and it's always been lavender i think eight out of ten years it won gemstone of the year that is how popular it is it's got the most beautiful blue shiller it's got the most amazing uh unique characteristic there's nothing else quite like labradorite you'll love it 17.95 we've already got people multi-buying in the store we've got valerie and suffolk collector and something well done cornwall's there hampshire's there 17 pounds and 95 pence those of you that missed out over the last few weeks we've got so many we're going to have to move through them quite quickly so we'll do the rose quartz one next we'll go straight down on price as well now these ones are really, really lovely. Oh gosh, they're so pretty. Never done anything like this. Yeah, these are new as well. These are brand new as well. No one has seen these prior to right now. Oh, gorgeous. Rose quartz. Three millimetre rose quartz on the end of each one. And they're lovely little caps, lovely cabochons. 95 sterling silver, again, attention to detail. 17.95, straight down. We've got a bit of a, a head pin gemstone selection coming up. We're gonna show you everything that is available. But over the last few weeks, they've been so popular. So popular, I'm not surprised. I am not surprised. If you've missed out before, here's your chance. 17.95 and they are brand new today. Thank Liam for this one. You can thank our Liam. He has absolutely raided the stock to be able to do it. When you think of head pins, of course, absolute essentials in your jewellery making stash. But I love the fact that these are so different and so unique and just really luxurious. Pure luxury. All 10 for less than £18. Mel. Um, we've given you the Russian Amazonite as a challenge. Do you think you can use some of the head pins as Ooh, well? Oh, yes, please. Ah, that would be beautiful. To. Rose quartz, maybe? Labradorite? What would you like? I don't mind any of them. Oh. <laughs> uh, they're all London fantastic. By oh, in fact, you can have both. Let's, um, if I pass them across. They're brand new. Very, very excited about both of those. So um, I will pass them across to Mel. I've now got some garlic. Oh, these are really nice. Thank you. <gasps> These are going to be very popular because look at the colour on these and they go so, so well with the yellow gold. So you've got pear shape, bezel sets this time. These are absolutely amazing. <gasps> they look beautiful. Not only incredibly functional, also beautiful. The, the aesthetics is, is stunning. Now we've only got... 52 left, which sounds a lot, it's not. It's really, really not. If you do want to make the most of these, start confirming now. You are going to get 10. How? Who did this? Wayne, went lower. Launch price, we've matched it, we've matched it, we've matched it. Christine's got hers, well done. Catherine's got hers, Suffolk's bought two. Woo, they are natural garnets. You're getting all 10 with beautiful detail. Do you know what? You could actually make these, you could just do really simple jewellery with these very, very quickly um, using minimal tools and, you know, minimal, even skill if you're starting out, this is something you could make beautiful garnet jewellery very, very quickly. Look at the quality of the garnets. So open in colour. Catherine, well done in Cornwall, you're there, Lancashire, Sharon, Tracy, Anne, Alison, Suffolk, Multibone, well done Catherine. Michelle's just dialing through, you can still do it at the moment, if you've got it in your basket on the web, check out as soon as you can, as phone lines are busy. They're beautiful, I love the facets. Looks very, very nice as well with the, uh, the gold plating. There are loads of you there for these. They're about to sell out, I think. Okay. I've now got rose quartz, exactly the same style, bezel set again, there's less than 40 of these, oh, I would really be quick as I saw how fast the, the, the garnets had gone and these are equally as beautiful. So this time you're looking at 95 solid uh, sterling silver gold plating with rose quartz bezel set. 
Okay, we're just honouring the prices. We have no idea why on earth they went this low, but uh, if we can, we will. There you go. Thirteen ninety-five. How many are we get in ten? Yes, yeah, do ten. Gosh, that is so good, isn't it? Remember, they're sterling silver and they've been gold plated. They've got beautiful detail, beautiful gemstone. All ten of them. They look lovely as sort of, you could almost do some beautiful earrings where they're all, they're all staggered, they're all different lengths, they'd look beautiful all together as like quite a contemporary piece. But then, don't remember, you can then of course do simple loops and wrap loops. 13.95. We're about 15 minutes away from our Russian Amazonite. Not long to wait for that, but you can get it of course on pre-order. This time rose gold. I do love rose gold with uh, sterling silver. It's really beautiful. So it's 95 sterling silver. This time it's been rose gold plated and it's a lovely pink rose gold. I really love it. I think it really brings out the pink, doesn't it? It brings out the pink beautifully. Thirteen ninety five. Thirteen ninety five. Multiplies in straight away. Are we ready for a Hollywood camera move? No pressure, Ben. Oh, well done. Forty millimeter in length, zero point five millimeter gauge wire. Absolutely brilliant to stock up your stash. We're leaving them with you. There's loads of you there, but we're leaving them with you. We want to try and get in as many as we can. Rose quartz in sterling silver this time. I, I'm a bit concerned about the quantity because uh, I know sterling silver is always the most popular. You're getting 10 of these again. Bezel setting. And because they haven't been plated, they're actually lower in price. Baffles me that you can get all these at less than £20. Bearing in mind they're gemstones. How many have we got, Liam? Oh no! Right, we've got less than 70 of these. It's going to fly. We had a huge quantity available in stock. They are going already. They're going, going, going. £12.95. Ten of you got them in your basket. Be quick to check out. Madeline, you're there. Suffolk's there. Linda, Carol, Judith, Maury, Monica, Claire. Sally, well done, everybody. £12.95. Solid sterling silver. Beautiful rose quartz, great glow, and as we say, stone silver always extremely popular. Well done, Wiltshire, well done, Bedfordshire. Hampshire's there as well. We're 15 minutes away from our Russian Islands tonight. Loads of people are checking out on the web. I think that could be one of the busiest auctions of the whole day, including some of the, uh, I mean, it was really busy this morning with uh, Simon, wasn't it? This is Liam's pick. The amethyst, oh, it just is so classic, isn't it? Oh, they're beautiful. And there's no mistaking it for anything else. You've got absolute quality amethyst. Even in the more delicate size, you still can see the absolute perfect colour. You've got beautiful clarity. The way that be, these are being set, if I hold it like that, you can see that bezel setting is just perfect to be able to make these yourself would be really difficult yeah. wouldn't it yes definitely i wouldn't like to try <laughs> gosh they're beautiful and just having that absolute perfection and the consistency right we need to see you on the line when these launched very very recently a hundred went in the first showing we need to see you there do you trust Liam? Uh, if we sort of, uh, if we go follow the, the suit of today, everything has been mad. These will sell out. These will sell out. I'm giving you a heads up on this. I want to get you involved nice and early before we drop the price. They are beautiful quality amethyst. When you're talking about outside of your big four, amethyst is definitely one of, if not the most famous gem, isn't it? If you're making to sell, I will always say everyone should. Ha, amethyst on their stool. Right, thank you for trusting us. Solid sterling silver. Add value to your mates using these. They're beautiful. 
fantastic colour, £1.40 each. They're beautiful. Deborah, Anne's there, London's there, Judith's there, Gabrielle, Tracy. Have you noticed, Liam, virtually everybody who's in is multi buying? You want these? Yeah, please. These are the ones that Mal wants. Yeah. Your favourite colour purple? Purple and blues, yeah. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? But that would, that would make a brilliant drop at the bottom of How many would you like? Just two, if possible, please. Thank you. Well done, Collector of Merseyside, Anthony, Bedfordshire, Lisa, West Yorkshire, Ali, Catherine in Cornwall, Irina, Deborah, and Woohoo! Enjoy! What an amazing opportunity. Hello, Jill. Jill's just asked to see the multicoloured aquamarine that was on earlier in Zena's show. Oh, it's beautiful. This is the one. It's 11 .95. Absolutely beautiful, Jill. I know they did a great deal on that as well. They range from 6mm on the end right up to 10 mils in the centre. So you've got a great graduation of sizes as well. There you go, Jill. Do make the most of it. So out of this again, let's get you stocked up on the gold colourway. So then you've got choice as well. You've got choice. If you're making to sell, it's nice to be able to offer the different golds. And I think the purple really, really pops when you've got it next to the yellow gold. Look at that intensity of colour. To hold that colour in a more delicate size is so, well, so difficult. Testament to the quality of the amethyst. And yet still are we under 15? Yep. It's very regal, isn't it? The purple Ooh, yes. and gold. Fourteen pounds ninety-five pence. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic value. Well done. A lot of people are coming in actually, stocking up on lots of different gemstones and colours. You could make a very own collection around these, couldn't you? You could sort of work out your pattern, what you want to do with them, and then go along all of uh, all of the different all of the board with different colours. Oh, Jill said, "Oh wow, it's gorgeous. Thanks so much." Look amazing with the labradorite head pins. You're not wrong, Jill. That would look gorgeous with labradorite. I do like that aquamarine. It's really nice. Talking of labradorite, how about this with it, Jill? Uh, so different to the labradorite ones with the, the mill grain sort of filigree edging, this time again with the bezel setting. Let me show you next to it. If you want to use this with some of your six mils, they're going to look amazing, aren't they? Perfect. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, this is just outrageous. Just outrageous. Wait till you see the price. <whistles> Buy as many as you possibly can. Trust me, I don't know how often we're going to be able to bring these in. I don't know how often, how easy it is for us to bring them back. Um, they're relatively new to us here, so it's definitely worth stocking up whilst you can. These ones, again, were ones that sold very, 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 very well. We've literally got 40 left. I don't know, um, I don't know if this will be the last time that you see them. 30 left. My dad Madeline's bought three, Suffolk's bought two, Sharon's there, Gabrielle's there, five's there, Lisa's there, 28 left. These could all sell out this afternoon. I've got a feeling this could be the last time that you get a chance on these ones. Take a chance on me. I don't know why that popped in my head. Sorry, sorry. Are you not an ABBA fan, Ben? You're not an ABBA fan. <laughs> Fifteen. Peridot. Peridot. Oh, August's birthstone. It's going very low. Thank you, Ben. Thanks for the setter. It always makes me funnier. Oh, Ben. Look at these. Oh, they are so beautiful. That colour is amazing. This is what I find amazing. This is honestly what I find so uh, impressive is the quality of the stones in this more delicate size. They are absolutely clean. They've got matching colour. Consistency of quality across the board, even though you're looking at a genuine gemstone. This is an oh, it looks like peridot. It is peridot. Natural peridot, peridot for fourteen ninety five. Told you it was going peridot. <laughs> Suffolk, Shafford, 
Um, well done, Gabrielle Zig. Alan, congratulations. Well done. Everyone's stocking up on all the colours. Oh, don't forget. You're rushing Amazonite. Do, 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 do. Ten minutes away. Ten minutes away. Ten minutes away. Oh, my word. There is going to be such a rush. Russian for the... Uh, for the uh, Amazonite. Moving on, moving on, Liam. <gasps> um. <laughs> He's found the sound effects board. Let's do, oh yeah, bargain boats here. All aboard. These are citrines. They look like imperial topaz. Why? <laughs> <gasps> Look at that colour! Okay, these citrines are absolutely amazing. They almost look like imperial topaz, don't they? No, you, I'm not saying it, Mel. You'll have to say it. You'll have to tell Mel to say it. Forty ninety-five. <laughs> no. <laughs> 95, Miss Sharon, well done. Well done, Gabrielle, Suffolk. 95 sterling silver. 95 sterling silver. We're going to show as many as we possibly can before 5 o'clock. Less than £15. Pounds. A brilliant price. I tell you what. <laughs> Liam, um, Liam wants to call the price police. Thank you. Uh, is that a new sound effect you've got? Gosh, Liam is so silly. Professional, Liam. Professionalism, Liam. Oh gosh, is that just, is there a button to stop that or not? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> is it still going? Oh, press it again. Oh no, don't press it again actually. It'll probably do a second loop round. Oh, it stopped. Uh, what no. number now, sorry? <laughs> right, yellow gold and citrine. Deary me, you're right now. I'm not so yeah. sorry about what's going on in our ear. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, these are your gold plated, 95 sterling silver gold plating. Oh my word, these are amazing. <laughs> well done in Suffolk. That gold is gorgeous. Oh, it had six double four, six double five, two carrots of citrine. It looks fantastic next to the, the, the yellow gold actually, doesn't it? Really, really nice. This would look beautiful with so many gemstones. In fact, it would look really nice with the Amazonite. Go wonderfully with amber as well. Oh, amber, yes. I think uh, Zena had some amber earlier on. You could stack quite a few gemstones on there, or if you've got a larger gem, it's still going to be big enough to uh, the nice length head pins. Yeah. Right, we've got Citrine again, this time in rose gold. Um, thank you. Oh gosh, do you know what? I've never seen, I don't think it's a tree and rose gold combination together and it goes really, really well. No, it looks really nice. It does work. I don't think I've seen it before. What do you think? Oh, yeah. I think it's really nice. It softens it slightly, doesn't it? It's like a nice soft mix between your yellow gold and, uh, and white uh, and white silver. Uh, you know, white gold sil selling silver. Looks really nice. Fifteen pound ninety-five. What? Oh, I'm excited to see what gemstones you put with this as well, because it does have a bit of an imperial topaz feel to it, or paparacciary tones. Oh, it is a soft mix, isn't it? Da, 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 I didn't mean that music. I meant like, you know, dreamy music, like like that. Not yeah. 
Not scary music. Um, number 15. How does that sound like? Labradorite, some of the most popular ones that we've done so far have been Labradorite. The first ones that we, uh, that we had, the brand new ones, and the uh, Sterling Silver. We've now got Labradorite with gold plating. Should we get down to 15? Under 15, we're coming to the end of our head pin selection. Look at the colours. Yeah. £13.95. Bezel set, perfect setting. Well done. I, I just love it. There are loads of people are coming in multiplying, multiplying, multiplying. We've got one more gemstone head pin selection to bring you. That we've got Labradorite in rose gold. Keep going through for that one. There's loads of you there. And have a look on the web because we haven't had a chance to go through these. There's so many on the web. What do we type in on the web? Okay, well, Liam's going to load the other ones in so that they're there uh, underneath us on the website. There's a couple that we haven't had a chance to do, so we will get those loaded during the break for you. 95 selling silver, this time with rose gold plating, and Labradorite is going to bring out those lovely purpley hues that we love from this gen. The blues and the purples. Very nice indeed. Always one of my favourite gemstones. This will look nice with your rough diamond kit. They would be brilliant in um, tiaras and things like that as well, Good wouldn't idea. they? I'm excited to see everybody's sort of take on these because I think you can think outside the box and do all sorts. Like you say, you could make these into charms. You could even make them into nice little stack of rings, couldn't you? Well, I've made them into little components that you can yeah. link together. Nice, okay. Connectors. Yeah. Oh, yeah, beautiful. They look really nice. Yeah. So that's one way that you can use them. <laughs> oh, honestly, so much you're going to be able to do with these. There's loads of you checking out, just very quickly. The gold plated this time in Peridot. Great colour. They all look really, really nice. Looks like what? Ten of your yellow gold plated head pins this time for £15.95. As I said, there's a couple that we haven't had a chance to air, so have a look on the website. Liam is going to load those in in just a second. The ones that Mel was using, by the way, was the brand new ones today. So please, please do check those out as well. Uh, those of you that are about to lose us on Freeview, please do make sure. Get onto your tablet. We're available on Sky, on Freesat, on Virgin. We're available on the web, on YouTube, on the app. You can still find us in so many ways. So please do stay tuned because Freebie, we're about to use, lose you and we're about to do one of the biggest auctions of the day. Russian Amazonite coming up right after this. Welcome to the Jewelry Maker News with me, Jenny Cleary. Breaking news just in. On Friday and Sunday, Claire McDonald takes over your TV screens, causing a ripple amongst the other guest designers. A source says Dremel drilling is back. There's rumours on camp of excessive amounts of pearls, as well as new pegs and Town Talk Pearl Care products. We have asked Alison Terry how she feels about this, and she's declined to comment. A source also says Alison Terry will have her day in court. On Sunday, the Amber Showcase launches from 10 a.m. featuring a brand new pendant not to be missed, as well as Grand Didierite. Our source, Bruce, is here to tell us more. Bruce, can you hear us? Has anyone, has anyone seen my glasses? Bit of a problem there with Bruce, I think. Thank you ever so much. Anyhow, Bruce. Uh, now, here talking to us about Grand Didierite and his love and thoughts on the gemstone is Michael Wolf, our outside the jewelry maker building correspondent. Uh, Michael, what are your thoughts? What are my thoughts on Grand Didierite? <laughs> They're my thoughts. Get out of my head! 
Thank you very much, uh, Michael Wolf, for Jewelry Maker there. So, Jewelry Makers, please make sure you join us this weekend. We have got a jam packed weekend full of fun. Claire McDonald, Amber, Tools, Grandidia, right? It's not to be missed. We'll see you there, Jewelry Maker. Same place, same time. Stay crafty, Jewelry Makers. They're here. I'm very, very, very proud to introduce you to my brand new, designed by me, Czech glass bead. This is the Bobby. And I'll be introducing you to the Bobby on the morning show of July the 28th, where it's gonna be, it's gonna be poignant because um, I've mentioned before on the show that uh, the Bobby Bead is named after my late father. And uh, so the whole morning show will, will be all about him. And um, we've got 15 colors, two of which have never been seen before. I'm going to introduce you to the new shape, the new style. We've got a double disc DVD, which we're going to be launching on the show as well. And my partner in crime, Zena, will also be joining me on the show. So that's July the 28th, the morning show, 9 a.m., a brand new launch of the world exclusive to jewelry maker, Bobby Bead. Really hope you can join us. See you then. Hi, jewelry makers. My name is Mark. I'm the managing director of Jewelry Maker. When we took over Jewelry Maker earlier this year, I was absolutely blown away by the incredible talent that was coming through on our Wall of Fame competition. And this is taking Wall of Fame to a whole new level. From the 1st of July, every quarter, Steve and myself are going to have a look at all of the entries on Wall of Fame, and we are going to choose the most exceptional piece and put that into production. What we will do is we will produce those pieces and if you are chosen as the winner, you will get free of charge 10 of those pieces sent through for you as a congratulations for you being that quarter's winner. I cannot wait to see the fantastic inspiration that comes in from our customers and at the end of September I'll be live on your screens announcing the winner. So please get your entries into the email address below and I will update you at a later time as to what day that will be and I look forward to seeing you all then. Thank you very much. Jewelry maker, create, wear, share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to jewelry making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewelry Maker every Thursday at 6 p.m. for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies, and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewelry making journey. Get started with Jewelry Maker every Thursday at 6 p.m. Are you new to jewelry making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewelry Maker every Thursday at 6 p.m. for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies, and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewelry making journey. Get started with Jewelry Maker every Thursday at 6 p.m. The moment we've been waiting for. I'm a bit nervous about this, if I'm honest. Like we've been talking about this since um, 12 o'clock today. Uh, okay, Liam, no pressure, but 
this is this is going to be one of the biggest auctions of the day, in fact of the week. It is the pick of the day. I have no, no fear in knowing that everybody is going to love this. It's one of those gemstones that I just think is effortlessly beautiful. It's one of the most stunning gemstones. The colour is just a calming breath of blue. It's gorgeous. Now, Amazonite um, can be found in different parts of the world. You can find it in Brazil. But it's most common, it most famously found in Russia. Now, the material that we're looking at here is Russian Amazonite. When I start to think of uh, gemstones that are mined in Russia, I, I think of some of the most expensive gemstones in in existence, I think of Russian emerald, I think of Russian alexandrite, I think of some of the most expensive Russian sveins that I've seen. There's something in the ground in Russia that are known to produce some of the best gemstones in the world. Now this is found in the Ilmensky mountains in Russia and it is no longer producing. Uh, the reason being is because it's now a, a, a national forest, that they're not allowed to mine in it. So yeah you can get it at different locations but the one that is so heavily sought after is Russian. Now it did produce in mass and they managed to get a lot of material out but recently, over the last couple of years, I've seen huge increase in demand from very, very big jewellers. Some of my favourite fashion jewelleries, some of the biggest fashion houses in the world working with Amazonite, and it's instantly uh, known why it's so popular, because of its colour. It is calming, it's beautiful, it's Absolutely alluring, isn't it? I know so many people that love, love, love this gemstone as one of their favourites because it's almost got that peribatourmaline blue. It's also 100% natural. Now, normally, even if it were to be dyed or have any treatments or enhancements, in the world of gemstones, that's absolutely fine. In the world of Amazonite, if you're getting natural material from Russia, you're looking at a very exciting opportunity. Now, everything that we're going to do today for you is going to be all about, again, opportunity, being there at the right place at the right time. We've got a huge quantity which baffles me how we've managed to put this auction together. They're six mil, they're diamond cut, they're absolutely gorgeous. Now, Amazonite, um, I was first familiar with when I joined here at Jewelry Maker, and I absolutely loved it. Now, lots of my friends um, were asking me about this gemstone as they uh, own jewellery from a designer called Monica Veneda. And I know that Elle is a big advocate of Monica Veneda. She owns some of her jewellery, as do I. Uh, it's one of my favourite fashion houses. I love it because the gemstones they use are beautiful. And they have an extensive amount of information about Amazonite on their website. And it, I mean, there is loads of info on there and I really recommend you go and have a look. The jewellery is beautiful, but it just also shows you how much you can pay and, and who is after Amazonite in the, in the buying world. We are not the only company that is after Amazonite. Uh, and companies like Monica Veneda and like Asprey's and some of the, the uh, even if you just do a quick search online, you'll be able to see the amount of jewellers that are working with Amazonite and the prices that they command. For example, you can buy Amazonite today, charm pieces for over £80. You can buy rings for over £200 in gold. You can buy uh, a set with rose quartz and pink quartz for £235. Uh, rings, again, cocktail rings, £250, £120, necklace at uh, £100. There are so many on here. I'm just listing. Uh, just just a few of what I'm looking from one website, from one designer. One independent, £95. Now they are beautiful, they are absolutely beautiful uh, and this is why I'm so excited for you to be able to get the opportunity that you're getting here. Because let's face it, if you work in the Birmingham Jewellery Quarter, if you are a jewellery de jewelry designer or you're designing for one of these big sort of fashion houses uh, and you want to get hold of Russian Amazonite, the, the source is done, you've got to have the right context to do it. So for you at home to be able to make jewellery with gemstones that the designers are fighting over, I just think that's so exciting. And the fact that we can do it anywhere near the price that we're doing today absolutely baffles me. If you haven't already, please, 
please have a bit of a read about this gemstone because there's so much gorgeous information out there on, on the web. It's a, a great to be able to do it. But for me, it's the beauty. It doesn't matter. It's rarity. It's history. Yes, this is all a great sort of points to know about it, especially if you're making to sell, but simply the beauty of it. Those of you that also, don't get me wrong, I'm definitely one who loves reading the facts and the histories and the chemical compositions and what goes on in the ground in Russia to be able to, to create all of these natural phenomena. But I know so many of our viewers also buy gemstones for different reasons. My mum and my sister, they really follow the different uh, healing properties that gemstones are said to have. And this is one that has got such incredible meaning behind it on that avenue as well. So, have a read about it. If you already know it, which I know so many of you do, you're going to be very excited to know that we've got over 200 opportunities in this auction. We've got over 200 chances, which means we want them all to go today. We are going to have to push on the price. Uh, it, those could go in a heartbeat. Somebody buys 10, somebody buys 20, and that happens here at Jewelry Maker. We have a lot of people who, are, you know, who, who run their own businesses, making to sell and therefore they wipe out the stock of gemstones like this very, very quickly. Wanted to give you a bit of a heads up on it, and therefore we put it on pre-order. There is already loads of you, over 50 of you, have already checked out on pre-order, so congratulations, because you can sit back and enjoy the rest of the auction. For those of you that haven't, a minute until we bring the graphics live. Are you ready? Go for it. 0800 644655. Jump in on the web if you can. Now, Mel, we, we did say to you earlier on, would you be able to, uh, to have a bit of a play around with it? This, the shapes are really, really different, aren't they? They're yeah. really cool. There, yeah, I love the shapes. What is it that you've done with these? Uh, let me just snip this off. I've just been sort of playing with different... Um, so you could just have a single one on as an earring. Oh, I see, even though it's so just, just one piece. single drop. Um, I've placed one on the end of a chain. See, it could even be like your signature just, piece at the back of a chain. Yeah. How gorgeous would that um, be? I've also made this little bracelet. Oh, I love that. With spaces. Um, Imagine if that were in one of those designer stores. And that's actually Hundreds using chain as the spacer. Oh. If you don't, if you've run out of spacers, then just a little bit of chain. Nice. Works. Okay, this is where it gets exciting, but also very, very busy. Are you ready? Are you on board? Do you trust Liam? Do you trust Liam? Put it in your basket. Um, don't trust me. Trust our producer Liam because he is really confident that over 200 are going to go today. If you want a chance to be uh, ahead of the queue, because there will be queues for this, put it in your basket now. This is 70 carats, I'm not just any Amazonite, Russian Amazonite. It's gorgeous. Uh, uh, this would look beautiful with the, the Labradorite uh, head pins as well, wouldn't it? Yes. And again, really I've done it so that I've put, just put three or put one, so. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. If you manage to get any of those head pins in the last hour, definitely team them up with your Amazonite. If you love gemstones like jade, jadeite, um, if you love gems like Periva Tourmaline or Aquamarines, your blues are always going to be popular. Turquoise. It's just instantly tranquil, isn't it? This is like the colour that you see when you go on spa days and, tra uh, you know, uh, uh, advertisements for mindfulness and tranquility. It's just instantly calming, beautiful. I'm so thrilled that you love this as much as I do. The phone lines have gone crazy. And this is why, uh, this is why over 50 people have already confirmed on the web on pre-order, is because you could see this price. Now, if you have been doing your research like I have been, then you'll know that this is already a jewellery maker, very, very attractive wholesale price in my opinion. You've got 70 carats. The cut is amazing. Even if you were to put this on macrame, a couple of them on cord, unisex jewellery, make to sell, it's going to be a win-win situation. Honestly, multi-buy. Every single person who's getting involved, put two in your basket, you're not going to regret it. Put three in your basket. This is where it gets very exciting, but also very busy. Shall we do it? 
<laughs> you just heard the pricing at your mouth. Yes. Nice. Watch this. Are you ready to be amazed and astounded? Da, 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 da. This is why I've been screaming and shouting about this since midday today. This is the one, the pick of the day, and I don't think it could get any better than this. At £9.95, that is completely unmissable. Jane, Stephanie, Joy, Melita, well done. Suffolk, Jackie, uh, uh, oh, there's too many of you there to keep up with the names, they're flying off the screen. Well done, everybody. Now, it's a matter of how quick can you be and how many can you get. Get as many as you possibly can. If you've opened your order already, it's only one p and all day. Even with the bracelet that you've made there, you've still got plenty to, well, you can make, make at least two full bracelets. If you're using spaces in between, oh, the, the possibilities are endless. There's loads that you could do with this. £9.95. The phone lines have gone bananas. It doesn't surprise me. It's one of my favourite gems. It is producer Liam's all-time favourite gemstone. He loves Russian Amazonite. It's just so pretty, isn't it? It's so beautiful. The shape's really interesting as well. It's going to look gorgeous with so many of the gemstones that you've already got in your stash. And today it's all about grabbing it at the best price possible. Ruth's bought three, Stephanie's bought uh, two, Suffolk's bought two, Jane's bought two, Alison's bought two, Gwen's bought two, Lynn's bought two, Sharon's bought two, Lorraine's bought two, Debbie's bought two, Nicolette's bought two, Mary's bought two, Jay's bought three. Lindsay's bought two, massive queue on the phone line. If you can get involved on the web, that is definitely going to be your quickest and easiest way to get involved. If you haven't yet checked out, why not? We're down to 145 chances. They're going quick, they're going quick. 137, 136. Well done, Yorkshire. Well done uh, in Devon, Anna, Sandro, Hannah, Paul, Susan, Brenda, Gloria. I'm just going to go back to, uh, to the website that I was looking at and remind you of some of the, the prices that you can pay. And just also a reminder that when we're looking at Russian Amazonite, uh, I'm just reading now that it says that it is now a nature reserve. Uh, it, it, in the 21st century, restrictions on the protective nature reserve in this area, which is uh, where the mountain Line means that the mining of this gemstone is no longer allowed. Uh, it's, they said that but enough Amazonite has been extracted from the historically high quality deposits that there is an established amount, unrivaled reputation amongst collectors and admirers alike. So there is Amazonite out there, I'm not saying that, but it's finite, isn't it? There's a limited supply. It's like anything when you say, right, actually production's been stopped. Of course, you've got to get it while you can, especially Russian material. It's only a matter of time before, in my, from my experience, that this goes up in price. There is no way that we're going to be able to replace this at 9.95. Not when we're competing with the likes of Monica Veneda uh, and uh, some of the biggest designers out there. I'm just looking. They, of course, they're wanting as well. We're going to be outbid. We've got Monica Veneda, Ashley Clark. Uh, we've got. Um, I'm just having a look. There's big designers all selling for hundreds. All selling for hundreds. It's really worth just doing a really quick search online to see who is using it, how much it's selling for, and not going by our prices. Especially if you make to sell. It's really important that you do not take into consideration what you pay for it because 995 has no reflection of value or worth. No reflection. Get your authenticity certificate, it's an extra 25p, or you can print it off online for free, and it will state that this is 100% natural. How exciting is that? We're down to, uh, well, we're weighing down to less than 70 chances now. We started with over 200. So what else would you, um, I mean, this would look lovely crocheted with, actually, as well, wouldn't it? You could crochet with it, yeah. That would look so gorgeous. <laughs> I'm thinking of lot, I mean, at that sort of price point, you could afford to be quite um, adventurous and having a go at new techniques with it. Yes. Yeah, definitely. What's the drill hole size like? Um, well, you can easily make a stretchy. Nice. <laughs> Brilliant. So, um, Get your elastic through. Yeah. So. Oh, those of you that are new to jewellery making, trust me on this one, go for it. If you've never bought from us before, remember with your first purchase, you've got a 60 day money back guarantee. You've got your new buyer offer. Uh, which is two gemstone strands and get started DVD for absolutely free if you're a new customer with us. You've got 60 day money back guarantee and we're less 
than £10. Try it out. Get yourself some elastic, maybe the, uh, the, the, the threading essential pack. But So how, how is it that you've used the chain between the, the pieces there? Oh. Um, I've just literally, I've actually used the cord that it's come on. Oh. So the bracelet's been made. Um, yeah. There you go. Yeah, we use so the cord. So what I had to do was put a little bit of nail polish or a bit of glue just to stiffen the end. Mm -hmm. And then I've just threaded it through, crimped it and put a clasp on. But Amazing. yeah, so that's the... There's so many of you there. How are we doing on stock? 40 left. We've got loads of you that have got these in your basket. If you haven't yet checked out, Karen, Lisa, Angela, Zara, Yorkshire, Brenda, Gloria, and Jean, Caroline, Caroline sorry, uh, Angela, North Yorkshire, Tyne and Wemmouth, Tidville, Yorkshire, West Midlands, Essex, check out as soon as you can because we've got 36 chances remaining. Jeffrey's just put two in his basket, well done. Judith's done the same, got two. Rita's got three. Uh, we've got Samantha getting three. If you've already paid your postage and packaging, I absolutely recommend coming back through and multi-buying. How's the queues, Liam? Cues are great. Thank you so much for your uh, for your understanding and getting on the web or on the app. That is definitely going to be the quickest and easiest way of securing it. The customer service team, of course, is social distancing, so there's not as many people in the team, but it's still time to get involved. Hello, Christine in Devon. Mel, how do you shape your hoop earrings so nicely? These ones are actually ones that are purchased, but uh, they're like ones that, that are from ones. the kits, right. sorry, um, from the finding packs. But I would um, either use the memory ring wire or um, use your ring mandrel. Nice. So, and so if you just, yeah, take a ring mandrel on the larger setting. You know the pearl kit that you had earlier on, Liam? That had your earring findings in and they were rose gold, sterling silver and they would look beautiful. I'll show you in a second. So, yeah, it will just be a case of winding your um, wire round. What I would do is I'd be inclined to hammer it. Yeah, and that would just work hard on it. Um, and then that will help keep its shape. But then just snip off and then using either bail making pliers or your normal pliers just pop your loop in there you and go. then snip it down to whichever height and that then gives you your and that's not badly shaped no, at all that's fantastic and like you say which uh, camera do will hold it shape really nice shows you how much I mean you're saving you're saving when you're looking at just getting a reel of wire or your basic threading pack for £9.95 yeah Amazon I look they're the uh, the findings that I was talking about so in the the pearl kit that Liam had earlier on it would look beautiful with the rose gold it would look beautiful with all of your your colour silvers so uh, definitely have a look at that it's on the website if you do want those Perfect, gorgeous saving findings. I'm so excited for you to get that home. Let us know what you make with them. Send in your photos to the Wall of Fame. We're looking forward to seeing those. Uh, we really are. We've got a few more Amazonites. <laughs> no pressure, Liam. You've just absolutely smashed the price on that. So, <gasps> look at the size of these. Oh my word. They're so lovely and cool. They're really nice against the skin. So you've got 420 carats of Amazonite here. They're faceted pairs. So can you see, you've got almost like that checkerboard, great... Um... No, don't do it. Sorry. You just stopped me in my tracks there, Liam. Are you kidding? Okay, these are massive. He's matched the price. He's matched the price. It's the first six of you in to get it. Six chances to get it. And if you watched uh, the demo from earlier, uh, or saw the kit from earlier on, these would look really beautiful the same way that you've done your big rough quartz. Yeah, would definitely. look lovely. Definitely. Morag, mean... Julie, and Channel Islands at the moment, you're in prime position. 420 carats. Julie's definitely taken one home. Well done. Gabby, you're there as well. It's the fastest six people to confirm, and we've got way over six people who've got it in their basket. It's about to sell out. Alison, Brenda, Susan, Gabby, Cambridgeshire. Okay, let's do. 
The only Russian Amazon that we have in cabochons. <gasps> These are awesome. How do you set cabochons, Mel? What's your choice of setting? Um, I normally do the netting around the edge. Um, sometimes it's quite nice to do a slightly um, thicker um, set of uh, weaving and then manipulate that round to hold the cabochons in, but yeah. Um, and obviously, depending on the size, you can problem set them. Nice. So. They're beautiful. Look at the colours on these. 90 carats. Oh. So, you're definitely going to get 90 carats. It'll be an assortment of four different stones, so you might get different shapes than what you can see here. Oh. And obviously, you see different patterns, but gosh, aren't they amazing? They would be fantastic if you use this strand and rosary linked it. What strand are you looking at? Oh, the, our strand, this strand. Yeah. Our Amazonite rosary yeah, link. Yeah, rosary link that to, oh, um, gorgeous. and then have that as a pendant hanging. Oh yes, that would look gorgeous. How many of these cabochons have we got, Liam? Three. Three. It is last of stock. We don't have hundreds of these. They are finite, especially these larger sizes. Good luck. If you've got it in your basket on the web, there's now, I think, one left. That's it. Speak to the team. Oh. Um, okay, this is going to be on and gone. Look at the colour. This is Peruvian Amazonite. Look at the colour on this. Can you peruve it? Yep, you can with certificate of authenticity. 38 centimetre strand. They're 10 millimetre round. Wow, 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 are we were. They are really nice. And I tell you what, still use these in between them, space them out. That would look amazing. £17.95, can you tell? I'm so excited about this. So excited. I love the fact that you feel our energy and you know our passion for this gemstone. Uh, we're really limited on this. If you've got it in your basket, there's more than enough of you with it in your basket to see the sellout. It is going to be the first people to confirm on the web by the looks of things, or if you get through on the phone line, best of luck. 240 carats, Peruvian Amazonite. 10 millimetre rounds, get them home 1 PMP, you can still multi buy on these. Yeah, I think they're potentially about to sell out. Yesterday we saw with Linda the Evil Eye, how to put it together. So basically, you've got your 8 millimetre, you have your bit of wire which goes through your Amazonite like that. It also goes through, oh in fact actually, so you put your Amazonite in with your eye and thread it all through with the wire. So you thread it all, you've got your drill hole, put it all the way through, then I know this is going to feel strange but you chop your chain dead centre and then you make little links each side of your wire and then you make a beautiful necklace really quickly. It took Linda about a minute, probably even less than 60 seconds to do it yesterday. So it's a really great quick make and it's all sterling silver and it's all very sort of symbolic, isn't it, with your evil eye. We love that. Includes your chain for 11 95 How does it include the chain as well? That's crazy pricing. You also do get the little bit of wire that you need to go through your Amazon eye and your eye. Um, we saw over 124 go, 125. <laughs> when it launched, we saw 125 go. Today, we've got the last 12, and I want to show you as well. Can you see this gorgeous um, depth? It's a lot of sterling silver. You can actually use any 8mm round in there. Hi, team, I've got this. It's simple and gorgeous. I love it. That's Jenny. Isn't it great, Jenny? And it's really quick and easy to put together, isn't it? I love that, nice gift idea for somebody. Angela, Mary, Samantha and Susan, well done. Leather 95. Uh, we've got sterling silver now and it's got an Amazonite through the center and a little star. Very weighty on sterling silver, Liam. A lot of sterling silver here. They're great connectors. This is something very regal actually, isn't it? And look at your solid sterling silver, sorry, very fingerprinty. Eighteen by twenty-three. Oval connector. How is it already half past five? We've got so much to do. Fourteen ninety-five. 
In fact, nah, let's go lower. Let's go lower. Oh, you've lost them. You've lost them in your ear. Yeah. Eight pounds ninety-five. Solid sterling silver. Gorgeous Amazonite. Eight pounds ninety-five. Hello, Angela. Hello, Deirdre. Belfast, you're there. Uh, I just think the amount of silver that you're getting is that how much silver have you got there, Liam? A lot of silver. Less than nine pounds. Hello, Deirdre. Hello, Samantha. You've got really lovely detail as well with that northern star peg in the centre. Under nine pounds. Keep going through. If you've not yet checked out, at the moment there is still time, I think. Yeah, Debbie, you can still get it. Good luck. Right, these are lovely long. Right, these are extra long head pins. So when would you use the longer head pins, Mel? Um, either on a larger gemstone or what you can do if you're using a small gemstone. When you've, say, done a wrap loop, the excess you've cut off, you can then use that to do a rosary link with the small gemstone mm -hmm. as well. So nice. you don't end up wasting anything. Brilliant, brilliant. You also could fit probably loads. I mean, if you're just stacking up loads of your Amazonites onto there, you can sort of load loads already on there, couldn't you? This is 95 sterling silver. Gold plated as well. So please do not throw any of this away. Get yourself like a little tub and if you are trimming any down, keep hold of it because you could always um, use it with your, um, well you can make like you say little findings can't you? Yeah, yeah. And if not then um, as I say always keep your sterling silver because you can melt it down as well. Um, so and also you can obviously collect it and weigh it in. Brilliant. And get money back on it. So. Yeah, definitely do not. It's precious metal, so do yeah. make sure you make the most of it. Fifteen ninety five, and you're getting twenty of these really lovely extra long hen pins. Uh, I like the detail on the end. If you're doing bubble bracelets or you know larger style gemstones, not only if you have got a gemstone with a larger drill hole, it's not going to fall off the end, but also it's nice detail with the ball, isn't it? Fifteen ninety five. I'm leaving you with loads of you have got it in your, in your basket. Please just remember, even if Liam takes the graphics out, it doesn't mean you've missed out. We're just trying to fit in as much as we can onto the live show. So it's definitely worth checking out, checking with the customer service team and seeing what's available. Now, if you are going to turn these into pendants or earrings, if you've got lots of ideas to go with your Amazonite, then you're going to need some jump rings potentially. Not only for, of course, um, functionality, not only for, you know, essential jewellery making projects, but also I really like them when you use them as spacers. Yes. I think jump yeah. rings always look lovely, the just space between them. Brilliant in, as I say, like with your um, bracelets, um, especially with your stretchy, um, to place those, as you say, in between the um, gemstones as spacers are brilliant. You're doing a chainmail masterclass as well, aren't you? So Next week, Woo! yes. Yeah, I haven't done chain mail for a while, so very excited. Very nice. Uh, Pieces look lovely, Liam's thank saying. You. He's seen your pictures. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, you've seen the real thing, Liam. Oh, nice. Yeah, they're really lovely. So there you go. That's what you can do with some jump rings. £10.95. Five millimetre in a diameter. They're all saw cut as well, aren't they? Yes, you definitely want saw cut because um, that way you can really hide the uh, join when you close them. Just £10.95 for 925 Solid sterling silver. Gold plating as well. Oh. Less than £11 for all of those 30 jump rings. Great for your stash, good stash builders. Do you want a chain? Our prices on chains are ridiculous. I, 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 I soon realised when I first joined Jewelry Maker that the prices on sterling silver were pretty bonkers. Um, but when you're looking at chains, 
Please have a look elsewhere how much you can pay for a cable chain, sterling silver, gold plated, 20 inch length chain. So Liam was trying to do a bit of shopping uh, for his mum's 50th birthday present. Yeah. Elsewhere, for a sterling silver chain, he was looking at 19.95. If it had gold plating, it was an extra 20 pounds to be gold plated. So you were looking at 40 pounds for a, a chain similar to this. Of course, this is why he's like, this is why I got the chance to get a jewelry maker for less than six pounds. He's only doing it for everybody who, you know, anyone who didn't know we're here has found us recently. If you've been out there and you've been the person that pays £40 for a sterling silver gold plated chain, you do it for £6 here. Well done, Angela. Most people, in fact, virtually everybody who's bought so far has bought two. Well done. That is the way to play. Remember, um, only one postage and packaging all day long. I used to always, I have lots of pendants and I used to sort of, change between chains whereas now absolutely you can have a chain for every single pendant you own at these sort of prices or if you're gifting something or you've made something a really nice wire work pendant it's nice to be able to present it nicely on a chain especially less than six pounds I've also got some silver head pins. They're the extra long head pins with the big ball as well on the end so your gemstones aren't going to slide off the end they are 95 sterling silver. Are these 40 millimetres? If you think about it from end to tip or tip to tip to tip, 75 millimetres. If you were to put them all lined up next to each other, end to end, 20 pieces in a row, that's a lot of wire, isn't it? If you go on a very famous website um, where you can get jewellery supplies, they've got a pack of 75mm head pins just like this. £15, over £15 in fact. Where are you reading these? £12.95, there you go. Very, very competitive, and look at them in action. Well, they're eye pins, but very similarly on the uh, the right hand side, you can see what they'll look like with the ball on the end. They look so beautiful. Ninety-five sterling silver, twenty of your ball head pins, and they're zero point six gauge, so they'll go through most of your gemstones. They'll go through rounds and nights. I would yes, say. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Ben's filling us with lots of laughter, by the way. He's giving us lots of jokes. He's literally like reading a cheesy joke book to us. Are you reciting these, or are you, these just from your head? He carries a little book around of jokes. Dear read me. £12.95. Well done, everybody, Nicolette. You can still get those. Keep going through. I've got the jump rings. Starting to sell with jump rings next. Oh, these are big jump rings, actually. So if you're using larger gemstones, then these will, it's nice to sort of match in with the size that you're using, isn't it? Obviously they're great functionality, but also lovely aesthetics. And they're 95 sterling silver. So if you are making to sell now, if you, uh, stating that you're using, you, you know, you're doing sterling silver jewellery, all of your elements need to be sterling silver, yes. don't they? Yes, yeah, everything has to be. Um, even down to the crimps, even if you're putting a crimp cover on, right. you still need to use a sterling silver crimp. Here you can make gorgeous sterling silver chainmail jewellery or beautiful jewellery. It means, remember you can sell your jewellery for it, it's a lot more desired isn't yes. it when it's a precious yeah, metal. You, you can definitely up the price if everything's sterling silver. Mm. How about for 50 jump rings under £20, a lot lower in fact. Fourteen ninety-five. Fourteen ninety-five. I mean, with those jump rings, you could make um, some lovely just Mobius rings. Oh, right, okay. And so you only need, say, three, um, and put that on a sterling silver shepherd hook, and you've got a pair of earrings. Absolutely. So, yeah. 
Oh, you can make such gorgeous jewellery just, just using jump rings. Do make sure you join Mel for her chain mail show next Tuesday. What time is that? Is it in the afternoon? Yes. One o'clock. Oh, it's yeah. Masterclass at one yeah, o'clock, so you're going to get a nice lengthy demo. First ever Masterclass. <gasps> Oh, it's going to be fab. It's going to be exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to it. The chain to go with these. I have a sterling silver chain as well, which is going to be very popular. See, this you could just wear literally on its own. You could just wear it as a necklace on its own. Right. Do you want a sterling silver Steve Bennett price? This was a Steve super saver. This was me, you and Steve. It was all of us, in fact. The Bens were here as well. I remember it well. He went lower than what uh, Liam suggested. He went a lot lower, in fact. He did a, a really special PR prize. It was when... Um, Steve came on just as the sort of lockdown started. He came in to do some cheer us up prices, didn't he? My word, it was brilliant. 20 inch shape chain for a fiver. Five pound on the nose. How amazing is that? Oh, right, now, whilst everybody's checking out, should we have a look at what Mel's been making? Do check out on this, so that is so crazy low. Just a simple necklace. Uh... Oh, nice. It's a little wonky, but yeah. If you haven't got hold of the Amazonite already, it's at the bottom of the screen there. That is beautiful. How, what is it that you've used the chain then from the findings? Yeah, I've used the chain and just a little bit of wire, put three loops in and then hung the chain from the loops. Um, so again, you can make as many, you could do loops all the way up if you wanted and just hang it. Oh. Um, but that obviously in the time it's quicker just to do three. Oh, it looks <laughs> so gorgeous, you can see it? the effect you can get. Oh, it looks so beautiful. I do love that Amazonite. Do make sure you check out it's 9.95. Brilliant. Barbara's bought four, Angela's bought three. If you've bought something already, absolute no-brainer for five pounds. If you are a new buyer, add it to your order. If you've never bought from us before, call the customer service team. They'll help you set up an account. It's free to do so. Or alternatively, get on the web. It's so quick and easy to do it. And it means you can get a solid sterling silver chain, whether you're keeping it for yourself or you're gifting. Uh, you get a 60 day money back guarantee. So it's a great time to try us out. Most people in this auction, well, everybody's multi-bought. Sharon's bought two. Barbara's bought four. Angela's bought three. Uh, Jennifer's bought six. Teresa's bought two. Charlotte's bought two. Collector and Kent's bought two. Amanda and Essex bought three, Collection Suffolk's bought three, uh, Lancashire's bought two, everybody multiplying on this one, well done. At the moment, we've got quite a few of you that still need to check out every basket. Be careful though, it's extremely limited. At the moment, you're all okay if everybody checks out, you've all got one. We've only been allocated at 100 to this show, and I don't know when this price point will, you know, we, we'll, we will get told that the price has to go up because it's completely irreplaceable at that price. It, it's got to be. I mean, I know that Mark Smith charges £5 just for his silver clasps, doesn't he? We're yeah. so low. Well, no, Jackie, Christine, Sally-Ann, Alison, Kent, Jane, check out as soon as you can. Right, I'm going to jump back to... Oh, there's loads of you there. Keep going through. I'm selling silver head pins. This one, jump rings. <laughs> and you want me to what? Put it on the end of my finger. Which finger? Is that my pointy one? It won't, it, it, it won't fit on my finger. I'll tell you the millimetre diameters, it's five millimetre, isn't it? It's five millimetre in, in a, a diameter. It? So five it's seven millimetre outer. Right. Right, if I put it on the end of my little finger. Thank you. Absolutely, message in, let me know if you've got any requests, it's fine. Okay. Let's do the cries phrase. Uh, the little microfaceted ones, they're lovely, aren't they? 
Oh, they would go perfectly with the Amazonite. There's only 23 of them. In fact, let me put it next to it because if you want to use these as spaces, it's going to make your Amazonite go even further. Perfectly, absolutely perfectly. 10 carats of chrysophase. Right. So these are all microfaceted, two millimetre, beautiful rounds. And, and to say that even in the more delicate size, they really pack a punch in terms of colour, don't they? Wow! <laughs> Such a I absolutely have those with the Amazonites. Fresh spring colour, aren't they, the green? They look like jade, don't they? Jade-eye colours. Look at it next to the Amazonite again. Nice. You could do lovely little band rings. You could do stacker rings. You could put it on memory wire. Do sort of uh, charms on them. It'd be nice little anklets. Less than thirteen pounds for ten carats. Microfaceted, beautiful chrysophase. One of my favourite gemstones. It really is. Well done, Gwen. I've got lapis. Can we do this? Because these, oops, because these shapes are lovely. Are they like a uh, fancy? Calling them fancy shapes. What would we do with this shape, Mel? Putting you on the spot here. Nope. But have you worked with this shape before? I can't see it. You might see on the screen. There we go. Um, well, I mean, you, I would probably do a pair of earrings with them because it's quite fun to have slightly irregular shapes anyway. Um, one on a piece of leather cord, I think definitely. Um, but maybe some wire work with them. They're just mm. really different. Or you could just restrand them as they are. Yeah, that makes And make have them a as a, a statement necklace. I can't help but think of like Cleopatra style. I always think of, you know, eight, ancient, uh, well, even if you think it's one of the biggest icons across the decades, L Lapis has got such great history in art and, uh, and, and fashion. It's just so famous to be able to own these sizes. They're not slithers by any means. They're at real big slabs for £9.95. 90 carats of Lapis Lazuli, graduated plain, fancy shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've got eight Eight individual pieces of jewellery, you can make statement pieces of jewellery. £9.95. It's so busy today, by the way. It's been really, really busy all day long. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you for your company. Um, and well done on anything that you've got. The deals have been extraordinary today. All day, they've been amazing. Uh, we've still got chance to buy the uh, Amazonite, by the way. There are still availability on that. At the moment, you can still make the most of it. It's beautiful. In fact, I'll recap it before the end of the show. Uh, right, let's have a look at some cubes. Is this a bundle? Double trouble. So, I've got gold sheen obsidian, which is awesome because you get this really sort of mystical uh, dark it's not it's more like smoky quartz with like a gold shimmer it's really cool look at that oh. oh they are amazing so you've got a completely well both of them are completely natural in fact but this is your gold sheen obsidian and then you've also got your fossilized coral in cubes that's a nice unisex strand actually isn't it these would be great for stretches i did a bubble style bracelet with the cubes just recently. Oh, I've not seen the cubes bubble star. Oh, look nice. it looks fantastic, yeah. <gasps> Gorgeous. Uh, they work really well together as well, don't they? They're two gemstones that I don't think I've ever really seen before individually. 1995, 65 carats. Okay, we've got Wayno back, eagerly awaiting in the wings. We've got to show off, haven't we? Let's show him how we roll on the mid-show. £9.95 for both of these. That is so good. They're both 100% natural. 65 carats of gold sheen obsidian and fossilised coral. Really cool shapes. See, so what shape is the, um, the gold sheen obsidian? They're like, what shape are they? Are they cubes as well? They're faceted cubes, so they look slightly different. They're really uh, sparkly. You can see them just catching the light there. That gold sheen looks awesome. 
Two 18 centimetre strands for just 9 95 Kathy, Hilda, Susan, Suffolk, Mary, Greater London. I've seen lots of names repeated throughout the day today. A lot of people coming in and taking advantage of one pin pig. That's the way to do it. Especially with these really lovely organic -y gemstones. So pretty. 65 carats of gold sheen obsidian for less than a turner. That's a brilliant price, isn't it? Honestly, everything we've taken under ten pounds has absolutely flown out today. I'm not surprised. Right, did you say number thirteen? These are really open in colour. What are they? What's your guess? Ah, oh, do you know what? I wouldn't have guessed garnet. I was thinking, um, I suppose garnet. You don't normally get this sort of magenta, a really open colour. Normally it can be very, very dark. Bearing in mind, I'm, I'm putting it next to a, a, a black board, in fact. Let me move that out of the way. And look at it. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? 38 carats of Tanzanian purple garnet. Graduated plain, fancy shapes. Should be priced. 99 pounds and 95 pence for 38 carats. I tell you what, Liam is outrageous, isn't he? Can't control him. <laughs> if he were to have a song to go along with him, it would be your theme tune. No, it would be um, Can't Be Tamed, Miley Cyrus. You remind me a bit of her, actually. Crazy, crazy, crazy. £17.95 for 38 carats. You can't be tamed, can you, Liam? Oh, we've got so much coming up, by the way, tonight. Is it going to be clearance? Claire McDonald's here. <laughs> it's, it's Thursday. It's Thursday, beginners yeah, tonight. Beginners. Oh, brilliant. We've got kits. Seven kits. Anybody who you know um, who's never done jewellery making before, tell them to tune in this, tonight between six and eight. Claire's going to be here to give her lots of beginner kits. We've got quick kits as low as 12 95 so it's definitely worth getting uh, on the phone to any of your friends and family, anyone who's already said, always said to you, oh, I'd love to have a go at jewelry making and never done it. Have a go tonight. Have a go. Um, right, I've also got... Can we do... Yeah, that's what I was going to go to. I really like these shapes. They're almost like briolette cuts. They're stunning. Centre drill drops, 84 carats. Oh, they are beautiful. Oh, they're pretty. Aren't they? 84 carats. Oh, amethyst are £24.95. And they're like your beautiful Rose de France amethyst, aren't they? The pink amethyst from Brazil. Every single one of them perfectly matched for colour and clarity. Less than £25. Bearing in mind, you've got graduation of size, consistency of colour, under £25. That is a long strand. It says 30 centimetres. It feels longer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 30, 34 of them for less than £25. They're absolutely rose to France. They're really pretty. Such They're almost like kunzites, aren't they? Sorry, I was going to say on. such quick, easy makes with those, you know. Just on a head pin. Just, yeah, straight head pin, and then you've got amazing pair of earrings. Any of the head pins that you saw earlier on, actually, with the gemstones, would look beautiful with those. Mm. Really beautiful. Oh, labradorite. When you're looking at labradorite in these sort of shapes, you really get to see the characteristics of why it's so famous and so popular. Look at the Schiller. It's just such a great gem with personality, isn't it? Every single one of them, it's got its own. Look at that one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 66 carats. That one's awesome. They're all amazing. When you get these outside, you're going to see this gemstone come to life when you experience this gemstone. For me, this is an experienced gemstone. 66 carats. 9 95 
9 pounds, 9 to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 of them. I think this is the first time I've seen olive shape, faceted olives. Oh, Ben, you ready? I love this one, olive, no, I messed it up. Just trying to say olive shape, I love this shape. No. Oh, Ben's got his head in his hands. He's literally got the worst poker face in the world. Can't you just try and like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's hating it. 9, 9 to 5. And um, wait, what did you think about Mine and Uncle Wolf's duet? Look, that was a sincere... A sincere view. Thank you. Have you seen it? Have you yes, seen it, Mel? Yes, I have. Go on, honest opinion. I, I thought it was amazing. Oh. Oh, thank you. Do you yeah. I'm a mixed opinion, to see. So, I, and I, I do like, I take on constructive criticism. Uh, you've brought it up a lot of times. I've brought it up a like lot. It. Because I, I, I know I'm a bit sensitive. Oh, I'm not asking for compliments. Okay, lava kites. Oh, these are massive lava kites. The 16 millimeter rounds, which is one of the biggest sizes that we have. 730 carats. They are whoppers. Ooh, I like these because you could make, you know the, the sort of, the, the jewellery that you've made earlier on with the quartz mail? I think this would work really well. Yes. Similarly yeah. as you have done with the rough diamond kit. Yeah, they're certainly lovely chunky size, aren't they? Oh, nice, yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of those with the, um, done like the tassel one with yeah. the, with the chain. Would Perfect. Work. Just nine pounds ninety-five for a massive carrot weight of lava kite. Seven hundred and thirty carats of lava kite. Can't go wrong. Don't forget, by the way, there's still a chance to get the Amazonite. There's still a chance to get the Amazonite. Don't forget to. Uh, we'll mention that. We'll show the graphics just before we uh, we swap over. These are lovely shapes. How cool are these? Quite medieval, a bit Game of Thronesy. What are they called? They're called fancy shapes. Look, I like how they sort of stand up. They've got a square base, so they stand up nicely. You could do like some sort of crown, I'm thinking. Or wire wrap. What would you call them? What would you call them then? Come on. Fancy drops. Pointy fancy drops. Would you call them sparkle and shine? <laughs> Oh, I'm just designing away here. I don't know. There's loads you can do with it. Okay, those of you that missed this earlier on at five o'clock today, we did the deal of all deals. And no pressure, Wayne, but this was the best deal of the whole day. Whole oh, day. It was amazing. Those of you that managed to get it, well done. If you haven't, you've still got a chance. 70 carats of Russian natural Amazonite. There's 50 of you that have got this in your basket. <laughs> Can you believe that went to 9.95? Can you actually believe that went to 9.95? Because I can't. Mel, thank you so much for today. My it's been pleasure. Lovely. Look, you're it's just lovely. busy making, aren't I you? I know. <laughs> can't, can't stop. stop. <laughs> thank you so much. We see you on Tuesday with a uh, yes. Your with the chain mail. Good luck on that. Thank it's gonna be you. Brilliant. <laughs> Those of you that want to uh, see a masterclass on chain mail, join mail next Tuesday. Don't go anywhere though, begin to stay where you are because you've got lovely Claire McDonald with Zena uh, taking over onto the late show. I will see you next week. Jewelry Maker News with me, Jenny Cleary. Breaking news just in. On Friday and Sunday, Claire McDonald takes over your TV screens, causing a ripple amongst the other guest designers. A source says Dremel drilling is back. There's rumours on camp of excessive amounts of pearls, as well as new pegs and Town Talk Pearl Care products. We have asked Alison Terry how she feels about this, and she's declined to comment. A source also says Alison Terry will have her day in court. On Sunday, the Amber Showcase launches from 10 a.m. featuring a brand new pendant not to be missed, as well as 
Grand Didierite. Our source, Bruce, is here to tell us more. Bruce, can you hear us? Has anyone, has anyone seen my glasses? Bit of a problem there with Bruce, I think. Thank you ever so much. Anyhow, Bruce. Uh, now, here talking to us about Grand Didierite and his love and thoughts on the gemstone is Michael Wolf, our outside the jewelry maker building correspondent. So, uh, Michael, what are your thoughts? What are my thoughts on Grand Didierite? <laughs> They're my thoughts. Get out of my head! Thank you very much, uh, Michael Wolf, for Jewelry Maker there. So, Jewelry Makers, please make sure you join us this weekend. We have got a jam packed weekend full of fun. Claire McDonald, Amber, Tools, Grand Didierite. It's not to be missed. We'll see you there, Jewelry Maker. Same place, same time. Stay crafty, Jewelry Makers. They're here. I'm very, very, very proud to introduce you to my brand new, designed by me, Czech glass bead. This is the Bobby. And I'll be introducing you to the Bobby on the morning show of July the 28th, where it's gonna be, it's gonna be poignant because um, I've mentioned before on the show that uh, the Bobby Bead is named after my late father. And uh, so the whole morning show will, will be all about him. And um, we've got 15 colors, two of which have never been seen before. I'm going to introduce you to the new shape, the new style. We've got a double disc DVD, which we're going to be launching on the show as well. And my partner in crime, Zena, will also be joining me on the show. So that's July the 28th, the morning show, 9 a.m., a brand new launch of the world exclusive to jewelry maker, Bobby Bead. Really hope you can join us. See you then. Hi, jewelry makers. My name is Mark. I'm the managing director of Jewelry Maker. When we took over Jewelry Maker earlier this year, I was absolutely blown away by the incredible talent that was coming through on our Wall of Fame competition. And this is taking Wall of Fame to a whole new level. From the 1st of July, every quarter, Steve and myself are going to have a look at all of the entries on Wall of Fame, and we are going to choose the most exceptional piece and put that into production. What we will do is we will produce those pieces and if you are chosen as the winner, you will get free of charge 10 of those pieces sent through for you as a congratulations for you being that quarter's winner. I cannot wait to see the fantastic inspiration that comes in from our customers and at the end of September I'll be live on your screens announcing the winner. So please get your entries into the email address below and I will update you at a later time as to what day that will be and I look forward to seeing you all then. Thank you very much. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Firstly, a qualified gemologist cleans, weighs and measures the gemstone through a loop. Secondly, the gemstone is inspected under a refractometer, discovering the true refractive index to precisely determine the mineral structure, therefore revealing the gemstone's authenticity. At this time, if further testing is needed, a polariscope accurately distinguishes any pleochroism in the gemstone, narrowing the category even more. The gemstone is then studied under a microscope to discover any inclusions or treatments the gemstone may have had. And finally, colour change gemstones such as Zarite or Alexandrite are checked under both incandescent and daylight lamps to confirm the gemstone's colour change potential. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. 
Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewellery making journey. Get started with Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm. Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewellery making journey. Get started with Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm. Mining gemstones is a really expensive business. You've got the salaries of the miners, you've got the food and accommodation of the miners, certainly when they live on site. You've got the fuel, now the fuel is probably the single biggest cost. The fuel, because you don't get electricity out here, so uh, generators provide all of the electricity, but the fuel of the diggers and the excavating machines and so on runs into hundreds of thousands of pounds each month. And for a mining company, it's really important to keep control of those costs, because if you can keep control of the costs, you can keep the price of your gemstones as low as you possibly can. Uh, and one of the ways of controlling the cost is to make sure we're digging in the right places. So a lot of money and time and effort is spent in trying to analyze uh, with geologists and gemologists exactly where the most likely chance is of finding the emerald. And if we do that, if we can pinpoint with quite good accuracy, then we don't have to move as much earth to actually get to the valuable gemstones. So sorry, we've just had a bit of a trauma, haven't we? We just oh had a bit dear. of a, we just had a bit of a, and now this has stopped working. Oh God, it's all come out. It's all we've just. Just before, that timing was incredible. Just wasn't before it? we went live, sorry team. Just before we went live, I dropped so many things, and um, <laughs> and everybody, and Claire had a fit of the giggles because <laughs> I literally went. Oh, so we were sat here already, and you're live in five. Oh, but then you're like, oh no. So I'm so sorry. Hello. I tell you what, though, we've got Claire of the McDonald's Farm oh, is in it's the studio. To be here. It's really lovely to be here for the hour. And she said, Oh, do you want to just. My phone as well, honestly. Oh, is your phone going? Yeah. Let's answer it. Oh. Who is it? No. Hang on a minute. I'm so sorry. It's what a great way to start. <laughs> oh, oh, apparently it's almost me time. Oh. Me oh. time? Yeah, What's me time? He just went, it's, it, mm. Me it. time. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so then, what we do once a week, it's not normally this unprofessional, what we do once a week at, uh, on a Thursday at 6pm is we want to embrace any of our new customers. Now, obviously, all of, all of our, obviously, loyal customers, you're still welcome to buy any of these kits, of course, but what we're doing is, we know that every day we get new customers, which is wonderful, because obviously we all want you to make jewellery, we want you all to make jewellery, we want you to get into it. A lot of people have been getting into it during lockdown. Uh, we've got Stephen Gray from London, he's been making for the last few months and really enjoying himself. Um, and so what happened as well recently is we kick-started, because we always have workshops here at uh, Ivy House uh, here in Warwickshire, but we've not been able to do that because of social distancing. So and a lot of people can't get to us because of travel problems or, or distance or money or whatever. So we launched online workshops a couple of weeks ago. Now last Friday I went into a workshop, uh, I went into a... Um, I went into our, uh, one of our offices where Claire McDonald here was doing an online workshop via Zoom. And it was so lovely because you had so many customers that had never been oh, able to come was, to a workshop. Yeah, it was wonderful. It was wonderful for, um, yeah, so distance wise, so just some people can um, get here. Uh, disability, you know, any, anything yeah, like that. Lots it was of just so many things. Yes. Yeah. And, and everyone was sat there and the, loads of the ladies had got um, their pets around. Yeah. Because that's a factor as well. You yeah. know, if you've got, your, if you've got yeah. dogs as well that don't like to be left alone, exactly. so the dogs were involved. Yeah. Or kids or grandchildren, yeah. Yeah. all it sorts was, of It was wonderful. It was so yeah. good. So we all came in and, and said hello 
for everybody. And, it was, and, and also for us, it's great because we, we get to see, we know, see, we get to see where you live. So it's like, ooh, right, right, no. And it was such a lovely atmosphere. It was, it was, it was the, uh, honestly, it was the, just, yeah, a you brilliant, loved it, didn't brilliant, you? yeah, I yeah. really did from start to finish. So I was thinking, you know, it's, four hours is like quite a lot of, uh, you know, to sort of like keep people, um, their attention and yeah. keep them entertained and for yeah, them yeah. to have, you know, a, a good time. And it just, yeah. it just flowed. It, did. it just, it, it did. was brilliant. It was lovely. And the thing is, the very next day, or, or a day or two later, whatever it was, um, we had Wall of Fame entries. We had two of your little oh, bubble, bubble wonderful. pendants yes. and bracelets yeah. and things. Yeah. yeah. So now, last time I was on with Claire a couple of weeks ago, uh, Claire kickstarted this new uh, this new back to whether we want to call, I don't want to call it back to basics because I don't think we want to think well I'm just basic. So I think we should go with the old Julie Andrews song of, of the sound of music and let's start at the very beginning because it is a very good place to start. It's a key song, isn't it? And this is the thing: we all have to start somewhere, don't we? So Claire, last time, taught us how to put on crimps and crimp covers, open a jump ring, close a jump ring, the real basics. It was brilliant. So we're going to take it a step further this time and talk about simple loops and wrap loops. Because again, if you want to connect to something, the chances are you need a simple loop or a wrap loop or a jump ring. And we've done yes. jump rings. Yeah. So you're going to take it a next step further, yep. aren't you? Yeah, definitely. So what we're going to do is now this... Jewelry maker beginners kit is open to everybody, not just our new customers. But remember, our new customers, if you place your very first order with us today, you will get what you ordered, plus you will get a Get Started DVD, which has our very own Claire McDonald on that DVD, so you get the best of both worlds, and two extra genuine gemstones strands free of charge with your first order. And you only pay your person packaging once. All right? So... We've called it the beginner's jewellery making, um, but again, this is about the findings pack, the threading pack, and five strands of gemstones, okay? So, first of all, let me start, and these are the super length strands. An average length strand on jewellery maker is 38 centimetres. If you're lucky, these are way longer. So, we're going to start with all genuine gemstones, blue lace agate. I'm just going to check what length we're talking about here on the blue lace agate. 84 centimetres. In fact, they are all 84 centimetres apart from the appetite, which is... Now, this is your normal length strand, so let me just prove this to you. They're stunning, aren't they? I'll just, I want to show you if I can... Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. So, that's your average length, 38 centimetres. These are the lengths of the other four strands, doubled over, look. Okay, so substantially longer. So, blue lace agate, one of the rarer agates. Then we've got, hang on, rainbow moonstone, 84 centimetres again. These are all genuine gemstones, what we call nuggets of gemstones, all with a drill hole, as you can see. Then we've got amazonite. Wow. Gosh, that's lovely, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? 84 centimetres again. Then we've got <gasps> pink Amethyst, these are phenomenal, and I believe they're all brand new as well. Then we've got this, this price is unbelievable. Then we've got the appetite, and the appetite is 38 centimeters. And then we've got, excuse me, I mean, goodness me, trying to get this all on the hand is not easy, but I've, I've managed. Then we've got the essentials. Now, the essentials is beading thread. You get 80 metres of monofilament, 6 metres of clear elastic, and 50 metres of the rose gold coloured beading thread. And then we've got these new 75 piece silver plated bindings kits that we're all raving about. Because you've got in here, can I just check that picture? No, that picture's not right, darling, no. Well, either that or we've got the wrong, it's one or the other. I think, I think, because I had a, so my sample is the same as yours with all the other findings, so I think it's, I think it's the one that you've got. You do think it's that picture, one? The, the Let me just, one, yeah, yeah, right, I'm sorry, that photograph is, is incorrect because that's, that's, yeah, sorry about that. Ignore that photograph, you get these. You get the 75-piece findings kit, which is the new chain, crimps, crimp covers, jump rings, eye pins, featherweight head pins, traditional head pins, spacers, a pair of shepherd hooks and a pair of studs as well and two magnetic clasps all for really 
I, this is, wow, That's, this is incredible. Oh, how good my. is that? We're talking four eighty-four centimetres. Right, can you add up, um, Wayne? Four times eighty-four plus thirty-eight, please. Just to give us an idea of how many centimetres of... G Three metres and seventy-four of, of beautiful, genuine gemstones. Of yeah, really gorgeous gemstones. And like you said, we don't... You know, pink amethyst, unusual. Yeah. Blue lace agate, wow. One of the rarer agates. And amazonite, these are not... And, and apatite. And there are so many kits coming up for you, whether you are a new customer, whether you are an existing customer, whether you are one of our long-standing loyal customers, this deal is for you. The, the threading pack, the 75-piece findings pack, and your one, two, three, four strands of 84 centimeter gemstones in Amazonite, Blue Lace Agate, Rainbow Moonstone, Pink Amethyst. We have created a bit of a weight. There's the appetite as well. 3.74 meters. Now, the, here's the news. We had 46, got 15 left. But there is good news, there is good news. I have got so many kits today, all of which are phenomenal value. You wait till you see the one with the uh, Morganite and the Aquamarine. And beautiful as well, aren't they? Yes. I mean, that, that colour palette in there, in, in the nuggets, and, fabulous, and all the it? others, is really yeah. gorgeous, really, yeah. really lovely. You're really gorgeous, and you're really lovely, and you're really beautiful. Thank you, so are you. I said it first. And you haven't got a chipped tooth? <laughs> yeah, she's chipped a tooth. She has. We've reached that age where things start falling off. <laughs> Everything's falling apart. It's, everything is. You fix, Look, one, you fix one thing, right, you get I, your roots done. Yeah, but hang on, yeah. darling. Have you got a magnet in your pants? Oh, no, I don't no, think so. No, so, so you're fine. It's all right. <laughs> you're not combating the old uh, menopause with a magnet in your pants. <laughs> Right then, my loves. So, say that one more time. Yeah. Um, is it that and that? Can I? Is it? Is it this and this? Sorry uh, to come close. Just yeah, and that one next to it. So that one on. Yeah, right. Thank you, Claire. You're Thank you. No, sorry, fine. sorry, sorry. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Thank you, team. Oh, that's teamwork, isn't it? So, the image that we had for the findings previously is the one that you get here. Now, this is a great combination because it is the first time ever I've seen K2 Jasper in rounds. They're, be they're beautiful rounds, aren't they? Really. I know that they are high end strands they of gems. They really so are. They? Yeah. yeah. And appetite. Yeah. And that is a lovely combination because you have beautiful blues within your K2 Jasper. Mm. Okay? Even if you just did like an alternate, um, you know, beading work, nothing, nothing complicated. Exactly. They really yep. complement each other. So again, the same lengths of your um, beading threads, but this time it's the gold colour beading thread. And your monofilament and your clear elastic to make your beloved stretches. And that's the right one. Brilliant. Thank you, Leah. 21 piece silver plated findings kit which does have two pairs of shepherd hooks it does have head pins it does have crimps it does have jump rings it does have toggles and it does have chain excuse me a moment wayne hands off <laughs> hands <laughs> off our kits he said i want these on the morning show we go no they're ours we know they're wicked kits and they're ours not yours wicked <laughs> um so yeah k2 jasper in a round that is amazing. <coughs> Excuse me. How many available, darling? Right, the only thing is about these kits, they are going to be on, they're going to be gone and sold out because we have limited numbers. Now, we had 47 of the pom-pom kits yesterday and you saw how quickly they each sold out. Yeah? If you don't know what a stretchy is, they're what Claire and I and a lot of guest designers wear every day of the week. They are stretchy elastic with your gemstones, with your beads, with your cotton pearls, with your nuggets. We do need to go quickly on these, I'm afraid, if that's okay. Okay. So. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. See, how lovely are they? Look at those. Oh, uh, sorry. Well, start again. Yep, yeah, got it. All of those. What, hang on a second. I can't, right. First of all, I want to show you. We've got fluorite round. You know the price we went on the last kit? 
we're going to match it. £20, 19.95. We've got big, bold, beautiful, fabulous fluorite. We have got, get ready for this, we've also got sodalite in 6 mil and 4 mil. Yeah, the sodalite 4 mil is your matte, your 6 mil is your shiny, and then look at these bad boys. Oh They're yeah! Incredible. I mean, that, that's a that's a real wow strand, isn't it? On isn't its own, it? that's incredible. Diamond cut rounds in black obsidian. Also, you get the twenty-one piece findings pack. So this again, you know that that we've just had this findings pack and that threading pack with the rose gold beading thread. You get that as well as your gemstones. That is four genuine gemstone strands. Your threading pack and your 21 piece silver plated findings pack for 19.95. These are these have been put together specifically for this evening for new makes, new customers, but anybody can buy. Now when it gets to eight o'clock tomorrow morning or either the stock has gone, the price will revert back to the individual components when they add up. So you cannot get these prices again. You need to buy now. They are unbelievable kits. We're taking a hit on them because we want to encourage new customers to start making jewellery. Of course we do, why wouldn't we? Okay. So, ocean blue. We'll get to Claire in a minute because Claire's going to teach you how to make a simple loop and a wrap loop. Now, firstly, we've got the diamond cut. Is that, we've got diamond labradorite. There's a 38 centimetre strand. So, look how well these go together. If you put that with that kit from the last kit, they all work together beautifully. Same cut with the Labradorite as there is with the black obsidian there. Okay, so Amazonite. And again, if you put the Amazonite with the uh, Appetite or with the K2 Jasper, everything's working together. Ocean Blue, you get the same findings kit again, but this time with gold colour beading thread. And silver plated findings. All right. You believe these kits, Claire? They're fabulous, aren't they? It's the shapes and the colours. Yeah. They've been beautifully put together. They really have the quality yeah. of the yeah. gemstones. Now, realistically, can I just say, if you had two gemstones of Amazonite and Labradorite, two of our best-selling gemstones, and the findings and the thread, I think you've got to be talking probably easily towards the £30 mark. Definitely, I would have thought. Yeah. These are They've massive got, you've got savings. You've haven't you, on, the, on the, that strand? You have on the Amazonite, yeah. Amazonite but not yeah. on the Labradorite. So just to prove that fact, look, there you go. There is the Labradorite, there is the Amazonite. $17.95, including the silver plated findings and including the essential threading pack, but with gold colored beading thread. Okay. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. These are awesome. That's it. That's it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. That goes nice together. It really does. Yeah. And we get a demo. We can. Whoop. That's what happened. That's what happened before we started the show. That's what happened. So, lovely, beautiful tigers. I know we did have a, do you remember we had a faceted, micro faceted tigers eye for seven ninety five earlier? Did it sell out, Wayne? Yeah, it did. Should do as well. So, sunrise. A lovely sunrise. We've got tiger's eye. That's beautiful, it? Isn't is it? beautiful, That's isn't stunning. it, Poppet? Yeah. So lovely, lovely tiger's eye in those six mil rounds, which for anybody just starting their jewellery making journey, that is the most favourite size of gemstones by, by a country mile. The average size of six mil rounds, so easy to work with. Then you've got those really pretty sunstone four mil rounds, all smooth, all non-faceted. And then we've got the gold plated 21 piece findings kit and the essential threading pack. Oh, these are getting That's even incredible. more silly. Wow. So these are gold plated base metal underneath. Two toggles, your chain, your jump rings, your crimps, your two pairs of shepherd hooks and your head pins and your two genuine gemstone strands, your sunstone and your tiger's eye for four. $19.95. Wow. That tiger's eye is beautiful, isn't it? It is glorious. You don't see sunstone that, that often no. as well. So. Not in little rounds like that no. as well. Your tiger's eye is one of the phenomenal gemstones that possesses chatoyancy and gives you that lovely effect. These are great, aren't they? Wow. 
Now, so far we've done the silver plated, we've done the yellow gold plated, but guess what? We do them in rose gold plated as well. Oh, Pete, you are lovely, thank you. Told me to drop them all over the floor, dear. Thank you, thank you, sweetheart. Right then. Oh, marshmallow. Yeah, that's a perfect name, isn't it? That's really nice. So, rose, it is, isn't it? Yeah, rose, just checking. It is rose quartz, yeah, 10 mil rounds. That's oh, gorgeous pink, yeah. that is, isn't it? Mm. They are so pretty. Look at the consistency of those. They are absolutely stunning. We're going to put, keep it with the sort of pastel tones with the aquamarine. That's incredible. Look at that. Look at the yeah. aquamarine. I know. If you, if you manage to get the aquamarine 1195 necklace strand that layout that we did in the graduated earlier, there might be a few left. That would be a lovely way to extend that, wouldn't it? You ready for this? Rose gold plated 21 piece findings pack. And your essential threading pack with gold colour beading through. Oh my. That's, that's. Oh, goodness gracious me. That's fabulous, isn't it? That is a fabulous, fabulous prize. It is enough, yeah. isn't it? Celebrate good times. Come on. Do, 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 do. Season. I'm not new. You need to us, Susan. But a friend of mine is, so was buying her a kit, but how do I let them go? All oh. my favourite colours, well done to all Susan. Get two, buy two, buy two, love. Keep one, give one away. It's a nice friend buy one. as well, isn't oh, she? Yeah, you're yeah. nice, Sue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She lovely. Yeah, she's a nice friend. Oh, Susan in Dorset, you've just bought them. Oh, Susan, you lovely lady. The only thing is, though, Susan, if you buy it for us, you won't get the freebies. So, because you've already got an account. So you need her to buy it, darling. Sorry, but it's just, if you get your friend to buy it as a new customer, she'll get the DVD and the two genuine gemstones. Stands for it. The two genuine gemstones. <laughs> say it, will you, Claire? Claire, just say it, will you, Claire? Two genuine gemstone strands. Free of charge. Free of charge. Yeah, baby. So, Susan, <laughs> you'll get the good price kit, obviously, but if you wanted to get the freebie, she needs to order, darling. Mikey B. We've just been messaging off there, haven't we, Mikey B? Hi. Hi Good evening. Good evening, all. Uh, looking fabulous, ladies. That price is bonkers. I oh, know. Have you had it? Has he had it? Aww. Yeah, you get it, Mikey B. He's lovely. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, Mikey B, Mikey yeah. B, Mikey B. Mikey B. Yeah. Okay. Let me move those over. So, how light rounds? Check. I think that's probably Ooh. these. Mm. Rose quartz matte finish. And then the silver plate. Peter, Hello. Peter, do you want to grab those reels that are on the floor so I don't forget and we can show them so I don't. Can you have the air con off? You have to speak no. to Claire, she wanted it on. Oh, Don't ask me, she wanted it on. Oh, I'm not getting involved, <laughs> Pete. That's between <laughs> you and Claire. <laughs> Yes, That's between Pete, you two. Of course. So yeah. the da 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 Oh, get off with you. White agate, how light rounds, matte rose quartz. Wayne, stop being naughty because we're going to tell on you. Stop it, you little madam. $12.95. You get the threading pack. You get the 21-piece silver plate essentials finding with your chain, your head pins, your crimps, your head... Your shepherd hooks, your toggles, your jump rings. Do you want to come on? Lola. 
Now we've got a new. This is how this is how young we want to start our jewelry makers. Come and start next year, Mum. Come on. We want our jewelry makers to start when they're this age, if we can. If not, yeah. we've Lola. She's done. Yeah, she's been doing a lot of jewelry. She has. I mean, yeah. Are, they, are these prices? These mm -hmm. are like these. You could make really high-end jewelry, couldn't you? Yeah. With them, um, very, very simply. Now, before anybody says anything, mother and daughter are in the same yes. household, so they yeah. do not need to socially distance. Before we get anybody saying, yeah. why are they cuddling? Yeah. We're allowed because to. they're allowed to. Because they live in the same house and they're allowed to, and it's her mom. So, uh, Lola, it's lovely to see you, gorgeous. Oh, I love you. Aww. Aren't we all envious now of a cuddle? We all want that cuddle, oh, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Can't oh, get she's lovely girl. Those cuddles. So, anyway, yeah, you can get these deals. Barbara, Chrissy, um, I'm not sure how to say your name. Is it a GK? A GK? A J I K E? AJ. Jenny, Tina, Shirley, you need to check those baskets out. Twelve ninety-five. <laughs> Tell all your friends that haven't made jewellery before they can be bought. Now this deal is I think one of the most incredible deals we've we've got tonight. This is I picked those to work with. I, I love these. I you're not daft, are you? I'm not well. She's not. She's not. She does have an impression sometimes, but she's not. <laughs> Pastel, these are gorgeous. Perfection, Morganite and Aquamarine. Morganite, uber rare. Aquamarine in these huge pieces, along with silver plated findings again, and your essential threading pack, with the gold coloured beading thread, your findings, and unbelievably, in a starter kit, there's no way we can do those at 12.95, is there? With rare morganite and aquamarine, two of the most wonderful beryls known to man. Ooh. These are brilliant prices, aren't they? Uh, uh, they're brilliant prices. They're brilliant quality. You've got the threading pack. You've got the findings. You've got these amazing gemstones, nudie doody. There you go, Elizabeth, our nudie doody. All right, Zed, loving the show. I'm in the bath. Give us a wave. Nudie doody, Elizabeth is with us. Hello, darling. Hello, nudie doody. Nudie doody. <laughs> Jen says, sending you a virtual cuddle, Zena. Oh, oh that's nice, Jen. Jen. Thank you. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, Jen. Susan said, it's okay, Zena. I think I bought all the kits, so I will let one go. Ah, She says, if she likes them, she can then order. Oh, great. That's all right, then. That's all right. So I was worried about you, Susan. Uh, Jane in Cornwall. Hi, Zena and Claire. You need to. I have just heard that I'm going to be a great great oh, girl. Congratulations, oh, oh, Lovely news. Oh, oh congratulations, Jane. Oh, how oh. lovely. Oh. Oh, so nice. Sorry, Wayne, what did you say? Right now then, Claire. Um, okay. Just, just quickly, all of those kits, we still have a tiny bit of availability, but we didn't have many of each because, quite frankly, we are losing money there. But we want to, we want to encourage you to make jewellery. So uh, we can hand over to our wonderful guest designer. She'll give you some, some tips on what to do. Yeah. So what I thought we'd do, so I bought in the stuff that was from um, last time, so which is, so we've done sort of like basic, um, we did a bit of threading uh, and we started to do so crimps and crimp cover, so sort of like your basic beading. So I thought we'd sort of take it up to so maybe like the next level, um, which is where so if we do like simple loops and wrap loops. Um, What's the difference between a simple loop and a wrap loop? So what? a simple loop is, you know, when we talked before, um, we talked before about what, what will open and what will close. So right. uh, it's a, it's a loop so if I show you that's probably easiest to, um, to okay. talk through so if we do a simple loop first so the simple loop we can open and close that like a jump ring okay so I've got I've got one of my aquamarines on here and this, this is quite nice to work with to show you how um, this technique works really well with with irregular shapes as well as um, rounds as well okay. and you can absolutely do this with the nuggets as well so I've got that on the um, on the head pin so the first thing I'm going to do uh, for my simple loop so you can see so that's on there so I'm going to hold here and I'm going to just support that little bit at the bottom with the, of the head pin. And I come out, so if I hold it like that, I'm going to just turn it out a little bit. So I've put a slight angle coming off here. 
and I'm going to go in with my cutters. So I'm going to go to about, about a centimetre or so and snip that off there okay so the reason we've put that angle in is because what we're going to do we're going to turn it back so coming back this way and so that that the, the loop comes directly off the off the top of the gemstone and it sits so it's nice and um nice and straight rather okay. than sort of coming off at the side so i've got my chain nose pliers sorry not my chain nose my round nose pliers because we're doing that we're doing a round loop and you can see so i've got nothing sticking out here i'm going to roll back towards the gemstone okay so I'm rolling down so if I just hold that there so you can see so it's spinning around a little bit so we can see and I'll show you how then you can then open and close that so you've got your loop coming off which is there yeah so this one now can open and close if I hold it there and just you can see how that's going to open so I could attach it to um, a jump ring or some chain and then I can close it back up so it's easy to do but this is and it, and it, is, it is secure yeah. but what's going to be the most secure is if we do our, um, our wrap loop okay so that's that's the simple loop um, can I jump in with these then because you've just used these yes you? yes so, so these the, are essentials definitely so this is like your knife fork and spoon in the cutlery drawer you need your chain nose or flat nose your round nose and the pair of cutters and you're good to go. So we've got round nose pliers designed by Beadalon. They are a very well-known brand that, uh, if I just turn it up so you can actually read the name there, look, Beadalon. And they've got these great um, non-slip handles. They've got that leaf spring in the, in, the, um, in, this, in the center there so that when you compress them, they will just bounce back so that's what that's designed for. Yeah, these are. I would say these are one of the most comfortable. That that. Would you? Yeah, I would. So I work with the. Um, so I've got the chain nose ones yeah. of that. So like the brother of that one, and they are. It's like you say. It's that spring in the middle that makes it so easy. So it's less stress on your hands. The lovely handle. They are really, really, really good. Good pliers. And they're high quality stainless steel yeah. as well. So you know that they're good for the job. They're designed for making jewellery. If I put my hand behind, you can see them there. Um, and they are, they're just, they're just wonderful to work with and they grow with the artistic wire that, that we had on the other night. They've got these comfortable dipped handles that give you a good grip. It's called a box joint or a, a double leaf spring. That was the word I was looking for. Double leaf spring and that basically means you've got dependable quality there in the most essential set of, of pliers that you need. You need your round nose pliers. I would do them for seven ninety five for you as a cheeky, uh, cheeky starter. Deal and there's for a you. massive difference with if you are starting out of like you know if you sort of maybe pinch if somebody else has got some tools and you've got maybe got um, a not a very great pair of pliers that isn't basic. for jewellery making yeah. the difference is because you can see on yours the lovely you know it tapers up to that really really yeah. beautiful fine point so when you're working with so on some of the findings kits you've got the um the fine head pins so you're going to work right at the tip of those pliers there and you can see how lovely and smooth they are yeah and a really delicate work as well yeah. and then you've got that lovely taper so near it, sort of like the base, yeah, and that's going to give you a much bigger loop. And they're comfortable, they're yes. lightweight, yeah, yeah, which makes a massive difference. If they're yeah. not, if they don't feel right, and then you know you can't sort of like squeeze them together, or they don't sort of spring back. Yeah, it's not very, it's not a very pleasant experience. No. You're not going to want to work but it's, with them. It's like the old age thing of you know, like in your kitchen, you have got your favourite knife that you could, that you, you know, a whole drawer of knives. But we're all nodding. You've got that favourite knife. Or you might want a serrated knife if you're cutting tomatoes or a, you know, or a pepper, you know, different knives for different jobs. It's the same thing with your jewellery making. Okay. You don't have a serrated knife for your tomatoes. Don't we use it for the peppers? Are well? all those knives, are, they, are those knives on the spreadsheet? Are they on the spreadsheet? Don't start. It's, is it like a separate spreadsheet? Kitchen. Well, when Tony does move in, I'm going to have to give him a spreadsheet for the right utilities, I'm going to get Tony a mug. Yeah, you're going to have to give a him a matching mug. I'm going out with a girl that likes spreadsheets. Yes, yeah, I'll see if I can find one of anyway, those. Anyway, right, we digress. Back to Claire. Okay, so um, so what we're going to do, so we'll take that a stage further now. So we've done the simple loop, so we can attach that to whatever we want. And we can attach that at any point because we can open and close it. So we, if we can now go on to our uh, wrapped loop. So this is... Um, this is, you, you need to think about this a little bit more um, because once we finish that wrap on the loop, we can't open and close it. We can use a jump ring um, and, and work with that. But once we've closed that wrap loop, 
that's it then, which makes it lovely and secure. So you just need to think about it a little bit. So again, so I've got my I've got my round nose pliers on yeah. there, and they're sitting on top of the on top of the stone. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, if we notice, I'm probably about not quite half half the way down into the into the pliers here. So that what that will do is that determines the height coming off the um, of the stalk, oh, okay. and it's that stalk that we're going to wrap around. So if if we move them all the way up here. You can see the height is going to be uh, more. Yeah. So the stalk, the first stalk that we make, we're going to have lots more wraps around. So what some people will do is they might make a little mark on the um, on the pliers so they know every time like where it's going to be. Or yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I've got that. Um, so if I sort of work about halfway, and we'll see how many wraps we've got when we go round. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to push out at that that angle. So the stalk I was talking about is is that bit there, okay? So and that's the bit that we're going to wrap around. So I've got my first. The first angle is there. I'm going to move my pliers, and they're still sort of pushed against into that right against the 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 wire on this side into that angle. So I'm going to hold here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to push. And go all the way around so that it takes the shape of the of the pliers. So that's why you know the lovely pliers that you had. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's it's really important that they are lovely and smooth because we are going to you know we, we make the most of it. We use it like a mandrel. Yeah. So we can take that out and have a look. So we know that it's that's like a shepherd right. Hook, doesn't it? Yes. A bit. Yeah. And that's yeah. What, it's exactly what you're looking uh, okay. for. You want that shepherd's hook or the question mark. Mm -hmm. So we've got that there. So our pliers. They were like that, but what we've got to do, we've got to take this now and wrap around, you know, the, the first stalk that we looked at okay. here. So it's like that. So if we left it like that, this bottom part of the pliers is going to be in the way. So I'm going to take that out and pop it like that. So it's now free and we can okay. get to access that, that stalk. So I'm going to come all the way around. So you can see, so I've come around that way. So now I'm going to put like a tiny, just a little little angle in there and just hold on to because sometimes as we work this wire it can just get a little bit stiffer so I'm going to start now just hold on to that I'm going to take this and wrap around that stalk so you're just doing it neatly as opposed to crossing yeah, over yeah I'm trying to get that so I would say at first just just work if you can so that those those um the wraps are going one underneath the other rather so than they don't yeah, overlap yeah, or anything yeah okay definitely so we've got about three on there so i'm going to come out of there mm -hmm. and we want to get rid of this can i just ask you again I, yeah I, sure that is one of the standard head pins out of the kits isn't it yes yeah okay just checking yeah so i've got um yes yeah, so it's, it's a standard ball head pin okay there. so i've got that little bit i don't know can you see that so we've got that little scraggy bit there so what we want to do is we want to push that and get that tucked in because you can see so just that might catch you can see that edge there okay so it's just little little um bits like this that will neaten it up so i'm going to push against here with my chain nose pliers and just push around and what that will do is that's that's now taken that little that little end if we try and find it that's tucked that in okay, okay. i'm going to push that in there so it's worth just spending the time once you've got that that wrap yeah and you've worked you know how to do that go in and just tuck that little that little end in there you can see now it's, it's really tucked away so it's not going to scratch anybody okay so that you can see there so whereas we had the simple loop before we could get our pliers and we could open and close we can't on that that's now so sealed is, shut yeah. isn't it so that yeah. is really 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 strong so different techniques of how you could use this if i show you so if we have a look at some of these, okay. so you can see here, so if I show you this one, you can see, and so you could absolutely do this with some of the kits you've got in here. Oh. So can you see, so I've got lots of wrap loops and I've grouped them together and oh, then I've yeah. put them on a jump ring. Oh, doesn't that look effective, Claire? And that then, so once you can do a wrap loop, there are so many, you'll see now, if I show you the differences okay. of um, the different, you know, of how you can, that one technique, so many different um, variations. Uh -huh. So that is on, that's on the jump ring. So you can see I've grouped three onto a jump ring and then onto another jump ring and Brilliant. on your stretchy elastic. That gives you lovely movement then, doesn't it, as yeah. well? Yeah, really, okay. really good. Yeah. And don't forget, you can lose your knot in there as well. Yeah. So you also had some chips and nuggets, didn't you? Yeah, we did indeed. So if you see, so what I was working with there are lovely nuggets. You've got rounds in there. So you can see here, this is on a much smaller scale, oh, wow. but that's with your chips and nuggets. So exactly the same. They're all wrap loops, but oh. a different size. 
And you know, it's great to do something like that because the more practice makes perfect. So if you get in a rhythm and yeah. just keep making all the components, you will get a, you'll get that really tight. Because I found when you first taught me, when I was rapping, first of all, actually, mine were quite loose. And it's a, it is, you've got to get quite... It's practice that gets it neat and tidy and tightly together, isn't it? It definitely is, definitely that. So, yeah. and, and that's, I think that's the thing. If you do sort of bubble style jewellery, so again, if we look at something like this one. Oh, I love that bracelet. This, so this is one of my favourite yeah. pieces of jewellery. But it's, you know, this is, so this is a lot. So what you'd think is, if you almost imagine yourself as like a production line, so you're thinking you're going to do lots and lots and lots yeah. of wrap loops. So if I sort of show you how this would, so we did the one there, and so I did every single step. Um, all in, you know, all in one go. If I was going to do something like that, I'd be going because I'm going to be adding it into chain. Mm. So I'd be going and so working my way around and speeding up a bit and getting to that point. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put that down, okay, and I'm going to take the next one. So you can see, so I'm repeating the same thing over and over again. Oh, okay. So you get quicker like a production quicker. line, like you said. Yeah, yeah. Just getting a rhythm. Yeah. So to do something like that, like yep. the uh, the bubble stars. So, so say for example, I'd you know let's imagine I'd maybe done thirty of those, and I got to that stage, and I've got my chain here. So my chain, that's a closed link. My wrap loop is a closed link. So yep. we know that's going to be really really strong, which is what you want in, in your jewelry, especially on a bracelet. You think about you know how much you know wear and tear it's going to have. So what we need to do now. So I've got my my chain here, my closed link. I've got all the ones that I've made here, which are still an open, open link. So I'm going to take this, so hopefully you'll be able to, to see in there. So I've got this, I've threaded that on, and I'm going to let that go into the chain. So if I move link. my fingers ah, out of the way, can you see you. where it is yeah. there? So it's gone into, it's still an open link at the moment, and it's gone into the chain. Okay? So what I'm going to do then is we're going to almost like ignore that, so that the chain is on there. And do you remember how we, then we went and we wrapped this stalk? We wrapped around the stalk here, so mm -hmm. I'm going to do exactly the same there, ah. and go and snip off. Yep. My next one, so that's that's gone in there. So you can see that. Oh, so brilliant! Can you yeah. see how you got to that close link into the close link? Yep. Really, really strong. So I'm going to do the same. So if I wanted it so that it was um, really, really full and really dense, what I'm going to do? Hopefully, can you see? Can you see on there? So I've got. The one link of the chain, yep, yeah, which is so that one there. Mm -hmm. I've done a wrap loop on this side. What I'm going to do with the next one is I'm going to come and do my wrap loop on this side here. So I'm going to have two wrap loops going one into link. one link of chain. Okay, okay. So I'm going to bring that over. So I'm going to go in through there, mm -hmm. and again let that let that fall, come out of the way, and you know work with gravity there if you think. So I'm letting that letting that hang. Just turn it to the side so it's out of the way as I do my wrap loop here. So again, so I'm going to go round and snip that off. And that, if we keep going and going all the ah, way through, can you see that? That's really, really dense. Yeah. The difference would be, so, and what you do again, so your next bit on your production line, don't forget, is you've got the, we've cut it off, but you need to go back in. Oh, and tuck it in. And just tuck it in. But because you go in and you go in and doing all that in one go, it's it's you know you're going to be quicker with that. Yeah. So the difference would be if we go back to so those are our two wrap loops. So remember we've done our simple loop. If you mm -hmm. were going to add those, so you've done all your simple loops there. And just if I just open that up like that, I'm going to pop that on. So I might decide that I'm going to come in and put that onto the next one there. And I'm going to close that up, and that's going to go in there. So you can see you could you could do a, a you know it's entirely up to you which one you which one you want to do. I tend to go for wrap loops onto the because I know it's 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 much more secure. Mm. But you can see so that's maybe taking it to the next yeah the next level. You're going to get different looks if you work with um, uh, rounds. Um, so if I show you that one, you can see, so mix, mix up. So if you've got some of the kits, mix yep. up, say, maybe the, because um, you've got some like, almost like bicones, weren't they, that were uh, really... Diamond cut yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's going to work really nicely. There's nothing to stop you doing it with the pear shape. Mix them up, and then it's going to go into, into the chain like that.
so you and can see all the And that's the great thing, because if you've got different coloured findings and different coloured um, gemstones and different shapes and rounds and tumbles, which is what we're giving you, we're giving you little tumbles, we're giving you rounds, we're giving you nuggets, we're giving you diamond cut. That's the whole reason that we've given such, such a myriad of sizes and shapes and colours in these starter kits, so that you can really be creative in your jewellery. That's why we put them together and, and given them at such starter prices for you. And that is really to encourage, like Susan there, getting her friend involved. You know, so you, we all know somebody that might be in lockdown, might be shielding, might just be desperate to start a new hobby, doesn't know what to start with. Um, this is wonderful. And remember, the new customers that we've had come in today, you will get your order. You also get to get started. Can you just remind us, Claire, while you're yeah. here, what's on the DVD? So, so on the DVD, so we talk about, so um, on the DVD, it's, it's going back to basics again. Um, so it's the going through the, the findings pack. So we talk about the different findings that yeah. you'll have, um, the threading pack and what they do, um, the tools that you'll use. Um, which, and there's not, many, there's not many new hobbies that you can do where, you know, you, you don't have to have loads of no. tools. Yeah. You've seen how, you know, how few I've used there. Um, uh, and then different projects, so we'll do wrap loops, simple loops again, um, crimps, crimp covers, but then we'll actually make some jewellery as in, um, so I think, you know, we do necklaces, um, bracelets, earrings, things Great. like that. Fantastic. So it's a bit of everything, really. So with your first order from Jewellery Maker, you get that DVD, and it's actually clear on the DVD. You also get a selection, they're all the same value, but you will get a pick and mix selection of two genuine gemstone strand, strands free of charge. I'll get that right one day. And also you only pay that post and packaging once a day. So once you've paid it, you're done, no matter how many items we send to you. And the average price for the mainland UK is usually 3 dollars It's 3 dollars but they change depending on where you are. But mainland UK, 3 dollars for standard delivery. And we have extended our money back guarantee. It's usually 30 days. It's currently 60 days because of obviously the current climate. Okay? So can I just ask though, Claire, how long is it since you've been making jewellery? Um, I think, I think I was about seven when I first probably... And who got you started? I think it was, I think it was the, 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 the wire, and so teaching myself, and then, yeah. and, and then um, going, you know, you sort of like a broken jewellery and trying yeah. to fix things. Wow. Um, and there's nothing to stop you from, you know, if you look into, I don't know, maybe charity shops, things like that, yeah. or jewellery you've got at home, yeah. combine them, if you, if, you, if you know, if you're new and you're starting out, you get those two free strands and you've got jewellery already. Exactly. There's nothing to stop you from putting the, you know, yeah. putting it all together. That, yeah. That's the wonderful thing with jewellery making. And then mixing in seed beads and check glass yeah. beads and whatever yeah. you've got, polymer yeah. You know. Now Nikki's just said, Claire, here, here. Claire is a fantastic teacher. I Aww. learned so much during the beginner workshop. She's lovely too. She Aww. is Nikki. Have you Thanks, paid, Nikki. Have you paid Nikki? No, but I will do later. <laughs> Nikki's lovely, isn't she? She is lovely. Really lovely. She, you know she's lost two, two stone in weight. Has she? She has, yeah. Oh, well done. Yeah, that's two incredible. Two stone she's lost, Nikki has. Fair play. Yeah. Well yeah. done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. We've all put on weight and she's losing that's it. That's dedicated, that's brilliant. Yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah, well done, Nikki. So, um, so, yeah, so this is this hour that we're doing once a week at six o'clock on a Thursday is to, so if you know anybody that you think, oh, I'd like to, I'd like, I think they'd love Jewelry Maker, 6 p.m., set your, set your calendars and things, 6 p.m. every Thursday. Yeah, and if there are things that, you know, particular things that you'd like to see or techniques, then yeah, get in yeah. touch and, um, yeah. Because this is the thing, when you're learning, you know, I always remember when I first sat down in the presenter's chair over at our, our, our other studio, and it's a weird world. It is, because I sat here and I was hearing words like a crimp. I think it a crimp, a shrimp, a crimp, a crimp cover, what? And then you hear these different pliers, I'm thinking pliers, because I'm thinking my dad's pliers in the garage, I'm thinking, hang on a minute, and there's some weird, you know, um, I mean, a gizmo, what's a gizmo? <laughs> Well, they, and it's embarrassing because you don't know, do you? You're sitting there thinking, I don't, I don't know. Ask, what, there is no stupid exactly. question. Exactly, and that's why these, these, you know, these hours are really, really good for that. Absolutely. And yeah. just quickly, better message. What's the, what, can we let's have that message then, if you don't mind, Wayne? If we could pop it on, because we just asked the question. We might haven't got Pamela. Bail making Hello, Pamela. Tool. How do you use the bail making tool? Well, we have lots of different versions of the bail making tool. 
Claire's got the six-step bail making pliers there. <laughs> we might just have time to answer that question for you, Pamela. Let's have a look. Let's grab a little bit of wire. Okay. So these, there's lots and lots of different um, different ways. So as we, the difference with these is, I'm working with very very thick wire because I haven't really got anything okay. else. So you know the difference with these is if we have a look. So my my bail makers, you'll get somewhere it might just be say two different. Um, uh, different widths on, on these bits but can you see the difference so these bail makers are you know just go, they're going straight so rather than it tapering like this so I could make if I wanted to um, you know we talked about some jump rings yeah so for example I could just make um, jump rings this is very very thick so we'll see how we get on with this this is much thicker wire than you would you would use. So I'm just wrapping that round, but I can go all the way to the top of that section, and that will be. It's not going to taper. It's not going to be a um, you know a cone. So I could make my own jump rings there. So okay. if I just sort of like snip that off. And what about if you just wanted to make a bail okay. for a pendant you'd made? So these what these allow you to do is. So I might go something like. So there's lots of different uses for these. So I could go like this. My chain could go through there. Yep. And then I could come through and almost do like a, an S hook type effect. So again, I'm mm. going to snip off here. So if we try and find something like, um, what could I have on? Let's pretend, let's pretend that this is going to be my, my pendant. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pop that on going into there. Close that. Close that so this is this is a, a, a sort of like enlarged. You probably wouldn't. Well, you could do it this big, depending mm -hmm. on how big your pendant is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to close that up there. So my, my chain would go through yep. there. Yep. And that that would I'd make my bail like oh, that. Oh, brilliant! That would also be if I had it like. So if we made something and I snip that off here. Yep. Can you see that would be, then be a clasp? Ah, like so an S could, clasp. Right. So okay. if I got my jump ring. Yep. And you've made all that. Ah yourself there. So findings they, there. They are one of the best investments you'll make. They yeah. really are. Yeah. Um, Donna said, please can you tell us about work hardening of wire? Work great, hardening. Great question, Donna. Okay, so what will happen is um, as you start to work with, with the wire, and that'll be wire on a reel or the wire that's in the um, you know, we're working with the head pins. Mm -hmm. So the more we work it, 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 it just get it will get harder and more and, and more brittle. So um, you need to take that into account. So, if you were doing something like, um, so sometimes it can work in your favour and it'll, it'll make things easier because you'll want that hardness of the structure. Okay. But if you were then working like this and we wanted to have um, lots of wraps, okay, so I'm going to keep going. So the more I work this, the harder this little tail is going to get, okay? So it might get to the point where, that's why, you know, I put that little, that little bit in here. Mm -hmm. This now is a lot stiffer than when I first started because I've been working it, okay? I'm just moving it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold on here with my other pliers and that just gives me a bit more of a grip because it's getting a little bit stiffer to go round. Okay. So, so that would be how you would sort of um, combat it. Mm -hmm. But then if you want it to be stiffer, yeah. so if it was something like you, your clasp, you wanted you'd made your clasp and you wanted it to be really firm, yeah. what you can do is, if you've got a hammer and a block, which I'm not sure we have at the moment, but you could hammer it like that, or you can just go in because you're putting, with your pliers, because you're putting metal on metal, and you just go in, and I'm going to do just a little bit like that. So I could be doing this with, um, uh, if I'd done wire weaving or something like that as well. Yeah. And just harden it like that. Ideally, especially with this gauge wire, you'd go in and you'd give that a hammer. And you'd work it, because this again, this is thick wire, you could get a lovely, lovely flat edge there. And that would be so solid then, really, really, really hard. There's wire whackers that you could work with, yeah. nylon, you know, different nylon jaw pliers. So that would be how you, you'd harden. Perfect. We have absolutely the perfect. perfect tool. Yeah. 
Pamela said, thank you. I have a bail tool coming in my last order. Great lessons. Oh, brilliant. Oh, you'll love it, Pamela. You will love it. Yeah. Be now, brilliant. just quick, what does this do then, Claire? So that, that is, that's fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Because you know how I was talking about, so you've got metal on metal, yep. which you've got on the one side, and then you've got the nylon side. Yep. And you've also got the um, the the um, attachment there. So, so it's a little, that'll, make, that'll make the indentations, lovely, won't it, as well? Lovely dappled effect. Dappled yeah, that'll effect, give you. that's the word yeah. I was looking for. Yeah. So this is exactly what Claire's just been talking about, for, because as you say, you've got wire, uh, the nylon that won't take the colour off the wire, you've got metal on metal, and you've got the, the dappler. So when can we do this, one? Brilliant. When can we do this, then? Oh, it was, off, it was right next to me. Oh. Hmm. Has it snuck in? I don't know, it was right next to me. It was, it was here, it was like, it was there. Oh, it... You do it in the next hour. <laughs> Where have you got that from? Right there. <laughs> right, the whammer. And you want the whammer designed for jewellery making, exactly what you've just been talking about with wire work, hardening. That's what you want. We'll do it the next hour. And your wall of fame. Can we just say, um, somebody messaged in there saying, this is great, not just for us, for, for new customers, but actually as a refresh. So, Claire, thank you Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. It's lovely thank coming you, in. Thank it's, you. It's really nice. And it's, I like working with this team. Yeah, it's, it's nice, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's nice. Oh. Yeah. And Lola, can we say thank you to you as well? Thank you, Lola. She's been helping out. We've had her working. Are you going to come in and say... <laughs> come and say goodbye. Say bye. Yeah, there she is. Even helpful. Oh. Yeah. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Lola. Thank you, thank you, Claire. And um, I'll That's... see you next week anyway, won't you? When yes. we dinosaurs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'll see everyone else tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Yeah. Oh, tomorrow morning, Claire. Back on the morning tomorrow, show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So do please join us after the break for the Wall of Fame. <sighs> They're here. I'm very, very, very proud to introduce you to my brand new, designed by me, Czech glass bead. This is the Bobby. And I'll be introducing you to the Bobby on the morning show of July the 28th, where it's gonna be, it's gonna be poignant because um, I've mentioned before on the show that uh, the Bobby bead is named after my late father. And uh, so the whole morning show will Will be all about him and um, we've got 15 colors two of which have never been seen before I'm going to introduce you to the new shape the new style we've got a double disc dvd which we're going to be launching on the show as well and my partner in crime Zena, will also be joining me on the show so that's july the 28th the morning show 9 a.m a brand new launch of the world exclusive to jewelry maker Bobby Bead. Really hope you can join us. See you then. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi Jewelry Makers, my name is Mark. I'm the Managing Director of Jewelry Maker. When we took over Jewelry Maker earlier this year, I was absolutely blown away by the incredible talent that was coming through on our Wall of Fame competition. And this is taking Wall of Fame to a whole new level. From the 1st of July, every quarter, Steve and myself are going to have a look at all of the entries on Wall of Fame, and we are going to choose the most exceptional piece and put that into production. What we will do is we will produce those pieces and if you are chosen as the winner, you will get free of charge 10 of those pieces sent through for you 
as a congratulations for you being that quarter's winner. I cannot wait to see the fantastic inspiration that comes in from our customers. And at the end of September, I'll be live on your screens announcing the winner. So please get your entries into the email address below and I will update you at a later time as to what day that will be. And I look forward to seeing you all then. Thank you very much. Jewelry maker, create, wear, share. Wayne's just gone, woohoo! The wall of fame. Now, for those of you that are new to Jewelry Maker, this is where we encourage you to send in what you've made. We are allowed to enter once a week, every week, once a week. You have to use Jewelry Making products, obviously, it's only fair. And we'd like to see the photographs of what you've made. Um, and then you get entered into a draw every Wednesday morning. The winner is allocated £100 to their Jewelry Maker account. I, I know, £100. And the runner-up gets £50. Think how many kits you could have bought. Not bad, is it? So, shall we see who's done just that? Jen Devery. Oh, and I, do you know what I love about you? You're getting so creative with your photographing. You really, and we actually run, when we're allowed to do it again, a photograph course. Hello, Warner Fame. Hello, Jen. Hope you like my entry for this week. These rings are made with 0.4 mil copper sheet and labradorite chips, both bought from you recently. The process is called electroforming, and I hope you like it. JM has kept me sane during lockdown, so thank you for staying live during these difficult times, as I am sure I am not the only one to have found you a lifeline over the last four months. Well, that's a really loving message, Jen. She says good luck to all. So good luck to you, Jen. Susan from Warwickshire, just up road. So hello Sue, she says, hello lovely team, please see attach my entry to the Wall of Fame this week. The beryl necklace, bracelet and earrings are made from a recent strand from JM. The heart is Murano glass from my stash. Wow. I attended a workshop some time ago on pearl knotting and this is the first time I have attempted knotting outside the workshop. It's not perfect, but I am pleased with how well the technique sets off the beautiful beryl. Thank you for the continued inspiration and love to all at JM. So I think you've done a lovely job. It'd be great that, a whole, uh, that strand will do a whole suite of jewellery as well. You're in the draw. Right, who have we got next? We have got d -d 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 Julia. Julia Wood has made, she said, a lovely sweet. Hello, jewellery makers. A suite of jewellery made using rose quartz and smoky quartz, silver pearls, wire, and the lovely gizmo coil that we were just talking about. Hope you like it. And that's Julia Wood, and she's nice and local in Coventry as well. So, well done. You're in the draw, 9-11. Tia, what a lovely name. Tia Stanford. Wow. No. Whew. Hi, I would like to submit my beautiful Labradorite pendant to the Wall of Fame. Really enjoyed creating this large statement piece and I could do with a top up to top up my stash, she says. So thank you to Tia. And you are in the drawer. Beautiful wire work there. Isabel Shaw. What's Isabel been doing? Oh, wow. Hi, everyone. Here's my entry to the Wall of Fame. It is 60 carats of Amazonite with Swarovski in a necklace and earrings. I hope you like it. Well, we love it, Isabel. All the findings and the gems are from JM, of course. Good luck to all, as well as me. So, Isabel, that is really vibrant, isn't it? Wow, well done. Angela Allmark is next. One of her nose. Oh, oh, that's so joyous. Hi. Here is my entry to the Wall of Fame. I hope this is allowed with it not being jewellery. Yes, you are. I have a lot of seed beads and fancy trying French bead weaving. Over the past few months with being at home, it has escalated and I have made quite a lot of flowers of different varieties, which I have put into arrangements and have had a few commissions, so it has certainly kept me busy. Happy beading and take care all. Isn't that lovely, Angela? 
that you've been asked to make, you know, you've been commissioned to make uh, extra flowers. That's great. You're in the draw. Uh, Lena Kazak. No. Oh, it's Lena, the crazy cat lady. Ta, Lena. Aww. Now she says, hello to all at JM. I haven't entered the Wall of Fame since May, as I had lost my mojo. But there's good news. Don't, don't panic. Watching Naja's demo on Tuesday, I felt inspired to give it a go. Using champagne gold coloured 1mm wire and 0.4mm, and I used one crystal covered bead that I had in my stash. I'm not used to weaving with 0.4mm wire as I find it hard on my hands, so the weaving isn't as neat as I would have liked it. I prefer weaving with, uh, with 0.25mm. Thank you all for keeping us entertained during this lockdown. Unfortunately, as the rest of the country is slowly coming out of lockdown, here in Leicester we are back in lockdown. Good luck to all that entered. Now, Lena, haven't I just seen on the news that it's been relaxed again? Bye, Claire. She's on in the morning, 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, have I not just... I'm sure I've just read on the news that it's starting to ease. Are you starting to ease? I th I'm hoping you are, Lena, in Leicester. So you're in the draw, 915. Right then, we're, uh, we're off to look at uh, Teresa Ellis's entry now. Oh, wow, beautiful. Hi all, please find attached my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. Just a few items of many pieces made during lockdown. All the pearls in both rings and pendants are from a pearl scoop. One ring is macrame with wire and the pendant coils made with my coiling gizmo. See, I think you must have been psychic when I mentioned gizmo. Everything from Jewelry Maker and thank you all for your inspiration and that's loads of love from Teresa Ellis. Oh, thanks Teresa. Christine, she just says Christine. Oh, wow, lovely Amber. Hello everyone at JM. It is so nice to see presenters, designers and other members, team, other members of the team back again. Oh, Christine, that's lovely of you. Thank you. Here is this week's entry, a sterling silver amber lariat necklace. I like the way the wearer can show amber at the back of the neck. As always, good luck to everyone. But he's always, oh, listen to this. Listen to this. As always, good luck to everyone. But especially, now I assume she'd say me, but no. But especially so... Kaylee Honor. Hi all. To the wonderful JM team and awesome presenters. You are sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much to all the teams through COVID. I really couldn't have coped if I didn't have JM on. All the goodies and amazing inspiration from the guest designers. All the JM team, including the call centre, are absolutely amazing for keeping us going and thank you. Good luck to all the other amazing people and their incredible talents in the Wall of Fame. I am always so inspired by them. And that is from Kaylee in Cambridgeshire. So, Kaylee, thank you so much. Thank you to everybody for your entries. Keep them coming in because it's our favourite part of the day. And we wish you all the very best of luck. Okay, right then. Shall we um, just be, yes, just before we start the clearance and the Wama tour. We have stunning Zircon, absolutely gorgeous, very sparkly. It's a brand new strand of this natural Zircon and I have 99 chances for that diamond-like splendour. And that's coming up in half an hour. Okay, coming up in half an hour. Are you ready for clearance? It's going to be on, 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 gone, on, gone, on, gone. Let's go, Tiger. Are we starting with the Wamatool? The Wamatool, which is what? With two interchangeable heads. Okay, it's a 17 centimetre, centimetre hammer with an 8 centimetre. There's extra weight in the head which means that it, it reduces the striking power when we, so when and it get, basically gives you better results um that short you might think that's quite a short handle that is to enable you to have a per, it gives you the perfect grip and also it improves the striking accuracy so if you're a bit scared of a hammer and you're not used to working with a hammer this is perfect for you you've got the fixed convex steel head You've got the nylon flat head and you've got the steel dapping head, which will give you little indentations. This is a wicked tool. As I said, if you're not used to hammering with that shortened 
handle, it is perfect. The hammer length is 17 centimetres with an 8 centimetre head and you get two interchangeable heads. That is fixed. 1995, that is my last of stock on the beadsmith whammer tool that Claire was just raving about. So ideal for um, wire hardening as well, okay? Right then, let's get started. Clearance! That means basically you're getting all these lovely treats for less than you should pay for them for. That makes sense. Pearl coated chalcedonies, aren't they? I feel pretty. Da, 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 that is an elongated and off, isn't it? A lovely elongated. I think they're very um, bridal, aren't they, darlings? Pearl coated as well. Definitely get two. Okay, we're going to halve the price. We're going to beat the final five price, uh, pieces of your pearl coated chalcedony for better than we've beaten half price, haven't we? So what, £4.48? Hang on, £4.48 and £4.47? That's right, isn't it? Wow, there aren't many left though. So when you are, it's gone. When you are in this clearance hour, you need to check out quick. As quick as you can. Low stock and clearance. These are lovely. Lemon quartz in these lovely faceted drops. Clearance, 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 clearance. We're showing you the prices that you should be. And then we'll show you the prices that we go to. That is a very stacked strand. Okay, again, it's a half price. We call it a Miss Piggy, don't we, on the lecture? Hiya! Hiya! So lovely, 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 lovely drops. Beautiful drops of that lovely dreamy. It's like a lemon sherbet lemon, isn't it? Wayne. Producer Wayne. You can always tell when we want something to Wayne, can you do any better? Oh, Wayne. Oi! Yay, 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 yay. Okay, 12.95. Never before seen. Lemon sherbet tone. Nobody has ever been able to buy them that low. You are getting, and it doesn't matter at which point you check out, this is what I need to emphasize with Jewelry Maker. It doesn't matter when you check out. Every single person pays the lowest final price that we go to, regardless of what point you snaffle them. So there's no need to wait. Ah, oh, Lena. Hiya, Zena. Thank you for reading my wall of fame. It's our pleasure. I'm gl glad you got your mojo back, sweet pea. Well, I haven't watched the news today. Been busy sorting out stray cat situations today. I've just got home. Have a little read because I'm sure I've just seen that it's easing. How many cats have you got now? How many cats have you got, Lena? And good luck for the win on the uh, wall of fame. Oh, they're beautiful. Go lovely with the aquamarine that we did earlier. Eight mil, final five. You're taking, you're taking 20 pounds off. That's basically 66% off. Three left. That is, there's Morganite on there. In eight mil rounds, there's Aquamarine in there at eight mil rounds. Gerate, Linda, Rachel, Stephanie, Michaela, Catherine, Collector, Flo. Oh dear, dear, dear me. I think that's about to sell out. Well done. Well done. Do you know, Wayne? I think we can speed up, you know. Come on. Come on, let's get him on. Shall we? Should we just get you as many trees? If he's doing if he's in this much of a silly mood, well, let's go for it. Okay, Morganite. Now, isn't it lovely to see Morganite in a very unusual shape? Delightful rectangles in the smooth, genuine, natural. Oh, buy them now! Buy them now for the lowest ever. I tell you, if we can do this, we're going to zoom through this. Would you like us to? Morganite, genuine, natural morganite. How many available, please? Okay, there were six. There's four left. Two left. 
Okay, we're just going to zoom through them. Are you impressed? Do you see where I went with that, Wayne? Did you see where I went with that tenuous link? Impress art. Hey! So these are your stamps, but they are your high quality stamps. So you know when you are stamping onto some of our, um, our, our blanks, copper sheet, that kind of thing, yeah? Copper sheet. So impress art, you can see this is the flower. This is the actual size. It's a six mil. So that's the size that it's going to be. It's a leaf tree, so like a, like a um, tree of life almost, isn't it? Yeah? What is great is, if I show you, you can actually see the design. There's the leaf. It's really detailed. £3.88. You know, these are the best quality stamps that we do. So if you'd like to add, if you'd like to add a, a tree... You might, I tell you what, you might be doing, let's say you're thinking of doing a, an autumn collection and you'd like to, you might have, um, you might have, you might want to add a, lot, a little tag. So you've got any of our stamping blanks and you want to, and again, ideal with that. Wedding invitations, absolutely great idea. Impress Art is a brilliant, brilliant um, it, they're some of the best stamps that we do. They really are. They are phenomenal. We do have a dedicated Im uh, Impress Art hammer as well, but uh, uh, that I don't think I've got it on the show today. I'm just looking. No, but uh, yeah, brilliant price. What we got here? A swirl. Mm. A swirl. Are you going to, you, again, that gives you the size, these are 6mm, that's the actual size, but these are, I've seen Claire work with these, Claire McDonald's, one whack and you're done, yeah? Oh, the embelly jelly is what you use when you're picking up your little, the embelly jelly, have we got embelly jelly in clearance? Have we? Where? Where is it? Oh, um. I haven't got anything in there, do I? Oh, no. We're selling it from the code. Because, uh, no, let me put it on here then. Sorry, because in belly we never get in belly jelly and it's brilliant. Oh, get them on their fab. What's the code? Hang on, hang on, start again. O, A. Yeah? Right, this is so exciting. Those of you that want more in belly jelly, hang on a second. Let me get the in belly jelly up. Come here. So, the in belly jelly toolkit. Hang on a second. Here we go. Now, here we go. That's the picture I'm looking for. So, if you, if you are struggling to pick things up, and especially if you're working with Ceralune, and you've got the little tiny, tiny, tiny Swarovski chatons, again, for your scrapbooks, for your, anything you want, you get the stick, you flip this open, and you get this little tiny little bits of jelly and it sticks to the end of the stick, and then that's what you use to pick up your little teeny, you might want to use it on your findings, but your teeny tiny Swarovski chatons, like, like the hot fix that we had the other day, you could pick those up with them, yeah? OAKC57, brilliant that we've got the Embelly Jelly Toolkit. It is ace. I think there's another picture there, is there? So there you go, look, that's how it comes, that's the packaging. It's awesome, the Embelly Jelly. And it's so good that we got it in six ninety five. Wow! I would snap all that sharpish, especially at the minute. Can I explain to you why? We're told not to be putting our hands in our mouths, aren't we? And the amount of times we're washing our hands. So actually, I think this is paramount of key importance that we have this now. Because you know, you don't want to be lick. You know, normally you lick, don't you, to put you to pick things up. I think that's really key now. You know what I mean? Wow. So, six ninety-five. Okay, well, look, I see who's getting those. It's brilliant, that is. I love the embelly jelly. No, I'm, I'm looking at the picture. We're on the web, aren't we? Hey, hey. don't, don't. So get checking out Alison Collector Tracy Cl uh, Poppy. I love your name, Poppy. Oh, are you 
you, Poppy. Um, Lynn, Claire, and the rest of you, check out. Da, 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 da. Another impressance. This time we have a floral swirl. Oh. So, impress art. Oh, he's going even naughty. She's breaking the three pound mark now. He's getting a bit sick. She just whack it once with a hammer into your into your copper sheet or your your stamping blanks, and you got that lovely, pretty, and that is real scale size. Impress art floral swirl stamp at two pound ninety seven. Again, if you go and have a look at the Impress Art website, you'll see just what quality stamping um, motifs these are. Really good quality. B E BD87 is your code. I've never seen them this low in price. Never. Okay. So well done. Nope, what's that supposed to be? That, that'll be in a big... Um, That under my nose. This one. Sorry, Amelia. I'm in a bit dotty, aren't I? Now, this is the... You know when you go onto your computer and you see all the different fonts? It's a penguin font. And this has got its uppercase. So, and that is the actual font. It's very pretty, the penguin font, actually. No. <gasps> if you've always thought about stamping. I'm going to do a pingo. Are you ready? <laughs> do, do, do. Five pounds. I'm that old, I've got Pingu on video. I have, I've got Pingu on VHS video. So, this is your, that's, that's the font there, look. And also, oh, they smell lovely. So there's your uppercase, look. You've got an ampus and over here as well. Okay, so an ampus and. And that is your beautiful pink, oh, five, and you get the case. You get the jewellery maker case, you get the full alphabet in your penguin font for a fiver. Well done. Ooh, what we got? Ooh, we got a book as well. Permanent glue. So this is your gem tack glue. I would read it, but I can't see it. There you go. So if we can, can we go on it? Because I'm never going to read it otherwise. Sorry. So bonds, rhinestones, crystals, sequins, and more to fabric and accessories, and it dries crystal clear. Wicked. It's a, it's a big um, 118 mil as well, isn't it? Permanent glue dries clear, crystal clear. That's the key, isn't it? What does it say? Let's have a look. Hang on. So bonds, embellishments to many surfaces, including fabric, wood, glass, plastic, and more. Collé des décorations sur le nombre de et qui brille le tissu. I was doing my French then. No. <laughs> I wasn't doing it very well either, was I? So uh, Gentac glue, ten pounds ninety-five. We are bringing you a right little array of treats today, aren't we? Who's going to France? She. Ooh. Which ones are we done in? Uh, now, wire jewellery. Now, this is good. Some of the books we've bought you over the last couple of years, especially the last 12 ones, have been phenomenal. This is an encyclopedia of wire jewellery techniques, okay? So if I show you the front and then I'll show you the reverse and I'll show you inside as well. So for those of you that want to learn all the different wires, I'll tell you, Pamela, you were messaging in, weren't you? I think this would be good for you, actually. So what we've got here is it's classed as a must-have for anyone who is enthusiastic about making their own jewellery. Um, it'll contain everything you need to know about wire, how to create unusual and very striking designs, whether you are an experienced jewellery maker looking to move up to the next level or a complete beginner, this book will look after you both. And it has an encyclopedia of wire jewellery techniques. Uh, so this is really going to be an invaluable resource to you. Um, it teaches you how to manipulate wire, 
Um, it teaches you how to make earrings, rings, pendants, necklaces, tiaras, brooches, combines wire with beads and stones uh, through threading and wrapping, gives you intricate embellished looks and um, gives you, explains how you can have fun with different types of wire as well. So whether that's recycled wire, electrical wire, goodness me, precious metal, and you can really progress from basic wire work skills right up to advanced techniques such as making link jump ring chains, simple soldering, using chemicals to alter the wire. This is awesome. So let me just open you on a page. So, so um, hang on a second, flat chain mail, coil chains, simple decorative chains, photographic and worded techniques all the way through. What price was it? Twelve ninety-five. Oh, there's only three left. Three left. Sorry, but well done. Oh, I, oh, oh, hello. Oh, is it these? Ah, oh, brilliant. Uh, we, you've seen us. We use these all the time. They're ace because they're stackable and they're just screwed together. They're ace. These are great for seeing your findings, all your crimps, your crimp covers, your seed beads, whatever you're working with. They're great to take away with you. Now what you do, look, all you do is twist. Twist, that's it. That's it, and then the, do you know what I use these for in my cupboard at home as well? I keep my, um, any herbs I've used, the last of herbs in there. Just thought I'd let you know that. Anyway, stack of containers, you get five of them, and we use these in jewelry maker every single day of the week. We really do. Every time I get given a pot of something, it's in, in one of these. Gone, well done. Do you know, that's weird. I was just looking at those. These hair combs, these hair, you get five of them. They are so well made. Put them in my hair. No. No, Amelia. We'll put them in Pete's hair. Joking aside, though, they are. Those, those hair comb teeth are so comfortable. Rose gold coloured hair combs. Now I've seen some of our guest designers turn these into wonderful pieces of jewellery, not use them as a hair comb, but um, they look wonderful. And again, if you're doing anything bridal, bridesmaids, add little tiara twists with your wire, which you could learn with that book we've just done, any of those lovely little Swarovskis that we've got, you get five of them for £2.95. And they're really good quality. Really good quality hair combs. So if you go into a bridal shop, and you look at the price of tiaras and garters and hair combs and things, just with a little tiara twist of wire with lovely little Swarovski and little pearls and things. Speaking of which, I look at these. I'm sorry, Wayne, to add something in, but how cool would they be with it? Little Swarovski pearls. They're cute, wouldn't they? Anyway, I just I'll show you. So we've got five of the hair combs for £2.95 in clearance. All right, my lovelies, well delivered. You're welcome to multi buys. You all, a lot of you are. You're not restricted in amounts that you can have. All right. Well done. Well done. So these are your Swarovski. Just going to check which type they are. No hole Swarovski. There's no drill hole there. It's a pack of 48 in the rose gold. And that's why I picked them up to go with those rose gold colored hair cones. But there is no hole. So do bear that in mind when you're working with them. Okay. Do you have a two pound coin? If so, if you could give us five P back. Yeah, don't give them to me, please. Or two one pound coins. One pound ninety five for forty eight. Three mil Swarovski pearls. They're imitation pearls, obviously. They're not real pearls. Swarovski make, but what, they, what Swarovski do is they use real innovative design to give it the feel even the, even the um, temperatures wise when it's against the skin. It's so clever, these pearls, but they are designed to imitate a real pearl. pound ninety-five. I know. Mia Kayla, how are you this evening, lovely Zena? Oh, that's lovely of you to ask. I'm really good, thank you, because you know what? My lovely new man, when I get home, is cooking me a steak and mushroom pie, mash, gravy and veg. Mm-hmm. He's an amazing cook. So I'm lovely. I hope you are well as well, darling. That's really lovely of you to ask. Thank you. Kimberly. 
OMG, Zena, blast from the past. I watched Pingu heaps when my son was little 23 years ago. It's great. Why is he always ironing a shirt? Have you ever seen a penguin in a shirt? Really? Pingu. <laughs> he was ace Pingu, wasn't he? Oh. Thanks, Michaela. Ooh, ooh. The antique copper. Ah, I haven't seen these. They're like an old friend that have just rocked up from the past as well. Antique copper. Open saw cut junk rings. And there is a book buy of 250. So if you want to learn how to chain mount, it's in that book. Those are perfect. Over 30 grams of brass there in those. And they're saw cut, so they'll close perfectly. It's, a, it's one of the biggest bundle sizes that we do of jump rings, 250. GWPO95. Is that the price, Wayne? Oh, hang on. Do you know what he's doing? Can I? He's fiddling in there. <laughs> I can hear him. With his, I can hear him. And what he's doing is checking how low he can go. He's doing that. Go, no, then he's doing that. No, then he's doing that. No, he's fiddling. Fiddling. Go on then. Excuse me. Did you say three pounds and two p? Random. He's taken every penny off those jump rings as he possibly could. So how about the pack that you might be thinking, you might have always fancied trying chain mail. That's a great in cost effective, inexpensive way of giving chain mail a try. Isn't it? Three pounds and two P, that is ridiculous. If I tell you what, as well, as a new starter to making jewellery, if you want to practice on opening and closing jump rings, what a great way to do it. Three pounds and two p. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Oh, that's great then. So, an ice resin. Oh, ice resin. Now remember as well. Is it Gemma that's coming back soon with the resin? Mm-hmm. So, this is your bezel template for the ice resin. Can you see there? Look. You've got your rectangles, there you go. So you can just, I'm sorry to shine it in your face, so to speak, but I want to try and show you those lovely, um, yeah. It's made of really sturdy plastic for durability. It's to use with the ice resin uh, bezels. I mean, you could, put, you could put all sorts of things in there, couldn't you? You could put inside uh, the bezels, you could put uh, photographs and all sorts of things in there if you wanted to. Ice resin, bezel tem template, it's going to a clearance price. I don't think we're supposed to, but there you go. Five ninety-five. We think there's some things in this show that are snuck in that shouldn't have. Oh, the, uh, the ivory double face. That means the shiny satin on both sides. No dull side. 75 mil in width of the actual silk. 20 meters of that ivory. Now, recently we had a lovely field nurse created by Alison Tarry. And Alison, you, I think she may have used this color. She definitely used the latte in the field mouse design. ELGP25, and Alison has asked for more of our satin to create more designs, because she and it was the first time Alison had worked with a ribbon. 6.95 for 20 meters. Or would you like it for a fiver? As Wayne so delicately says in my ear, five pounds. We're only a few minutes away from the night owl of the sparkly zircon. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Exciting. I'm going home to pie and mash. Uh, yeah, you can't be... Uh, it's not good for the waistline, is it? But, you know, pie and mash. And I'm going out for dinner tomorrow night and Saturday night. I'm going to cook now till Sunday. 
I haven't got to cook till Sunday. Woo! Very exciting. And you know what I'm going to have for tomorrow for the first time in months? Because we're allowed to again. A massage. What? Not allowed to have the hot stones. Not allowed to. Or the facial. But I'm still having a massage. Oh, great. Oh, she's British, right. I'm sorting out Amelia with an ear problem. I've, if you need a problem sorting or fixing, I've got a contact. Amelia's got a blocked ear. Sorted. Sorted. Leah wanted jelly. Sorted. Wayne wanted chocolate. Sorted. I haven't done anything for you yet, Peter. No, what do you want? I haven't. What do you want, Peter? <laughs> Have a think. Poppy! Hi, lovely Dina. I'm doing okay. Just getting things sorted for David Mum's 90th birthday on Tuesday, 21st of this month. 90th birthday! <laughs> wow! Get in! Wow, that's some achievement, isn't it? Oof! Wow. Have they got time for one more? Yeah! He said, yeah! I did that last night, didn't I? What are they, sorry? Oh, these are brilliant! Ah, oh, the ring sizing sheet! The amount of times people say, you go, don't they? Can you make me a ring? Yeah, what's your ring size? Huh? What's your ring size? Huh? So, look, so look, you just, see, look, you just wrap it round, wrap it round, wrap it round, look, 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 all oh, these ring size, aren't they, but you just, you just, so if you, if you're trying to, you just, you just cut one there, look, or just tear it off, see, look, there's a cut line, and there is, oh, let me turn it so you can see, look, there's all your ring sizes, you just put it around your finger, look, that's good, isn't it, don't try and read it, unless you can, I've not seen that before. I can't read it because it's not in it's not in English, but clearly I'm struggling. My cousin in Australia could read that. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, ring ring size and shape. Anyway, that's brilliant. Well done. We have some uh do we guess this the satin cord or the what do we call it? Silk string terracotta. It is very terracotta actually as well. It's been knotting. Do I like terracotta? I don't think I've ever been asked, asked that, really. I don't, I've got a few terracotta pots in the garden of you. Do you like terracotta? <laughs> oh, you made me snore on telly, thanks. So a metre of terracotta silk string, two mil gauge. Do you know what these do work great on? You know, like if you've made lowest ever price, obviously, ofs. You know, if you've made a lovely pendant and you want to display or photograph, but you don't want to give the, a, a chain away, you want an upsell. Those are great for that. Temporary pendant strands. But they're lovely and silky on the skin. They feel so... Honestly, when you get those, you just want to stroke them. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. £2.95. Nobody's ever paid so little. Hello, Annette. Annette's in County... Du oh, she, oh, she just had three of them. I've got another colour. Do you want another colour, Annette? We've got that lovely um, teal. Do you want that as well? Could that? Oh, uh, uh, it's a meter. Would you like that one as well, Annette? What do you mean we're not doing that? Yeah, we are. Don't be so miserable. Would everybody? Oh, we are. We're, we're going to do. It. We're going to make a stand, aren't we, everybody? Shall we make a stand? Because he said I can't do it. We don't like being told what we kind of can't do, do we? Much depends what mood we're in, doesn't it? <laughs> I quite like being told off, which is quite good, really, because I generally get told off quite a lot, so it's quite good. <laughs> so, moving swiftly on. A metre of the... T now, that colour is... Wouldn't that go great with Neon Appetite? Or Larimar or Turquoise or any of those look amazing, wouldn't it? So, can you be able to get anywhere near that price point, Wayne Star? Please. Stop being objectionable. Oh, yeah, he's just showing off now, isn't he? You know, wasn't that the worst put, put me down that your mum used to do to you? You're just showing off in front of your friends. Oh, oh that was a killer, wasn't it? Oh, that and the one that used to put the fear of 
dreading to me. She'd send me upstairs to look for something and then she'd go, I go, I can't find it, Mum. If I have to come up them stairs and I have find it and you think, ah! You'd be like, ooh! <laughs> yeah, or you wait till you get home, my lady. Oh, dear, scary stuff. Well, that is proving very popular, isn't it? At £1.95 and everybody's multi buying. Have we got any other colours? Oh, we haven't got any more. But it's time. Well, I did something for this show this morning. Because we were talking last night. We, we have the night owl. But because we have Peter, we would like to call it Peter's Pigeon. Yeah. Catch the pigeon. And today, there was a pigeon... Thank you, Peter. There was a pigeon having a bath in my bird bath, so I gently opened the window, put my phone out, and I got a lovely about two and a half minute video of a pigeon. So I'm going to see if we can incorporate it. I won't show you tonight. We're going to see what we can do with it, if we're allowed. You don't want to see the pigeon having a bath. I mean, I've not asked him. I've not asked if he minds me showing him bathing. So if we get time, we'll show you the pigeon. Oh, lovely pigeon! Catch the pigeon! Catch the pigeon! Not now, Muttley! <laughs> oh, anyway, that was my terrible impression of Muttley. All oh, right, then, my lovelies, are you ready for the night owl? <laughs> We can do better than that, can't we? Get a pigeon, catch the pin. Right, I'll tell you what we can do better with, though, more importantly. Don't let me forget to take my necklace on, will you, Pete? Um, right, so for anybody not used to gemstones, I think it was a bit naughty of whomever came up with the zirconia. Because whilst I... I, I, I've got cubic zirconia, I think it's great, it's cost effective, it's fantastic, it performs like a natural flawless diamond, it's awesome, but it's not real. It's glass. It's not real, it's man-made. It's fab, but you've got to know, I think when they use the name of a gem, you win gemstone and then add an ear, it just confuses things. So, zircon, it's where it all started. No other gemstone can boast any longer life than a zircon. And that, for me, makes it the ultimate gemstone. It's where it all began. So if you are a beginner and you want to start with a gemstone that began everything, it's zircon. Okay? And that's the beauty of this gemstone. It is stunning. It will perform exquisitely for you in any light form. This is a real diamond-like looking, stunning zir zircon. So zircon is genuine, zirconia is man-made. This is the real deal. And they are completely natural. The colour tone is glorious, isn't it? Do you not think? Now, there are different colours of zircon. White zircon, red zircon. You can get brown zircon, blue zircon, pink zircon, the list goes on. <laughs> Sorry, it's just told to me in my ear, which I'm not allowed to be Stop it. Stop it, you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So, sparkling, wonderful zircon. Now, there's something that a zircon can do that not other gemstones can do. Now, a diamond, what happens with the diamond is... It comes in, the light comes in in a single ray, and then it goes out of the diamond in a single ray of light. You might think, oh, okay, this has got double refraction. You might think, why is that important? Well, the reason these perform so well is the fact that you have double refraction. So what happens is very clever. The light enters the zircon. Then it ricochets around the zircon as if it were in a pinball machine, bouncing off every surface. Then it zooms out like a cannonball, out of the gemstone at how many times more the speed of light in two forms of light which is what will give it the diamond like adamantine fire and look at that the reason it's showing you the fire is because we're out of focus at the back that's the only way we can show you the fire you've got this beautiful clarity you've got this stunning color tone 
one of the most brilliant natural gemstones you will ever, ever have set into your jewellery. It's been available since antiquity. We're talking about 4.7 billion years old. That is very hard for us to get. That We're talking about planet Earth, the sun, the moon, and zircon. 4.7 billion years, doubly refractive. You've got that amazing, amazing, amazing brilliance. And seven and a half on the most hardness scale. So when you wear zircon, you're guaranteed sparkle, you're guaranteed brilliance, you're in possession of a piece of history and then some. You know, this is just as the earth started to spin. That's how old this is. So the great thing is, you know that it's ideal for jewellery. Because if it can last 4.6 billion years, chances are it's going to be fine on your neck, or your wrist, or your ear, or your ankle, or wherever you'd like to put it. Okay, we're going all out. One price drop. I know a lot of you are multi-buying already. Every single one of you pays that $29.95. Every single one. $29.95. Now... Wayne and I have got a bet on how many are going. How many will sell out? We've only started, it's a brand new strand tonight. I have 99 available. Okay? 25 are gone. Durante, Linda, Collector, Sheila, Carrie, you need to check out. Michaela, Collector, Catherine, Rosemary, Stephanie, Lisa, Jackie, Melissa, Lynette, Collector, Alison, multi buyers. Fiery, stunning zircon. Brilliance. Adamantine, diamond like luster. You can see why it's often um, confused with diamonds, can't you? So $29.95, awesome price tag. Oh, hang on, what are we putting the... Oh, hang on. Can I just do you an impression of what's just happened in my ear? The phrase, could you put the clock in please, Leah? And then I went, pardon you, went... <laughs> That means every one of you that's checked out, we're going to save you some more money. And every one of you that has it in your baskets that's thinking, shall I, shan't I? Right then, you better get the 60 seconds of ticking then, please, Leah. Ha, 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 ha. Right then, those of you that have checked out can sit there and do absolutely nothing but grin from ear to ear, knowing that you were happy with 29.95, we're going to reduce the price. You do nothing. You do nothing, we will reduce the price for you before we charge you. Okay? Yeah, do you fancy a fiver off? A fiver back. It's a bit... Do you know what, Wayne? A fiver's not bad, it's a bit boring. I'll have a tenner off, please. I'm being a bit cheeky there, aren't I? Yeah, I've just been a bit cheeky. Uh, so then, ZCNV76, I would start checking out right now. Hello, Rosemary and Michaela. Zarin, I was all our regular ganger in. Hello, Helen, Lynn, Tina. Wow. Okay, 29.95, or is it? Three, two, one. Do your thing. Wayne Star. We are ready, aren't we? We're ready, aren't we? We are steady. Jump up and down. Oh, he didn't tell me that. He did not tell me that. Eighteen. Yeah, I owe you some chocolate, Wayne. Eight. Mind you, then he didn't give me the full picture. He didn't tell me how low we were going. So that's an unfair bet. But I'll bring him chocolate in. Eighteen ninety-five. It's glorious, isn't it? Fiery, stunning, brilliance of wonderful, wonderful, wonderful beautiful zircon so that double refraction basically bounces off all the facets on the pavilion and acts like a wall of mirrors delivers you awesome enviable brilliance a really i have to say that's the most delicate tone of zircon as well isn't it it's such a pretty tone of color very very fiery Ah, oh, hang on a sec, we had 99. Hang on, how many got left? 20 left. Ah, yes. Well, to be fair, Durante had three. Alison increased her order to four. Collectors have had two. People all over the... Okay, less than 20. Less... 
We also have three new customers with it in their baskets now. If you check out and pay for it, we will send you a Get Started Jewelry Making DVD free of charge and two genuine gemstone strands free of charge as well. I'll get that right one day. I will. I promise. I will. I will. Now, Collector, Sheila, Michaela, Tina, um, Ajika, I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right. I do apologise uh, if I'm not. Collection Institute of Bristol, Shandy, Christine, Victoria of Gems Amore. Um, you need to check out. Now, Lawrence is on the phone, Maureen's on the phone, Pip's on the phone, Anne's on the phone, all just checked out. Well done. Mika, you've just got them. Zarin, you've just got them. We're almost at single figures. Stunning, totally natural zircon. Stunning performance, beautiful brilliance, phenomenal fire. There are now 12 left. 24 in baskets. So actually, I've got double the amount of people trying to get half the availability. What an awesome, awesome, awesome strand to finish on tonight. That is incredible. Now, remember, can I just try the, look, remember as well, because of that hardness, you can happily have that as a bracelet. Happily, because on the most hardness scale, it looks lovely, doesn't it? So, glorious natural zircon. Jen, you've got it. Well done. Lawrence, you've got it. Hilma, you've got it. Jill, Zara, Sharon have just had it in their baskets. You are now so close to owning that stunning 32 in baskets. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I'm not going to have enough to go around, but that is a great... And Wayne, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. Big thank you to the team. Massive thank you to you. Stay safe. Wear those masks, please. And we'll be live from 8 o'clock tomorrow.